Hello, 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 beautiful people. Welcome back to the last admin mode apocalypse video. This is going to be the accumulation of all the videos from the very first moment we logged on to the servers to the very last moment of the end of the multifight. This video is my personal journal of the last three weeks of my life, so I hope you will enjoy. Gentlemen, everything is a little bit scuffed right now, but that's how the start of Deadman mode always goes. So Runelight isn't working right now, and well, when it is, we actually cannot log in because all the worlds are full. But I did manage to log in to the official client, so now I'm just training Agility to 25 on the official client, waiting till they open more worlds, hopefully, and then we unscuff everything again. Oh yeah, I can get 10k myself, actually. Didn't think about that. We just start with 5k as well, so everybody starts with 15k, basically. Okay, well, we just need 25. Okay, 22 agility. All right, there we go. 25 agility is the first part of the plan and everything is still scuffed and I still cannot log in on Runelight, but that's a part of RuneScape experience. So now my first goal is going to be to complete Gnome Stronghold, but in order for me to do that, I want to organize my inventory a little bit. So we're gonna go here to the bank booth, deposit everything, already decide which sigil uh, we're gonna go with. So we have a Ranger, Fighter and Mage. I do believe Fighter is the one I am going to go with. Can my guy go through the door? Bid! Oh my, there we go. Oh, now it's lagging, but we're gonna go to Ardi instead. So we can continue this later in Yanil. The next step is Hazelmere, right? Now we are moving to Ardon. We started the Grand Tree quest. We are getting six logs as we're going and we're slowly making our way to Ardi. And now we're actually playing on Runelight. So everything is starting to take shape, finally. Okay, so here we are buying ball of wool and a rope. Most importantly, a rope and ball of wool. There we go, perfect. Okay, so now we're gonna do this quest. This quest we're gonna do in full. Three known village. Wait, you got Sigil of Stamina on Starter Pack? The fuck? How? Wait, did they do that the Warriors Guild is safe zone right now? That's kind of insane, not gonna lie. Okay, let's take a look. So this guy can slap me hard. So he's at a bit of a distance. Can he slap me twice? I'm gonna risk it. Okay, I panicate there, but that's good. That's the first one. First dangerous part, save. We only ate two tunas, we're relaxing so far. Could maybe level a, a little bit of a range on those level one guys, just to have a bit of HP, but I guess it's fine. I just need to be careful. I'm gonna eat one. That's okay, we can eat one. I'm gonna make sure I pay attention to it, so he doesn't randomly start running at me, but I think we have him safe spotted. We can finish off the kill and then finish off the quest. That's the hard part, because he can basically kill you. Okay, it's a long fight, but we're getting decent stats out of it, so we'll take it. There it is, the boss is defeated, the orbs are obtained. We're also gonna take the bones. Don't skim out on the bones, they give decent XP. And we're making our way back and finishing the quest, nice. You dropped your runes to get new ones, someone picked up all your shit, wait. Is it insta spawn? There's no chance, man. There is no way it's insta spawn. I think in deadman mode it might be insta spawn. There's no, there is no way. There is no way, man. There is actually no way, man. I am so sorry for you, but that's fucking hilarious. I do want to get 28 range passively, like as I'm running around the game just shooting stuff. Okay, that's gonna be the first one. I think then we're gonna go and just complete Gnome. How many casts do I have? So I've used up about 80 casts. Uh, to finish the first boss. We should be good to finish everything with just a starter pack. So there it is, a lot of attack experience, 11,000, but it gets us from 0 to 51 attack, which is absolutely ridiculous with the bonus XP rates. 20 combat, let's go ahead and find our way to right here right now. Wait, you started with Desert Treasure 1 completed and Monkey Madness completed. Wait, what? Oh, we're gaming right now. I have missed this game so much, by the way. You have no idea. So here we are. We managed to reach Diango. We're gonna trade him. We're gonna buy one Chronicle. 10 teleports for now is gonna be super healthy. And we can now teleport straight to safe zone, basically, which is always needed in Deadman mode. That's like a top priority. You should always secure yourself. Uh, Gnome Stronghold. Let's go. The chest is locked. But I have the key. Hello? Use? Search. There we go. We gotta be careful on this part. Equip our staff. Defensive. No auto retaliate. Run on. We can get one banged here. Let's not do that. This is a scary part most of the times. Can't attack that guy. I think mine is gonna be all the way this one in the back. I might need to kill it from here. And hopefully I don't get turned and hit. But we're getting HP levels, defense level, magic levels. Like we're chilling. There it is. The big 
Black Demon is now defeated and now we can complete the quest. Beautiful. No problem so far. Up to 19 HP. Defense went to 13. Magic went to 32. Completely chilling. Let's see the combat. 24 to 27. We got so much experience. We're now 60 attack already, by the way. We can already wear a dragon. That is absolutely ridiculous. Okay, we're closing in on the end of this quest. So we need to be a little bit careful here. A lot of stuff can hit us pretty hard. That's the key. We survived and now we just finished the quest. Nice and easy. Let's see the big XP drop. Oof, 53 strength already of the bat, up to 46 combat. That is absolutely craziness. Okay, we're gonna quickly get to 51 combat and get up a bracket now. Uh, and I'm just gonna do that by training defense on some frogs. And then we're gonna be completing Monkey Madness 1. It's gonna be phenomenal. Let's get into it. Okay, there we go. We are now too high of a combat level to stay in this combat bracket. Therefore, we're gonna have to move up into the next bracket. We're gonna go to a German world, that's perfect. And now, the scary but not so scary part begins. First thing, I'm gonna get myself more teleports because teleports are always needed in this game. Uh, we also got a quest lamp, apparently. Full completion of the Fremenic or full completion of the Elf, partial completion. And I did a little bit of research and Elf is great, but I don't mind actually questing it later. But I'm actually going to go and complete the Fremenic storyline. Let's utilize this protection as much as possible. We're going all the way to the Wilderness Altar right now. It's a bit of a stretch, but we have 60 minutes of protection so we can go up, use all the bones, come all the way back down. All right, here we are. We got the bones we got the protection took me nine minutes to get up here let's see what prayer we get to that is 15 already oh this is gonna be fast that's 29 we're gonna use all these bones up to 43 we can pray protect from melee and this is all extras right here i don't want to accidentally bury one i don't know if i have a plugin that reminds me that's why i'm doing this so slow usually i would do it much faster do we save it that's one that's two that's three that's four that's five? Hey, there it is. 50 prayer out of nowhere. Oh my goodness. Nice. I think this is the best start I've ever had to Deadman mode. I mean, looking at these stats, we are what? One hour in. One hour, 30 minutes in. I'm about to start Monkey Madness. I have prayer completed. Money for the Dragon Scimitar. 50 minutes to complete Monkey Madness. The only downside is I don't have stamina. And stamina would make this quest super fast. But we are doing phenomenally so far. Okay, we take those. And let's go to the king. So I'll need gold ball, bar, ball of wool, some bananas and the monkey corpse that we get. I guess I'll take this with me and then just food. Do I have any? Okay, I have a bit of cakes. Not a lot of food though. No way I got onyx ball tips. There is no way. This is where I need to get the monkey bone, right? You got archaic emblem. Uh, you can trade this in Edgeville and get like supplies. It's really good. Little puzzle, please be a helper. Oh my god, we have a helper, we're chilling. There we go, puzzle done. Okay, 37 minutes. We are still pretty low on the HP department though. No shot. What? How did we mess this one up? Oh my god. That was so sad, they both got again. I made it though, I made it, we good. There's no shot they both got caught. They did something to that quest on God. I don't know what the fuck they did, but we're in, we're through. We're through and we're gaming. Probably gonna quickly recharge my prey. What would be the fastest way to do that? I guess just up here. 28 minutes should be enough to finish the quest and get this in me safely. Doing this on 20 HP is a bit scary, not gonna lie. I think it's this part that I probably just wanna pray and just run, no flicking. Okay, looks like I have enough prayer bonus to where I could almost spray the whole thing through this, which is amazing. It's gonna get close though, 20 minutes. If somebody wants to go rogue, it could be really scary. Teleport out to prepare to make the amulet good. Okay, we're, we're cutting it close with the time here. So I'm trying to get everything done as fast as I can right now. I would hate to lose my immunity before I finish the quest. I don't know if I can finish it in 15 minutes though. I will try my best. I'm stressing right now because this is the most sketchy part of the whole run. If I go through this, I'm chilling. Ah, oh, really? I had one more dialogue. Alright. No, I got it. There we go. We can now be a monkey. That's huge. This can help us so much. And now everything is dangerous. There's no more protections. Nothing like that. Yeah, we just have to go to Ardizu. <laughs> the tribesman poked you with a spirit. You died from poison. 
Oh, there is no way, brother man. All I'm gonna say is if, if I if I get killed in this part of the quest, we're going back to New World. That, that's all I'm gonna say. This is the worst feeling, is if I were to die here, I would probably just wanna quit. I, and I feel a lot of people would be the same, because this is just an entire, what, hour and a bit leading up to this, and then if you get, like, fucked here, it's just like, um... Bed RNG magnet. Oh, he got kicked by the gorilla, that's crazy. <laughs> he got kicked, bro. <laughs> Did you see that? He got yeeted, poor guy, but... Can I just give the monkey in? Then I don't, I'm not afraid anymore. There's the monkey. Yeah, I don't know how much a prayer pot would be, actually. It's a good, good question. But make sure the prayer is on before you click to teleport into this, because you can literally get one hit before you can even put the prayer on. Oh, there we go, there's the boss. Didn't get melee, which is good. Let the little dudes do a little bit of work here. Usually I get the Dorgesh and Crossbow. I get 28 range and just do it with a Dorg Sibo. The animations are so clunky on this guy, by the way. A misclick here is death. I hate this game. How is that melee range? Can someone explain? How do I even get back there? I think I'm going back to deadman mode. That was not even melee range, that's so sad. Like, I don't have monkey... M like, how do I even do this now? Can I go into the dead and claim my items there? Please tell me I can do that. If my quest items are not in death's coffer, I probably just quit. This is so sad. Please tell me I can claim at least my quest items, like... Okay. I lost my... what did I lose? We're okay. We're alright. Fuck it, dude. I'm not failing again. <laughs> I, I have prayer potions. I don't need to do all of this shit. I'm okay. This will hit. We're fine. I have the sigil. I get teleported out after fight anyway, so nobody can necessarily attack me. Watch him melee me, like, immediately off the bat. Okay, I didn't get melee off the bat, at least. Just keep your distance? Yeah, I will. I, the problem was I was running out of prayer. And I know that I'm probably gonna hit him with melee harder. And if I just flinch, it would be better. Making friends. <clears throat> and now if the little minions kill it, I don't get a kill by the way. So it's 3 HP and it can heal HP if I don't hit here. It's 1 HP. If I miss, it's gonna heal full HP. I'm really about to break something. There we go, we hit it, please. I hit a one. You cannot make this up, I hit a one, bro. <sighs> Dude, I don't know, man. What is this game? There's a hit. I think I got it. Please, dear God. I. Okay, I think I got it. Now what? Return to King Narnode. Let's get it. Even if I get killed, sure, I lose 100k, but we did the most annoying thing in the game. It took... <laughs> Let's not talk about how long this took us. It wasn't nice. Oh, there it is. Monkey Madness is completed, boys. Huge. 10k coins, a little bit of diamonds. Let's go claim the experience reward as well. Training program, and we just go strength and hit points, right? Focus on strength and stamina or attack and defense. Strength and stamina. Oh, there it is. Dude, I hate this part of every Deadman mode, man. And the fact that I died was like, oof. Oi, look at the XP drops. 62 HP and all of a sudden we are completely chilling 79 combat So I think we go up a combat bracket fast here uh, But now the last hard thing to do is to actually go and purchase a dragon scimitar for us You should play on a deadman world that suits your combat bracket. Oh wait, that's even better I can go up a bracket wait. That's even better. Actually. I can go up a bracket and collect it safely I don't need to risk it Oh, that's good. There we go. 71 to 90 combat. Switch world. There is 20 Europeans faster than me. I mean, obviously, right? Oh, but this is so good. That means I cannot die. Oh, that is good. That is great. Nice. Full completion of the gnome storyline up to Monkey Madness 2. Or partially completed up to Desert Treasure. Definitely taking Monkey Madness 2. And for the next, I will try to have some chins so I can also train up a little bit more. I have monkey speak amulet and I have the Karam Jangurigri, we're okay. Here we are, finally, our safety. We speak to... where is it? Daga? Fuck me sideways, there's no dragon scimitar in stock. <laughs> Maybe I go to a different world? 71 to 90, dead man. Surely this world is the lucky world, right? Surely, there it is. 
Dragon see me. I think I paid 110k for it. But that's that's where it all begins. That's where the Deadman mode starts. And uh, I'm a very happy boy. And let's go straight into guild. Start working on defenders. What are we going to train first? We're going to train three defensive levels. And then just straight up strength. How much are prayer? 2k. We're going to get a few of those as well. Dude, I'm so excited. This is where I actually start enjoying uh, the game. Uh, Birthrop, right? Yeah. Okay, let's see where the safe spot is. So this is still... Wait, this is protection. Oh, no. I don't know where the safety starts. It's just going in. Aha! Uh -huh. The whole guild, as you enter it, is safe. I kind of enjoyed it being risky. Looks like we have the first 100 tokens. Let's see if we can get any defenders with this. I mean, it's safe zone, so I could literally just do this with full inventory of prayer potions. Okay, we got some demons in here. Let's pot up. And as every deadman mode, I'm gonna be updating everybody how my stats are as I'm getting defenders. So right now we're starting with very questionable stats. And we're gonna see where we go with each defender. Oh, I get double as well. Dude, I think this will be self-sufficient for prayer pots, I think. It's so weird this not being dangerous though. Every deadman mode so far, this was like dangerous. I don't think I'll be flicking. I think this is gonna be much more friendly deadman mode. I remember the early deadman modes where I would need to like flick perma. But these are not expensive, 2k per. Oh, there it is. There's the first one. Bronze Defender. And I didn't have the pop-up for this. Uh, but there it is. The very first one. Uh, the stats, 68 attack, 67 strength, 57 defense. Not bad. But the best part is I think PKers are gonna stay like lower brackets. So I can like really speedrun to high combat and then just chill in the high brackets. You forgot monkey bones for monkey madness one? <laughs> There's no way. You're having a rough Christmas, Luberini. Oh, Iron Defender. Let's go. There it is. Beautiful. Stat update, 68 attack, 68 strength, 57 defense, 64 HP. I'm just training strength for now, and I'll train defense when I'm on the last room. There it is. Big steel defender, we take those. Nice. Uh, up to 69 strength, nothing else really changed. Oh yes, black defender, huge. Okay, so 70 strength, that's the upgrade. We keep it going. It's pretty fast, not gonna lie. I still have protection and we're already on the black defender. So drop rate definitely increased. You dropped your axe and you can't do drink no village. Bro, people mess everything up, man. How much do these guys hit if I don't pray? I wanna see. Because later, maybe it's worth to just pray piety, maybe. Oh my god, Mithril. Dude, we're so fast today. Didn't even get a level, by the way, since the last defender, so we take those. The reason I'm picking all these loots up is because it adds up. Yes, let's go. Adam and defender obtained. We are up to 71 strength. This one took just a little bit longer, but still extremely fast. Kind of wish I had some money. So I think my best bet is to sell my grimy stuff. Because that will sell, because Herb guys want, want this. Oh my, look at this demon. With the D-Mace. In the past I would uh, get Archaic Emblems from the below, right? And then I would just have like Bruise and Restores instantly. But it's not gonna be this easy now. There it is. Rune Defender obtained. Let's get uh, the Dragon Defender and get out of here. So now we're gonna start training defense. Make sure we reach 60. The stats are 72 strength. Pretty good. Actually, I'll do strength till 73. And hopefully we can get some good drops here. I know this is now safe zone, so I can't get sigils and I can't get like anything insane. But I would like to get defender quickly so we can move on to slayer already, basically. Hey, there we go. 60 defense. We're going back to strength for now. And then we're going to finish it off with attack once I want to move up a combat bracket. Oh, yes. Oh my god, I just came back. Let's go. Dragon defender obtained. 85 combat. It's looking good. It's looking beautiful. And we are 75 strength, 68 attack, 60 defense. I think I can go to Neven, already start slaying, so this is really good. Now I do need to start organizing my inventory a little bit better, because I can get PK'd wherever I go, so we need to be a bit smarter. I don't have a lot of money to work with, so we'll see where we go. Not strong enough to be taught by me. Oh, okay, so let's do the shit tasks first then, my bad. I guess when I go into the next bracket, I'll probably try to have enough money for a Nezi and gloves from RFD. Okay, first task done. Beautiful. Am I level 85? No. I'm gonna get one defense level just here on these random mobs because I need to be level 85 to take a slayer task from the guy I wanted to take slayer task from. Shit, I need one more. Okay, let's just do one more task then. Unlucky. There it is, looting bag. So, looting bag on deadman mode, yeah? Super useful tool. 
because you can basically drop anything you want in. I just need to check the options. But that's good. Uh, that's what we wanted. Let's kill some spiders and then let's begin Slayer properly. There we go. Slayer task done. But why is it? It takes so long to teleport. So they, they did something. When you kill a mob, you can't spam teleport out. It's gonna be hard when there's gonna be people waiting to hit you. Scroll out your minimap. You're telling me you can... What? You can scroll out the minimap? Since when? I've played this game for most of my life and I never knew that was possible. Uh, let's go bird throw again. <laughs> There it is, 62, we're 85 combat, we can go back to strength, that's perfect. And now I can actually take my fifth task from Steve and hope we get a good one. Okay, here it is, the most important part of the account of the day one, let's take a look. Fire giants. I don't think this is bad. Ironically, this fire staff here, how much does this ask for? 8,000 that is like six prayer potions if the prices are lucky. That's that's a huge drop this early on Are you kidding me? I just got a giant champion scroll. You can't make this shit up Can I get like supply drop at least like why are you giving me giant champion scroll my guy? I, I don't even know how rare it is I think it's one in 5,000 and I've killed 73. I kid you not, I've killed exactly 73, man. It's the body number. Looking pretty good account-wise, though. Up to 78 strength already, completely vibing. It is a rune scimitar. This is such a nice trip, by the way. I can make, like, so much money off of this trip. Boys, first supply drop. We got sharks. 29. 29. It's not bad. We take those. What I task this was. 1, 2 fire staffs. 3, 4, 5. That's 50k. Scimitar, that's 80k together. A bunch of herbs. We basically made like 100k easily in this task alone. Greater demons. Uh, probably gonna do that as well. But first, let's go upgrade our gear a bit. We're gonna get a Nezi helm. We are gonna get gloves and we should be chilling. Okay, I can start with rune ones for 6k only. Absolute steal. And then I can go to Camelot and just run north and get myself a Nezi helmet as well. Uh, there we go. Yeah, 50 million dollars and we got a need is not helm. I'm gonna invest this money into buying one dragon scimitar. So if I were to die, because I'm gonna go to a fairly dangerous spot, I'm completely vibing, I just go right back out again. I think if I buy this rune early on, it's gonna pay its price easily. I mean, if somebody attacks me right now, I don't think they can kill me, I'll be honest. And if they do, well played. Oh, we got a rune full helm. That's good, that's like 20 something K. That is amazing drop. Oh, and I can also bury these ashes. Let's see how much XP. 375, more than a big bone. This is pretty good as well. All right, so we just got 55 Slayer, which means we can now get the Blood Velts. Now, if I combine that with the Sigil of Slaughter, I can assign myself Blood Velts once I have enough points, which could be absolutely insane way to get ins ridiculous Slayer XP and at the same time, decent money. Enhanced Harvest. You always gain quintuple resources from mining, fishing, woodcutting, or farming. The sigil does not stack with sigil of the forager. Wait, quintuple? You get five of everything. Wait, that's insane. Dude, imagine you fish sharks. You get five sharks per shark. Bro, that's broken. Thanks for the kindness, man. I've got, I've received so much kindness in the last day. It's been like absolutely ridiculous. Ladies and gentlemen, we did it once again, okay? We're moving up to 91 combat bracket, and this time there is 10 Europeans, 4 Americans, and 6 Americans that were before us, and I'm gonna blame this on us dying to the Monkey Madness 1 boss. For now, we are gonna be finishing 78 attack and then only focusing on strength and just go crazy on the Slayer. So we can now complete Desert Storyline up to Beneath Cursed Sands, or Myriki storyline up to a knife in the theater. And if we will do TOA, we're just gonna unlock Beneath Curse Sands in this one. Another task is completed. This one, we ended up getting two rune full helms, so which is probably about 50k and 9k in just drops. Probably about 60k profit, we'll take it. Blood Veld. Ooh, it is absolutely gorgeous playing this video game right now. This is probably the best task we could have ever asked for. Little upgrade here for the account. Black boots, chuck him on. There it is. Wonderful. Boys, 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 boys. I just got 37 crushed nests, 16 dwarf with supply drop. This is 37 brews, basically. Up to 61 slayer already. Probably one of my favorite tasks in game, especially early on. And uh, yeah, 78 attack is my next big goal. And then just strength, strength, strength is basically the plan. Sigil of the Guardian Angel.
You are kidding. This is so insanely good, by the way. If you guys do not know, this is absolutely super insane. This protects your entire bank. You only lose what you're wearing. So if our dumbass decides to go for a breach, I can go in a fucking Dorgish and crossbow and risk absolutely nothing. Toss this on. If somebody kills me, who cares? We're chilling. There it is, boys. 78 attack, meaning if we get a VLS, we use a VLS. So from now, it's just strength probably all the way to 99. That's it. It's late, I'm gonna keep it quiet. All right, so we just reached 55 magic. Again, it is the middle of the night, so we're keeping it nice and quiet. And we can now cast High Alchemy. So this is gonna accelerate our magic training by a lot. And I'm just kind of alking whatever I get. There it is, a very, very long task completed. And I'm a bit sad because we didn't get a single superior. Aberrant Spectres, straight to another amazing task that also can drop us superiors. There we go, we bought it for only 74. Sigil of the Formidable Fighter is a absolutely phenomenal sigil. Right now my sigil combo is sigil for the Formidable Fighter, as I said, plus 5 damage. Sigil of the Feral Fighter gives me attack speed and 20% chance basically for attack speed. And Sigil of Consistency, so I always hit at least one. So together, this really makes it so I hit non-stop. Is this auto gameplay? This is not auto gameplay, Klasinki, what are you saying? Yo, we just got a Mystic Rope Dark Bottom, which is actually pretty fucking good. Yeah, that's like 50k drop right there. Nice. Okay, well, this task is so much money, actually, it's insane. I'm gonna try to buy Sigil of the Alchemania. 21k, by the way. That is so insane. That is complete steal. What a ridiculous task, boys. Four Rune Full Helms, one Lava Dragon, one Mystic Bottom. We got like 200k plus money in just, just weed. <laughs> Spiritual creatures. I cannot do that on my level. Black demons, absolutely, yes, I will do that. At the moment of recording this clip, we are rank one strength, uh, which is very cool. Okay, pull out the sigil of the Alchemaniac, unattune, attune, start alking. 50k for that. Dude, it's so easy to make money, actually. That's already 100k. 120 just like that and we just made a sh so much money for free basically Kurask Wait, what do I even need for Kurask? But this could be insane money and I have 30 points. I'll do this. I think this is crazy good money Actually, I'm gonna do it with mage until I get leave bladed battle X and then I'll do it with melee afterwards Okay, so we will use this opportunity of the task that is maybe not the best to train our magic up So I used the sigil of the menacing mage consistency and alchemy because these guys can drop some decent alks Here we go completely out of casts and we got some coconut rough trip didn't really get any good drops at all It's really there it is, Leaf Bladed Sword, huge, absolutely massive for the account. We can now do this task melee. There it is, 75 magic. I use the Slayer's enchantment on this. Enchanted Slayer staff requires 75 magic and 55 Slayer. We have 55 Slayer, 75 magic. We can enchant it, wield it, and we should be hitting much higher numbers right now, speeding this task tremendously. I am starting to think that bigger and better is bugged because this is my third task in a row where I could get the superior version and I just don't get any superiors. Ladies and gentlemen, I see a sigil. It is a sigil of the forager. You always gain triple resources from mining, fishing, woodcutting and farming. This sigil does not stack with the sigil of enhanced harvest, which was the one we got earlier. So this one is triple, the other one was quintuple, I believe. I see a sigil. It is a sigil of devotion. Ooh, that sounds cool. What is this? What does it do? Dropped bones are automatically buried. Ashes are automatically scattered. Prayer XP gained from these activities increased by 200%. That could be pretty decent for certain tasks. Ended up getting all the way to 80 magic from just doing that task, which is perfect. Came all the way back now because, uh, well, I finally have Live Bladed Sword and I still had like 20 to kill. And now we're gonna try to finish 99 strength before I go to sleep. Ooh, another Leaf Bladed Sword, okay. Task is completed, let's see what we get for the next one. 72 Slayer, 90 Strength, looking very solid. Steel Dragons, oh yeah, yeah, that's a skip. Ooh, but I have 90 points, uh, but that's definitely a skip, that is too slow. Blood Veld, yes, phenomenal task, nice. 
Finished my Blood Veil task up to 91 strength. Let's see what we get next. Black Dragons. I can do this easily in Falador. Uh, don't need anything special for it. Still maintaining rank 1 strength at the moment. Blood Veil. Yes, nice. Very fucking good. There it is. The big level 75, meaning we can finally go do Gargles and make a bit of money. So I might actually after this task, which by the way is still gonna take a long time. I got 109 left. I will manually select the gargoyle task so I can make a bit of money. Now I have a couple of ideas what to do with money. One of them is to invest the money into chins and one of them is to invest money into cannon and cannonballs because that can be a nice way for me to passively train range without even needing to worry about it. All right, we finally finished the Bloodville task and I cannot do a mistake by taking a task. We are now 76 Slayer all the way to 93 strength and we just take a Slaughter Sigil right now and I should be able to pick my task Gargoyles. Huh. I just put them in the thingy, but that was a small upgrade from black boots to adamant boots. However, they are now in the looting bag. Unlucky. We're at a point where levels are gonna be really hard to get or very slow to get. So at this point, I need about like 40 minutes for a level, I'd say. Uh, but we're 94. I will definitely try my best to push to 99 before sleep. We'll see if I'll manage though. Uh, it is currently 8.30 a.m. and uh, we haven't slept yet, so... Okay, we got a brittle key, uh, which I always thought I could use as an escape, but you can't really because there's a 7 second timer. I don't think I'll be killing the boss at any point. I am starting to get convinced that my account is bugged and I can't actually get superiors because, hear me out, 77 gargoyles. 475 blood welds, 150 kurasks, and 150 aberrant specters. And I'm yet to see a superior in this game mode. Yes! Nice. Okay, so Gmol, which I don't know how much it goes for on the market, but it's probably gonna be worth at least a little bit. Oh, and the rune full helm right after. Nice. Okay, we get a rune scimitar and snape grass, and that's the supply drop, I think. That's a weird one. Oh, no way. Dude, I have seven left and I got an emblem with shark. We can use this for brews, we can use this for restores, prayer potions, all the good stuff. This is really, really insane. If we check 800k, now obviously mall is probably a bit less, but look at the amount of alcabas we got from this task. Absolutely insane. Oh my god, people are buying pure essence because you can craft a lot of runes. I just got 73k just from pure essences. Okay, let's see. Maybe it's an instant casket. And it is an instant casket. 75% chance, let's take a look. Yeah, that's that's not bad, by the way. That is really not bad. There it is, one step closer. Level 96, about an hour away from 97. So we're getting there. These levels are the slowest. Well, uh, we got a long bone, first one on the account. One step closer, that's fire giant task completed. The clock is 10.40 a.m. and we have 96 strength, almost 97, super close. Greater demons, ah, uh, we'll do, we'll do, that's okay. Here we go, we're now starting the hardest level, 97 to 98 strength, let's get it. Strength is looking sus, uh, 97, almost 98, and we are 40 minutes away from the breach. Let's go ahead and see if we can get a good task, it's so important right now. If I could just get a solid task again, we've been super lucky, we can then reach the next streak, and if we reach the next streak, we already have a bunch of free points, so... Oof, Black Demons is not bad, honestly. Ooh, we got ourselves another Supply Drop, 31 Carambo Ants, and 18 Cadentine. Alright, moving all the way up to 80 Slayer. Strength is almost at 98. Breaches are in 20 minutes. I'm ready, but I'm ready. Alright, so there we go. Finally, 98 Strength, and now the final level to go. Probably exactly one hour away. However, the breach is in 20 minutes, so I'm gonna pause it for the breach to see how it feels. Okay, so I'm actually gonna pop the Guardian Angel because my bank is uh, pretty beefy at this point. I don't know if it's Guardian Angel beefy, but still, I don't want to risk it. And breach is starting in one minute, so I should probably buy a few more Manta Rays and be ready to go. <laughs> I'm going with the Dorgas and Crossbow, yay. Breach has spawned Alcarid, single. North of Alcarid. Okay, let's just get a dueling ring real quick. Okay, I'm going crazy uh, already. Alcarid? Where? It, it just right next to Alcarid, you can't miss it. Oh, there's Kriara. Oh there's my one. god, you're using melee? Is that okay? What the fuck's going on then? Instantly Kriara, holy shit. What? That's the melee from Inferno, what the shit? Okay, that's the first one. I got Wine of Zami and Cosmic Rune. 
Wait, why? I don't even see. Oh shit. Okay. Dude, this is sick. General Grader, hold up, be careful. There's fucking Bando spawning inside of us. I think I'm doing good though. There's like a lot of loot on the floor. Just need to brew up Burma. What did I just get? Dragon Battle Legs Emblem. Oh my god, I got a big drop. There is no way. Yeah, yeah, I got Emblem. I'm going for the Warp Jelly. Dude, I'm getting so much loot actually. Oh my, I'm getting so much loot by the way. This is crazy. This is the dumbest thing ever. I got another tier 5, I think. Two tier 5s. Is there more? I don't see. No, there should be more. There should be more. Bro, there is... Look how much loot there is on the floor, man. I think people just died. Dude, just steal everything from floor. Oh, Abyssal Demons here, by the way. Dude, this is so fun, actually. I have so much loot on me right now. It's crazy. Dude, so much loot is on the floor, by the way. I just... I'm afraid to school up right now. Not gonna lie. This is just from people dying, by the way, I think. Oh. Krill. I should have brought the DS, I'm trolling. Okay, Krill is dead. Surely, surely. Snapdragon, dude, I'm getting so much drop, but nothing is like insane. I can't even click the boss, bro. Bro, this is so sick. They made it really good for singles as well, like actually. Bro, I'm so bad at looting. There's so much shit on the floor, but I'm always too late. Okay, I got a few there. Oh, I looted a lot. Let's go. How many people died, dude? Oh, Zilli. Oh, shit. Krill and Zilli, same time, by the way. Dude, this guy is just looting. These people are just fucking coming here and looting, man. <laughs> dude. My looting bag is full, bro. I kid you not, I have 2 million in my looting bag. Okay, I need to take this to the bank. 2 million, bro. I have 2 million in the looting bag. What? <laughs> what is this? Don't die. Don't you dare die. I'm going right back, let me tell you. Dragon Halberd, no. Another tier 5 emblem, though. Okay, I got a lot of DPS on that guy. Nice. If you get a lot of DPS, you get like tier 5 emblems like, like crazy. I thought melee would be like really shit at this, but it's actually so insane. Oh, another dragon battle axe. Nice. Make sure you turn like left click on oh, Kriara spawning. Kriara is the craziest, like... Because it hits everyone. I mean, usually you should have it always... Uh, always right-click. Because sometimes you need to hit back players. This is so crazy. This is so much loot. Oh, Bandos. I'm gonna eat here. Oh, Bandos, Zilli, and KBD. That is scary. Oh, so much loot. Oh, Mystic, this is mine. Another tier 5. Yes. It's so hard to tell when you're getting hit by a player or a mob. Okay, I quickly bank, come back. Wait, how is there just more stuff spawning, bro? More Rex? Ooh, Rex can be good. Bro, you could legit come here and just loot people that die. It is so crazy. Oh, I think I'm MVP for this for sure. Oh, I'm tanking Krill. Fuck this, I'm running. Oh, KBD nuked so many people. You just see stuff spawning on the floor. That has to be... The most fun thing I have ever done in this game. How many emblems did we get? How much loot? 560k more. We are so rich right now, actually. I am always doing this on cooldown. We're just gonna go finish up uh, 99 um, strength right now. But goddamn, that was crazy. Also, I'm pretty sure if I refresh this, look how many points I got just from the damage that I dealt. So that has been so good for the account as well. I think I'll try to sell a bit. Yeah, all of a sudden we have the money. There we go, 800k. And I, I have so much more. I'm not sure what to try and buy with this. Chins. We're gonna try to buy chins. I have a feeling that other people have the same idea right now. Because there has been a lot of money coming into the economy. I got 200 more chins. Okay, let's go finish our strength before it's gonna be too late, man. Opa, there it is, another emblem. <laughs> Dude, getting an emblem is not as exciting anymore after seeing that many drop in the breaches. Not gonna lie, but... Another tier 5, I was thinking if it's maybe worth for me to buy a full elite void. Because I think I have enough emblems to do that and it probably would be worth it. There it is, 99 strength, uh, no sleep yet and I don't think I can train any more XP. They made it so you can't go past 13 million. I am the second person in Deadman mode to reach it. 
However, I'm gonna quickly relog to secure my second spot. Yeah, the breach was just too good. Like I could have not went for breach and gone for, you know, trying to reach first to 99 strength, but I think second is also good because we enjoyed the breach in the process. If we now log in, if we look at the scoreboard, do a little refresh. We have secured our second spot, which is beautiful. And I'm just gonna finish this task because we're almost done. You guys already know the drill. We need to speak to Sloane and uh, get our cape here for all our efforts. And there it is. Usually this would be a pretty useless cape to have, but I would always do it just for flex. However, this time around, it is actually extremely useful because we have unlimited teleport to very close to the bank and it's safe zone nowadays. And yeah, right now we're just gonna start rushing towards the higher combat bracket and then chinning. That's basically the plan. I'm really looking forward to the future. Deadman mode is pretty damn exciting right now. We did the breach yesterday and we got a bunch of emblems. So if I speak to Mr. Emblem Trader right now and I put all my emblems in, I have so many. How much is Elite Void? 2.5 per piece. Okay, it's pretty expensive. I don't know if this stays or if you lose it. Oh wait, but they go lower and lower. So this is 1.5, this is only one. So I could actually go ahead and afford a full Elite Void range, for example. And now the goal for this episode is to just get to 111 combat bracket as fast as possible. And we're gonna do it through Slayer. So we can also get ourselves whips and all the cool stuff like that. Let's begin. Let's start the first Blood Veld. Yeah. We cannot say no to blood welts. By the way, I do believe my account is officially completely bugged. I'm yet to see a superior and I have killed over 2000 mobs that could drop me superior. Before I go ahead and I can actually afford to train range, I'm quickly alking all my stuff. So I have a little bit more money so I can buy a little bit more chins, but also I want to buy Sigil of the Ruthless Ranger and that seems to be quite expensive right now, I guess. I don't know how much it is. I mean, that's a really big stretch. I don't think there's any on the market, I'll be honest. So I guess I'll just leave it in for 101k. But we're okay on money, so I'm just gonna buy more chins and I guess I'll just use Sigil of Consistency instead of it then. Which isn't perfect, but it'll do the job. So I'm gonna go ahead and also attune Devotion. So I'm gonna start getting some prayer XP and which sigils am I running right now? Consistency, this formidable fighter is kind of useless right now for us. I'll just attune guardian engine then because my bank's pretty big right now. Sigil of the serpent, that's like the worst one, I swear. It just cures venom, that's it, that's all it does. Oh, that's a disaster. We're, we're training range, we're going all the way to 55. There it is, 55 ranged, we can now use red chinchompas. Let's go back to milling. Finally, a really good supply drop. We got some, uh, well, a rune med helm and a lot of super restores, which is actually pretty solid. All the way up to 80 attack. And right now I'm just kind of juggling. I'm doing a little bit of attack, a little bit of defense, just to try to get to as close to 111 combat as possible. I do want to get up as fast as possible because I don't think many PKers will actually push to 111 combat. It's just not worth it for a PKer because there's not much to find there. Oh, Morrigan Javelin. <laughs> Loot, yoink. <laughs> that's a yoink right there, that's 20k. Okay, so it is 19 tasks in a row. I could theoretically pick one, but let's risk it. Necreal. Haha. <laughs> this changes my plans a lot. I think I will be questing Desert Treasure so I can go up a bracket. I expected to go to sleep, but instead we'll be doing quests. So since we're gonna be questing, we're gonna be unattuning the Sigil of Formidable Fighter and Feral Fighter. And we're gonna be attuning the Guardian Angel. So we have GA, Alchemaniac, Consistency. Let's get ready for questing. Forgot to record, but quickly bought an upgrade for my magic shortbow. And we're gonna buy a couple of runes and we're gonna get an assembler, I mean accumulator as well very quickly. That was 10 Herbler, one of the prerequisites for Desert Treasure. There is 50 fire making, again, prerequisite for Desert Treasure. Okay, first thing, I wanna get a couple of devices. Cause let's be honest, at some point we're gonna die. And I do believe most of the breaches I'm gonna be doing with range eventually, right? When I have a really good range setup. So having a few of these is gonna be helpful is what I'm thinking. There is five thieving, I can now steal cakes. All right, we did a little bit of skilling, didn't quite finish off my 53 thieving just yet because I don't know what quest rewards I get. But we're gonna start it off with dig site, hopefully no PKers. Okay, we got an ancient talisman, nice. There it is, the first one out of the few. Dig site completed a ton of mining XP going from zero to 54 mining, which is a little bit ridiculous. 
Uh, let's get out to safety and figure out what our next quest is going to be. Next one on the list, Temple of Ikov, going from a sketchy quest to even sketchier one where I basically cannot have any food with me. And this should be Temple of Ikov from 57 to 63 range, lots of XP. And we also get a little bit of fletching, which is what we need for the next part. Perfect. And that is 20 smithing. We can now complete the Taurish trap. All right, let's begin. Let's speak to Irina. Last quest before the desert treasure. And I do believe I can get thieving XP through this quest. I don't know how much, but that's probably what I'll go with. Usually I go with agility, but I think I will we'll, we'll experiment. I have no idea. Let's just uh, hopefully finish it without problems. All right, looks like the quest is about to be done. I'm just going to double check my desert treasure requirements. Looks like we just need thieving. So, and since that is one of the last quests I plan on doing, I mean, I will do the crystal shield and stuff like that later on, maybe, if I don't have DFS, but I most likely will have DFS. So let's go ahead and speak to Irena. And here we can actually decide what we want. And we wanted thieving, how much? Up to 49, this might actually be enough. 53, perfect. It's almost like we planned it. I feel like the hardest the hardest part of DT is just getting all the items. Now we have all the items, minus the lockpicks. Uh oh, okay, not that much. Fifty surely gonna be enough, right? There we go. Camille defeated. Oh, consistency is kind of nice here. I can't miss. There we go. After speaking to the troll mother and dad, we should be receiving our first diamond out of four. Arguably the hardest one to get. Make sure we teleport if there's a PK air, there is no PK air. There it is, Ice Diamond, one out of four, done, beautiful. There we go, that guy's dead. Range is pretty easy and my range is super low, only 64. So here's Diamond number two, Blood Diamond, beautiful. Uh, the next one is going to be Shadow one, I think. All right, I hope RNG is on my side. I have 50, let's take a look. Nope, nope, mm -mm. no. I think it's like one in 200 to get it so yeah let's get it huge pretty lucky there there it is diamond number three and 65 range okay the last boss there it is and that's the last diamond okay and here it is the last one let's do the pyramid finish the quest we did it no sleep 99 strength desert treasure quested this is the most I've ever done without basically going offline. But there it is. Ability to be on Ancients. Probably most of the questing done for now. Okay, I am ready to do some Necreals. And I'm actually not going to be using the Guardian Relic. So if I get killed, I lose everything right now. Slayer Tower is super dangerous, however. I'm just not live right now. I'm kinda, I kind of feel risky. Uh, but I'm going to be training defense here and hopefully reach 1-1-1 one, one, one combat as fast as possible. And I really want to make even more money so I can buy even more chins. So when the bracket up happens, I can just throw all my chins in Monkey Madness 2 tunnel. That is the strategy. That is the plan. Oof, the food situation is rough. I still have 40 kills. This is a sketchy, sketchy task to melee. There it is, 79 defense. I hate being on so low food for so long. Combat is still 108. I'll definitely try to push combat up, up after the breaches. Ooh, what a task. Money is good. 100k here, probably 100k more, probably 20k more. That's pretty good. 109 combat almost, so getting up there. All right, we have a couple of points to spend, but we got black demons and I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, do those. It's pretty good. There is a big level 80 defense. We're gonna focus on attack right now because if I do end up bursting or whatever, I can train it with the defense. So just gonna focus on attack, maybe till like 90. Combat is 109, we're getting there. We got about an hour 30 to the breach. I'm exhausted, but I will try to stay up for it. Here's a supply drop. 12 strength pots, nine restores, pretty solid actually. One of the better ones. There it is, 83 attack, 110 combat. And now we need to start being a bit careful uh, because I don't wanna go to 111 just yet. I wanna make sure I go through the breach before I do that. That is 68, my combat is still okay. I think I can get two more levels, but just, just to be safe, I'm gonna stop here. I'm gonna already prepare for the breach and just start training agility. Once again, utilizing the sigil of the bloodhound to see if we maybe get like a good drop here. Let's see, 75% chance it's a casket. Yes, let's go. This is so cool, man. I love the fact that it's still a gamble. It's not guaranteed, but it's a 75% chance. So that's pretty good. Let's take a look. Maybe we get something insane. Yo, that is solid, by the way. 
That is very good. That is solid, man. Ooh. What I'm basically going to do is I will do the breach, go to sleep for seven hours and a half, wake up, do another breach. At least that's the plan, unless I fall asleep and I don't wake up and then move up a combat bracket. So I'm going to intentionally delay my up. I could already be up. But as you can see, there's like three people in that world. So there is no way I can clear the breaches, breaches with three people. So because of that, I'm intentionally slowing myself down, not go up a bracket just yet, do two breaches, get good quality sleep in, and then go crazy in the higher bracket again. There it is, level 70 ranged, perfect. So I can now use dehydes for defensives and I can still use void for aggressives when we're doing breaches. We are 10 minutes until breaches. I'm a little bit more ready this time around. I know what to expect. My sigils are still trash. Just gonna go with the guardian angel consistency and then feral fighter for some of the melee hits. I probably would be best if I had like a really good range gear is what I'm thinking for breaches. Really high le range level and then going with basic ranger and consistency or having trident and going mage with uh, two major relics basically. I think those are probably your best bet. Dude, deadman mode needed some fun activities like that actually. Dangerous but fun. Everyone typing in Google, yup. Snape grass, not bad. Oh, that's mine as well. Should probably get a drop from that. Yeah, got a drop for that. Start up Brood War food. very good. I'm hitting big numbers, this could be mine. Another drop, do I get an emblem? I do want to get more emblems, didn't get it there. We got the room plate body and nine super combat potions, that's good drop. War with the jelly, we get a few hits in that one. I'm gonna quickly bank. There's a lot of PKRs around, so we're gonna bank, restock, go again. Trip number one, 1 1.1 mil. Oh my goodness, it's amazing. I'm gonna just eat one. Look how many people die, by the way. Oh, super combat and white berries, not too bad. I got wines again. I'm not getting any tier fives right now at all. Kriara is in, so I gotta be careful here. Prey range, keep my distance. I got some 550 Lawrence, it's not bad. I think it's only two minutes. I might be too late to come back, but let's see. Trip number two, 1.5 million. I got like 600 refs in there as well. More anti-fires, very solid, honestly. Oh man, I was really hoping for an emblem though, because then I could buy a void melee helm and then I could do these trips always in full void. Ooh, that was fun. Didn't get any big drops though, which is a shame. I think because I'm melee based, it is so hard. Uh, last trip for 200k. Honestly, can't complain. I think our bank went turbo up again. And the best part is all these items I can just slow sell. Look, they don't even show up on my bank. Obviously with all my chains, onyx bolts and stuff like that. So pretty solid, honestly. Pretty happy with this. These are amazing. I'm gonna go to sleep now for seven hours and then I'll be ready for the next event. So I'll just fully prepare my inventory. Seven hours later. I managed to go to sleep and wake up and I had a beautiful sleep. Wish it was a bit longer. It's now 3 a.m. We got one minute till the breaches spawn. I have the high daughters here. Should be okay. Quickly go on Krill. Yeah, there's too many people right now. We need to go up a bracket. That is ridiculous. I can barely even loot. You received the drop shark. Lovely. Still 1.8 million, by the way. Lots of supply drops. So even if we didn't get a tier five, we're doing good. That is it, fellas. That is it. That is all she wrote. Let's take a look. 350k more. Not too bad. Not too bad. A ruthless Ranger is so expensive. I'll pay 1 million for it and I cannot buy it. And you can get it for free. I want to use it when I go chinning, but I can't use it. Like, it's ridiculous. How is your experience with Deadman mode so far? I think this is my favorite Deadman mode I have ever played. Oh, yes, there's no way. Guys, 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 I got a, I got an emblem. There is absolutely no way we got a tier 5. I need it. I can now afford probably Void Melee Helm first and then Void Mage Helm lastly. With this hit, ladies and gentlemen, we are now combat level 111. That means we can now prepare and go to the last world. But first, I need to make sure I have everything ready so we can go with one hour of chinning, get our range up, all the good stuff. I'm excited. Let's see how it goes. There is a person in the chat called Hodex that said that I should speak to a defense cape guy to get superior drops. So let's take a look. We're a little bit late, not gonna lie, but I'm gonna try it. Melee combat tutor, here we go. Do I have any quests or lamps to collect? No. See, I, I, I'm i good. I've done everything. I can open my bank three times. Let's be very smart with this. Okay, this is a bit scuffed. Why don't they just let you bank as much as possible? That is a bit random, not gonna lie. I'm gonna do 300 chins at a time. All right, we can now swap worlds and now we need to be fast. So one, 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 switch. What do we got here? Uh, Dragon Slayer or Secrets of the North? We're gonna finish Dragon Slayer. 
There we go. So this is how we're going to do this. It's going to be ridiculous XP. So we are going to be a bit smarter with it. And I hope I get the precision relic or any of the good relics because we're in the higher world right now. So we could get something crazy. 73 range already. It's going pretty well here. Getting like what? 7 mil XP an hour. Oh, cooked caramb one. Oh, hold up. Cooked caramb one and defense. First supply drop from monkeys. I know this is not the best spot, but I don't want to go deeper in the cave. Yes, emblem. Only tier one though. So this guy is no longer dropped tier 5, but we got sharks as well. Not bad. We have used about 400 chins so far, and we are already 80 range. That's crazy, actually. It's super late. Okay, we're whispering now. Rune Scimitar. Super defense. ASMR stream. Sigil of the Menacing Mage. I actually think I can sell this for something, right? I think that's a standard one, but I think it sells for a bit. Not bad, not bad. We take those. Sigil of Titan. This is so OP, by the way. Oh my, there it is. Sigil of fucking titanium, bro. I think this reduces damage taken by like, I kid you not, 60% or something crazy from like all mobs or something. And we can now get the rarest possible sigils because we're on the last bracket. That's crazy, man. Okay, my protection is about to run out. We just got a supply drop of Karamb ones and Steam Rune, yoink. And looks like we went from 70 to 92 range in one hour. And look at this, about to run out of chins as well. Yes, Void Melee Helm. Boom, let's get it. Huge. We're now going to be slaying, looking like an absolute machine. One thing I didn't even mention, by the way, in that one hour of chinning, 68 to 78 prayer, all from devotion. <laughs> Apparently, according to Mank, I have the most horrible RNG in the game. But shout out to Mank, he actually reached out to me on Discord, so I appreciate that. Wait, I didn't record. I cancelled Steel Dragons, got Hellhounds. Hellhounds are insanely good tasks, so we will absolutely enjoy this one. Yes, casket instantly, let's get it. Okay, I think this is my third casket this Deadman mode. <gasps> Kurva March, what did I just get? Sara Dehyde top, Dragon Boots ornament kit, Rune Plate Body G. Bro, we got everything. We got everything, man, holy. Trinker of the undead, please be insane. Fuck, it went into my Narnia. Okay, let me let me pull it out. I'll use the, the worst version anyways, it's fine. That's huge. First, like, trinket drop of the account. Nice. The drop that we got, I kid you not, 1.5 million. I am not joking. Uh, I'm gonna stick with devotion for now, so I'm gonna get rid of consistency, I think. Okay, first testing of the thralls. Look at them go. Bro, it's hitting six. Five. I love him. Look at him. Eight. He's going crazy. I can insta summon it, by the way. It's insta. It's non stop eights extras. Sit back and, back and relax. I don't even know what the fuck I did. Bro, look. I can just keep summoning them. Sigil of the Augmented Thrall. We just got it, bro. I think it was still like 350k. We take those. We take those. Everybody hold your breath. Is it an easy clue scroll? Let's take a look. Search the bookcase, first floor sorcerer's tower. That's an easy one. Let's go ahead and do it. All right, we got Sigil of the Bloodhound. Good luck us. Please one, one click casket. Yes, another one. That's what, four in a row. Beautiful. Let's see if we get anything crazy from this hard clue scroll. Um, we, uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, eh. Content scroll. We got it. Let's see if it's easy to do. Grand tree. That's such an easy one, by the way. Oh my god, I'm getting so lucky here. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Let's get it. Mm, you know what I mean? Like, mm, we got some seeds. I mean, still what, like 200k for three seconds of my time? Hey, it's not bad. It's not bad. 2.2k prayer XP per kill. That's a lot of XP. This might be a solid task. You cannot make this shit up. We got dragon knives. 144 of them. This is amazing for bank fights. 5k each. You're telling me this is a 600k drop that I just got. 8k each. That is crazy. Okay, prayer got up to 80. Combat got up to 114. And this task is printing us money and XP. Pretty good. There's a big level 84 slayer. One more and we can go for those whips. I'm ready. Sigil of the Thrall sold for 296k. Beautiful. And then if I buy one dragon knife. One dragon knife for, I don't know, 15k. We bought it for 14,729. So we can sell for 14,728. You're telling me this is that much money. We will try to sell it for that. It might be a, might be a stretch, but we'll see. K 
Okay, there it is, big level 90 on the attack. And now we have a small dilemma, whether I go for a 99 attack or I start training a little bit of defense. Uh, I'm already 115 combat. Another thing that I would recommend if you guys are starting Deadman mode a bit late, please use Devotion when you're doing tasks that drop like Ashes and Bones. I really regret not using this early enough. Look, I'm already 81 prayer and I'm not even... It, it's like zero effort, basically. It's really good, I think. But yeah, I'm gonna stick to attack for a bit longer. Oh. There it is. Sigil of Devotion. Not bad. I don't know how much this one is, but I personally vouch for this, man. It gets you basically 99 prayer doing nothing. I wonder how much this one sells for, but this is not a bad one. I think it would be stupid if you're high combat bracket, if you PK at the bridge. I genuinely think it's stupid. Sure, you can kill someone, right? Because you can, like, freeze someone and Kriara is on them and whatever. But I think you make more money if you work together and you actually kill the bosses. When it's this little amount of people. A kill you'll get a dragon scimitar and like a few things, right? Especially if, if I'm using GA, which I will. But I think if everybody works together, like the 20 people that will show up, they can all make ridiculous amount of money from it, way more than PKing would. Oh, there it was, did you guys see it? 85 Slayer. That means we can now go ahead and hunt for whips. But I will still chill and finish this task. This task is pretty decent. I'm also gonna finish an attack level here, so both Slayer and attack. There it is, so that's 91 attack, and I have decided I will start training defense, probably to like 90. So yeah, finish off the task, try to see if I can buy a whip, if my stuff sells, and then go hunting for whips ourselves, and as soon as we're 87, we're then going for trident, so looking forward to it, should be fun. I've killed 121 worms, no superior, I've killed necreals 110 times, I've killed bloodvelt 780 times, no superior, gargoyles... Uh, 170, no superior, Kurask 150, no superior, Abby Specs 150, no superior. There's probably more that I don't see here, uh, but basically chance is 1 in 200. So even if you just collect these and there's probably more that I'm missing, the chances is like super insane, right? Because that's already a 1800 or 1600 mobs. Yeah, it's just unlucky, man. Boys, tier 5 emblem. I think that completes my, that completes my void set. Let's go, that's huge. I already bought the Ranger Helm, I already bought the Melee Helm, and lastly, Mage Helm. So now we have a full Void completed. If you guys are wondering how it works when you die, you basically just need to pay coins and repair it, unless it is over 20 Wilderness. All right, we finally reached the point in Deadman mode where we can farm some whips and hopefully not die. So let's go ahead and pick Abyssal Demons. Boys, boys, pay attention to the chat. Trinket of the Fairies, but for only 350k, which I think is phenomenal price for the fact that you can teleport just about everywhere in the game for. When we thought it was safe, it wasn't safe. Brother man, you're looking scary. You're looking menacing, my guy. <clears throat> Let's have a nice little conversation. <laughs> ah. It appears we got tricked. I got nine brews to my name. Talk to me, what are we doing? <laughs> okay, well, we're gonna be on the lookout for that guy. That guy's a demon. I am sure this is not our last time seeing his name. We got ourselves the first whip. I don't need to bank it, I will use it. Keep training defense. Uh, but there it is, very good. Still yet to see a superior, by the way. Great, Repistle Demon! <gasps> Manx fixed my account, let's go. He actually did it. 2,000 mobs! They exist. Mengt cooked it up. I guarantee you he, he he blessed us out. Like, there is no way. Oh, my first, uh, first superior of the account. I do not believe it, bro. I genuinely thought my account was bugged. Watch the, imagine the PK are flying in right now. There we go. Another whip. And the sigil of the fortune farmer. You cannot make this shit up, bro. Let me get out of here real quick, boys. There is no way, bro. There is... Dude, this tournament... Let me tell you, bro, we are absolutely chilling. And look at this one as well. We just made like a 4 million in one drop, I kid you not. Newly dropped clue scrolls are stackable, that's fine. And then Abyssal Whip for a 2 miller. Uh, I don't think I will sell it, I'll just put it in the deposit box for now. Ain't no way, brother man. Ain't no way we got a third one. Ain't no way we got a third one, man. Yo, let me get out of here real quick. There is no shot, bro, we're milking it. Oh my goodness, we're rich. So the whip drop rate is 1 in 128 in that mode, and we got 3 in 55 KC so far. So safe to say, we might be a little bit lucky. 
There we go, moving all the way up to 86 Slayer. Just one more level to go and we can start hunting for the Tridents. And um, it is currently an hour and 35 minutes until the next breach. Our prayer level is also 85. Oh, everybody stay calm. It is a greater abyssal demon. Here we go. Could this be another one? The second superior, they exist. I wonder if they did something and actually fixed my character or if I was just so unlucky for the whole of Deadman mood. I guess that's the answer I will never have. We get combat potions with Torstals. Chaos rune. Uh, so not the best this time around, but still pretty good. There it is. Task is done. Mithril kite shield. Teleport out. Beautiful. We're gonna go ahead. How many points do we have? Nice amount of points. We're gonna take another Abyssal Demon task. This one was... Honestly, perfect. Three whips is insane. I think I will sell one whip, however, and afford a black mask. I think uh, this would be better. So we're gonna buy a black mask and hopefully like a tankier piece of, of armor. So we're gonna be banking the void for a bit. A whip for, I believe it's two miller right now. Yeah, just 1980 off the bat. Uh, let's buy black mask for insta price. There we go. We got it for 1.3. That's pretty good. So now we're running around like this, like an absolute demon. Why do I have this random ass looking crossbow in my inventory? Yeah, it's the question I get all the time. So how do you escape from PKers? You need to think, right? There's many options. One option is you bring PK gear, you freeze, run around the corner and teleport. Okay, so one is, right, you bring PvP set yourself. So that's four inventory slots, maybe more, right? You switch, you freeze. It's usually pretty hard to do because a good PKer will always utilize the walls, freeze you, go or, or step under you, right? So that one's usually quite hard, especially if you don't have like a really good mage bonus, right? Or really good magic defense bonus, whatever you name it. So the second option is by utilizing the stairs, kiting on the stairs and then getting a teleport off. However, that becomes impossible as soon as there's two people on you because one can stand above, one can stand below and they can hit you and there's nothing you can do about it. However, there is something you can do about it. You can have a crossbow. As soon as they hit you, you wait. Yeah, you turn out to retaliate off and you wait. You then hit them back and then you start kiting the stairs. If you do that, you start like immunity, okay? You start like an immunity where the other player now can't hit you. So now you have like a solid seven, I don't know, eight, I don't know how many seconds to where you can kite the stairs and get a teleport off. And if you don't have a bow, you can never force an immunity for yourself and they can just one bolt you on the top, you go down the stairs, the other guy bolts you and you can't escape. So always have a crossbow on you. He's putting the escape in a runescape, dude. At, you have to be ready, man. It's Deadman mode, okay? You can get killed everywhere. So always have your escape planned out. There it is, big level 86 prayer. Uh, we're up to 87 defense, almost 88. We're looking beefy. 118 combat, the breach is in 50 minutes. Haha, <laughs> yes. Yes, boys, get in. Oh, just like that. Right as I wanted to bank as well. It's absolutely wonderful. Whip number four, demons killed 150 at the moment. We got another one. We got another one and we have 20 left on the task. So we're gonna actually stay here because the breach is in 18 minutes. So I wanna make sure I kill this. And then I'm ready for a breach. That's huge though, that's a huge drop. Almost 90 defense already, which is really sick. 92 range, solid, 82 magic. Not the best, but this will start getting up very fast once we start doing Kraken. So I'm expecting this to be 94 very soon as well. So let's just get fully ready for a breach. We got about 10 minutes right now. Okay, let's go with a melee hard here. I have Titanium on, so we should be okay. Already got some cooked cramp wins. Hit the Rex here, big hits. Oh, this is so much cooler with less people. Look how cool this is with like no no players interrupting. Somebody didn't make it here. Bro, come to the higher combat bracket, they said. It will be fun, they said. Just looting absolutely everything on the server. Super combat, ref runes, these are mine, I think. Come on, this I have to be MVP for this Malevolent Mage. I have to be. And this Dark Beast. There it is, see, MVP, instant emblem. Let's go, huge. Hit that guy, maybe I get MVP on this as well. I should have really came with a whip, man. Even more loot, oh my. How much time do we have? That's halfway done. I think we quickly bank, we come again. We got first emblem and 1.7 million of the first one. Surprise, there's no PKers. It's hard to PK here whilst getting hit by all the mobs. And the server wants to work together. There's only like 20 players that can do this content. Giant Goblin. 
I could be MVP for this one. Yes, I knew it. There's another emblem. Let's go. Big hits. Let's try to hit this Jalk Nod guy. Or this, actually, Pyre Lord. Just want to get more MVPs for more emblems. I could also flick a bit, so I loot. Oh, Thrall. There we go. Brew it up. To restore this. I think we did good damage again, by the way. Yeah, we did, we did. Nice, super combat pots. I'm gonna try to stick to Night Beast here. See if I can squeeze in an MVP. Not a lot of people are down here on this side. Yeah, I knew it, see? I knew it, another emblem. So all we want, you see this mage right here? We just wanna hit what people aren't hitting. See, another tier 5. That's how it works. You get an MVP, you get a tier 5. Everybody's skedaddling away. And so will we. Ooh, what a phenomenal breach, boys. What a phenomenal breach. What did we get? 1.7 million... Again, three emblems, absolutely relaxation right now. This was sick. Massive loot, man. Let's get it. Let me tell you, confirmed, Relic of the Titanium is my new favorite, man. All right, let's take a look. So we're going to be doing Kraken next. So if I speak to this guy, I can now sell all my emblems. And we now have 6 million. We're going to be buying a Rune Pouch Note. I will be the first person to use Sigil of Resilience, which gives you 10 times faster health restoration. L let's see, so Menacing Mage, Resilience, and Augmented Thrall. So we're gonna have max supplies if somebody hits me. A part of me does not even wanna go in Void, I just wanna go in Tang gear. But I guess I could go in Void as well. praying we are not praying so the goal is here that i can do this without using any supplies there we go one boss i don't think i'll kill more boss right now but that should give me some decent points i should bring titanium as well instead of thralls then we make this process completely afk little supply drop Peronovic for some mud runes and karambuans okay okay so this part right here could be pretty good that's the first elite on the account and i can one step is one step it so if this is easy, we can try to finish it. Shazian Tent, Mystic Bottom, Runkai Shield, Bob Shirt. I think Bob Shirt will be impossible to get, unfortunately. So we're skipping this one. There it is. First Trident of the account. We're just gonna go ahead and loot it. And finish this skill and get out of here. And we're gonna try to complete this Elite Clue Scroll, which hopefully shouldn't be too hard. And then we'll come right back here with Trident, which should make this quite a lot faster. So you're telling me I need to kinda kill 100 of these. Just keep an eye on the minimap. If something starts running to me, I need to start running away. Yeah, this is where on the boss, I think titanium really helps because everything is hitting zeros. I think this is where it really shows. I don't even need to utilize any food for this. Okay, and then I got 256 to 271. Okay, so I'm getting points for this. So I guess we'll do boss for a bit. Seven hit points. Just two more levels and we're gonna have a nice little trimmed cape. Magic all the way to 86 already. Obviously, it's a bit slower with Trident because you don't get full XP. But still working our way to 94 and then eventually 99 through that as well. So pretty good. Task number one of the cave Kraken. We killed uh, 120. We got one Trident. So we're just gonna grab another task, another Kraken, go again. <laughs> Hey yo! No wait, Kraken Tentacle! Wait, that's not even what we want! <laughs> Dude, that's not even what we want, man. It's a fucking tentacle, bro. Yeah, we're killing the boss right now. We're trying to get uh, 100 kill count because you get a lot of points for just doing the bosses. So we're gonna do 100 kill count and you can get a fully charged uh, trident doing this boss as well. So that's what we're up to. Okay, so I had a really nice idea from a viewer and that was that I could use the tent to basically deal more damage at the breaches. And I think that's a, actually a really good idea. So we will probably sacrifice one whip to the gods and use it in uh, in breaches, basically. Okay, so 50 KC, half of this boss is completed. Magic is at 89, just getting about a mil an hour. I'm a bit lazy with Alks, but it's getting there. Once this is 94, we are completely chilling. This clue scroll could be huge. Captain Barababingdi. Captain Gnome Glider Pirate. Top of White Wolf Mountain. I'll do this one, bro. It's fine. I'm under the drop rate for the Tridents right now. Still only have this one. And I've killed 126 of the small ones and 53 of the boss. So I should be having two by now. Okay. Wait, this is not even multi, or? Oh, this isn't multi up here. We're chilling. Oh, double stepper. You hate to see it. Was the next? Did I have the sigil on? Wow, double step glue. Trash. Do I go to wizard tower? 
Yeah, we send it. We go for it. Blue scroll situation. This one was a two-stepper, uh, which means we're gonna get absolutely ridiculously good loot. Let's take a look. Good luck, us. <laughs> I wouldn't call it absolutely ridiculous, but we'll take it. it was a, a bit of a rough one. A bit of a rough one. It is what it is. I think this is, by the way, this is like RuneScape in a, like in a nutshell. You get lucky at Abyssal Demons, yeah? And then you come to Kraken and you don't get lucky. And that, and then it all balances out. It all balances out. We're gonna do 21 more bosses and then we're just gonna do small ones. I missed it a little bit, but that's 88 Slayer. The short-term goal is 89. Uh, 91, I mean, for sir, but the long-term goal is 93 for Smoke Devils. I will probably at some point try to get myself an occult. What is this? Sigil of Fortification. Your defense is increased by 50 for Stamp Slash, Crush, and Range. Combine this one with the one we're doing right now with the Titanium. Ah, uh, but I don't know how good defen stacking defensives is in the game, but there it is, man. Another Sigil. That's huge. That's definitely one we don't have. Oak Plank. Wait a second, that's pretty good. I was planning on training construction to 50 so I can put Barrow's portal in my house. That's a good drop. I didn't even know it exists. 100 bosses killed, got a bunch of points, did not get a trident. Is this guy trying to pick me here? Talk to me, buddy. I mean, he could go for us. I don't think he can kill me here, but you're good, bro. Ah, that's all right. <gasps> Sigil of Woodcraft. Receiving logs when trees, you will... Ooh! Boys, this one makes planks. I think this one's good. Basically, as you chop trees, you insta make planks. I think this one is really good, by the way. It's a skiller one, but a really good one. Yep, Smork is in the building. He's not gonna hate us, let's be honest. It's fucking Robert, man. Why is he barraging? Roberto Carlos over here barraging, man. Hey, there it is. I mean, 92 magic and the task completed. And we get some death runes. And we're gonna go another one because we have not gotten Trident. So one more Kraken task and hopefully we get a bit luckier and we at least get something. So there it is, Cave Kraken, 116. How the fuck is there an MSB in my room? It's not even a charged one. Do these guys drop an MSB? Guys, I'm, I'm, trust me, I am as confused as you are right now. You've had it there three hours. <laughs> You're telling me this has been here for three hours. <laughs> I don't believe you. I got it from the last clue scroll reward and I just never banked it. Nah, 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 nah. The second tentacle, brother man. The second tentacle, brother man. It's fucking you. I mean, it's not useless, but it's useless. I'll try to chuck this one on the market and see how much we got. Back to back. We call this one the back to back Mika special. There it is. The Uncharged Trideronovich. Nah, we take those, we take those. There we go, there we go. I think I'm staying for a little bit longer. I don't want to go bank right now. Oh, that's good, that's good. That's the second trident of the account. Nice. I wasn't there, so I don't know. Speaking of, I don't know. I did not know I was going to reach 98 hit points. So there it is. One more level to go. Task is nearly done. Hopefully we don't get caught right now. But again, we have all the supplies because we're using smart relics, okay? We're using Titanium, Malicious Mage, and the other mage. So... We don't need to pray, we don't need to do anything, we have all the supplies, if we get hit, it's an easy escape. Okay, do we get one more on the last one? Oh, no, you are kidding, you are kidding! No, 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 hey, roll it back, roll it back. What did we say? Nah, there is no shot, by the way. This is absolutely ridiculous. Okay, we got one, we got two, we got ten. That is crazy, that is crazy. Do we get anything sick? Not sick. We'll take it though, I mean, it's a bit of coins, right? There it is, it's now 50 construction, which is perfect. And we can now afford portal room, I'm pretty sure. So if we build this, I don't know if I have enough coins, but let's try. Uh, this one is, let me just double check. Yep. Okay, so here's a little bit of a crazy one. Fuck, how much is prosperity usually? But anyways, while we're waiting for it to buy, hopefully soon, uh, just gonna train a bit of construction, maybe finish up my level 50. Yeah, I don't have enough money. Okay, let's go grab more money, I guess. Our first portal chamber. Make one of those. This maybe gives me enough XP for 55. <gasps> Sigil of Prosperity bot. Look at this. Let's go. That is huge. Oh my god, yes. It was what, like 3.3 million. There it is. Sigil of the Prosperity is now obtained. Mage, Mage Prosperity. That sounds absolutely perfect, exactly like we wanted. However, I'm just gonna build a little chapel in my home and then a ring of returning and get ready. I just want transportation. There we go. Bro! 
It's that easy, bro. It's that. Listen, listen. We're just so talented. We have like a better gaming chair. Look at it. Is that it, by the way? Boom. And do I just read it? Do I know how to teleport to current now or what? I'm just gonna make some portals and then and then we do it. But now everybody knows, man. This is so bad, by the way. Guys, I'm not doing anything on current, okay? Don't worry, I promise. Change my mind last moment. We have some. <laughs> I'm such a moron. I didn't tune the Sinjil, man. Ah, kurva much. All of this for. <laughs> All of this for what? I don't even want to skip a missile. I go barrage abyssal demons. This is the play. <laughs> we do it. I don't even care. We, it's fine. It, honestly, at this point, I don't care. We're doing it. Oh my god, we actually got a whip from here. We actually got one. There's no way, right? <laughs> There's no way we got a whip from here, bro. Dude, this pays for like 17 deaths. How do I get out? Everything is aggro. Okay, what's more valuable? Sardom in dehyde body or crack intent? Or the boots? Take out the boots. Let me see if the boots get lost. The boots don't get lost. Oh, nice. Bruh. You can't make this up, man. Somebody is smiling at me right now, guys. Somebody is absolutely smiling. Completely giggling. I think this one is number six. I'm not even gonna lie. This is... <laughs> it's getting a little bit out of hand right now. Let me tell you, like... That's the thing. I don't want to have money on the account. Because I'm barraging. So if I have money on the account, there's a reason for someone to kill me. But is there a reason for someone to kill me for some Torstall and defensive potion? Okay, they get a bit of super combat pods, but they're like 500 coins each. And some mud runes. Like... Wait, why, why is my prayer perma full? Oh... Because devotion buries bones and I never lose prayer. Wait, that's actually really good. I can take more food. By the way, I'm so happy I misclicked the task. It literally made me two whips already. Guys, 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 listen to this. I killed 229 demons. Yeah, wait for it. Six whips. Oh, two superiors and another whip from there. Let me tell you. <laughs> I got a dagger. I got a piece of dagger. You are trolling, man. Dude, they buffed this place. What do I even do with the Bissell Dagger? I don't know, man. I can't even store it in the bank. Do we just risk it? Sigil of Maticulous Mage. How much are we talking? Bank worthy, not bank worthy. Could be a couple hundred K. That is like 200, 300. That's not bad. That's all right. Nah. Nah, 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 nah. Guys, 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 you don't understand. Like, you're actually not understanding right now. I got another one. You actually, like, you don't realize it, by the way. You don't realize the fact that I've killed 270 demons for 8 whips. This is- I'm having the biggest smile on my face. I should have finished my mage, but I like- I didn't want to, man. I really didn't want to. Like, what is going on? Okay, so whip 1, whip 2, and we're gonna try to buy precision. And we're willing to spend big money for this, because what this sigil does is it increases accuracy by 50% in all styles against all mon monsters, mombers? I don't know what I'm saying. Yeah, first one sold for 2.3, now we're committed. Second one, 2.3, and now precision. It just makes sense, like, we're gonna do dangerous stuff anyways. Please buy. That's a problem. That's a, like, because now I can't go out, right? That's why I didn't want to sell stuff. I mean, it's okay, right? We sell one more for 2.3 miller, and now we buy precision for 7 mil. But I don't want to go deeper than that, I don't think. Fuck. Precision was bought for 9 million. <sighs> How much is VLS? At this point, I'm just getting a VLS, bro. I don't think Precision is worth that type of money. All right, let's just commit for a VLS. One more whip. Yeah, let's go. Okay, so let's try Precision first. Apparently, it's huge. And then we'll try VLS after. There it is. Okay, we bought it. Listen, it's okay. We're gonna get more whips anyways. Was it worth it? Most likely not. Did I buy it? Yes. Am I happy with it? I don't know. I'll use it on the next bridge and then I'll let you know. I don't know, this has been the most ridiculous run of Deadman mode like I've ever done. Like, this is completely crazy. And there it is, 94 magic, meaning we can now cast Ice Barrage. And this is where the XP will go absolutely crazy. Now, we're actually gonna start defensive casting. And we're gonna utilize this in our advantage to finish off the defense training. So then when we train melee on breaches or whatever, we just focus on attack and that's it. No, 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 guys, 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 guys. I got an abyssal head as well. <laughs> dude, dude, it's completely useless, by the way. But it's so rare. Like, it's 1 in 5k. So you're telling me, hear me out on this one. This is the 300th abyssal demon I'm killing right now. And we have gotten 8 abyssal whips, 1 abyssal dagger, 1 abyssal head. That's kind of crazy. So this has probably been the most ridiculous task I've ever done. I'm not even going to lie. 89 Slayer, 94 Magic, almost 90 Defense. 
Okay, so we are trying to preserve our points here, so we're not gonna be picking the task. But we are okay with almost everything in the game, so let's see. It's so crazy, because when, when, when I say almost everything, fuck it, I'll do it, bro. It is what it is. I'm gonna do call fights. It is what it is. Okay, this is something I should have done a bit ago. Uh, buy a mythic cape. It's actually a decent plus... I think it's plus one or something. I don't know, but it's better than strength cape. Bro, this could be content. Wilderness agility course. This will not be content. Opa. We got ourselves a nice tier, tier 5 emblem. We take those. I just missed 93 attack, but the combat is now 120, so just a couple more combat levels to go to be done. Just finishing this gargoyle task, and then we have, well, right now we have 19 minutes until the breach. Boom! 60 agility, we can finish the rest in Camelot, in a bit more dangerous spot. However, breach is in 5 minutes. Precision, Thrall and Titanium. I think, ideally, I will work towards getting a Scythe and I will play it with Precision and Alcarid. I just need to play range because of Kriara. But I can chuck a cheeky bolt in her. There we go. And I spec'd as well. 40. It's pretty good. Blood runes 500. I'm taking it. That's a lot. Trinket. <gasps> Trinket of advanced weaponry. We have it. First one. Oh my god. I'm so happy by the way. I think we need to get out to safety and restock here. But how do I have aggro of everything in the game again? I just come here. And I somehow have aggro of everything. Look at this. The amount of stuff hitting me bro. Manta. Take the manta. Manta is money. <gasps> VLS! VLS! Fucking VLS, bro! Oh, okay. From Kriara! VLS from Kriara! Yo! There is no way! There is no way! There it is! You can't make this shit up! We take those! No way, man! No way! Trinket of Advanced Weaponry, another one! <gasps> Dude! Two trinkets! No, 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 no! Two trinkets, VLS! One breach! Are you serious? Holy shit. Okay, what trip was this? One point, like two million basically. Yeah, I need to alter a bit my, like all these blues and whites. I don't know how to do it, but I need to get rid of all these drops on the floor. This has easily been the best breach so far. We got the VLS and we got multiple trinkets. Let's go ahead if we can pull a scythe. If we can pull a scythe, that would be huge. Here we go. What do we get? Number one, Korasi. Number two, please be scythe. Tebow. Is, I don't, is it good? What are we thinking? Is it good or is it shit? Tebow is best one to get? You guys sure about that? Nah, we don't go greedy. What? Four, four miller for a bow. Let's do four miller. 1.5 for Void Waker. Okay, we'll do 1.5 for Vo Void Waker. How fast do I make money, by the way? Look at this. I think this is so kind of ridiculous. Like, I just made 500k out of nowhere. And I have even more if I just sell my, like, sigils and stuff. I have 12 million, bro. Ladies and gentlemen, we are entering the night time, meaning we need to be silent. I slept a solid four hours, really good sleep, best I've ever done, woke up and I was ready to play. Kraken 10 bought for 600k and Void Waker sold for 1.5. That is good. There it is, Trinket of the Vengeance for 1.5 million dollars. This is one sigil that I still don't have, Sigil of the Ruthless Ranger, and since I do want to train my range up, I guess I'm not gonna be buying it. God damn. Oh man. Sigil of the Bloodhound. I decided to do the tour of task. We will take it. It's not the best one. It's not the worst one. I like it, but I don't think it's gonna sell for much. No, you guys are kidding me. That is so much money, by the way. Trinket of the Undead from a tour of. I don't even have prosperity on me right now. There is no way. It's so late. My girlfriend is sleeping. I can't be loud, but. Bro. Ladies and gentlemen, on the tour of task, at 2 a.m. we woke up for this moment. 99 HP. Still have to be quiet though. The task is almost done. It's pretty shit. We got a good clue scroll we can do after. So let's get it done. There it is. Another casket. Oh, look what's happening in the chat. Trinket of the undead. I kid you not. 1.5 million for free. And we also completed the hard casket. Oh! <gasps> War Blessing, Biz for Bandos, guys, Biz for Bandos, Berserker Necklace on Rame Ornament Kit, I can't even say it, bro. Wow, what a, this is really good, War Blessing is amazing, and Master Clue Scroll, 
Let's see if we can do it. Oof, I need a full battle set. Maybe I could get a full Thorax. I'll keep this one for a bit. There it is. Corrupted Scythe of Viter. For 2 million. We're gonna try utilizing this on the next bridge with super aggressive relics. It's gonna be scary, but I want to try it. Or maybe I'll go Titanium and I'm just not gonna take Thralls and I'm just gonna focus on getting MVP with this. Okay, this one is long time coming, but I have too much money. Wait, I can have Barrow's Gloves? I didn't know since when. I'm buying Barrow's Gloves. I thought I could only do Dragon Gloves, that was the plan. There it is, big level 90 Slayer. So three more levels till we can do a Colts and we're just training attack. We're gonna do these tasks only until 99 attacks and then I will always pick my task till the end of Slayer. That's why we're stacking up all these Slayer points. The bridge is starting very soon and for this one I'm changing it up. We are unattuning all of our other sigils and we are attuning Precision, Fighter, Titanium. And we're gonna still use the Trinket of the Undead, it's just gonna deal low damage. However, our sight is gonna go absolutely crazy. Okay, we are fully ready. Precision, Feral Fighter, Titanium. We got a sight with a melee switch. This is our gear. We got the bolt for rubies. And I'm not taking magic, but if something happens, I can still brush because of, because of the sacks. We're gonna try to do as much damage in this one as possible. Got a Dragon Battle Axe from that one. Yes, emblem. Okay, nice. Oh, there's another emblem down there. Kaik emblem tier 5. Oh, ruby spec. This could be my MVP. I'm getting big damage on this. This is gonna be mine. It was this one. Shark Toad Flex, not lucky. I unhighlighted a bunch of drops, so we can at least see what's going on. Oh, that's mine for sure. Triple proc. If that's not mine. Four procs. If that's not mine, I don't know. This is a million percent my MVP. A million. Trinket of Advanced Weaponry. There you go. Your MVP, you get rewarded. Arcane Emblem. Someone got a VLS, no? Yeah. DMM Mika Trinket, another one. Where? Tag it. Bang. Another trinket. Two of them. Huge boys. Oh, pick airs. What a trip. Yeah, pick airs jumped in the very end, but another phenomenal trip, and this was so much better, by the way, because two trinkets plus a shit ton of money, plus it is much better for us to loot good drops now. Tebow is worth about 5 million right now. Scythe is worth about 3 million right now. We're in the money, let me tell you. But we're gonna open these and see what it is. The reason why I'm quiet is because it's 4 a.m., so... Tumek and Shadow. And what's the next one? Another side, boys. We can sell this for 2 million. We can sell this for a lot as well. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up. <laughs> Guys, everybody stay calm. I just got a trinket of vengeance out here. This is pretty fucking good, by the way. Why do I get all the cool drops at 4 a.m., man? Okay, we have reached a point in Dead Man where we basically have everything we could ever ask for. So it's time to commence the stage 2 of the account. And that is to start swapping all the excess gold for money on 07. I'm absolutely broke on 07, I need to afford bonds, so we're doing a 3 million for 24 million on 07 basically. We're gonna obviously accept second because we that, that's what we do. There we go, we accept this one, 24 miller, we give him 3 miller, and now we continue. You know, that's pretty good. I cannot complain with Cave Kraken. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, Uncharged Trident. You may be thinking, hmm, you already have a couple of these. Yes, and you're right, but let me tell you, this is about 3 million dead men, so that is about 24 million 07. So every time we get this, we're getting richer on 07. We're in the money, boys. We're in the money. Another trident, second one of the trip. Oh, yes, and we still have 20 left. Huge. No. Guys, 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 guys. Back to back tridents. I have three. I have three in this task, bro. Dude, what's going on, by the way? Like, this Deadman mode is absolutely ridiculous for us. Items are in the process of being sold. 1.8. So this guy had a buy offer in. I think I could get around... Let's do, like, this. Pretty good. Shadow sold for 4 million. Very nice. Selling some other items. I'll even sell a Beastle Dagger. I'll do it for a mil. 
just so I can get some money, swap it out, and then go all over again. All right, did a little bit more waiting, and the bow sold. We're now on 8.5 miller. Well, that's one trident down, another trident sold. Whip, nicely sold as well. We are now on 14 mil. Looks like we are doing 35 mil 07 for 5 million deadman mode, and we still have 10 million we need to swap, so money situation is starting to look solid. There we go, we got money. We're up to 59 million already and we still have 10 million to swap. Mm. That's okay. We'll just throw another VLS into safety deposit box and move on with our day. Uh, because swapping is slow as fuck right now. Yes, sir. We got another whipper. We go ahead and uh, take it home. <laughs> oh, I came back first kill another whip. First kill, bro, I kid you not. And I got the superior. Okay, I'm sticking to it. I'm killing this superior, boys. I have to. This is absolutely crazy, but this might take a while. So now I'm scared because now I'm risking a whip. In multi. There we go, superior. Slayer level 91. Blood rune brew. Okay, didn't get anything crazy. But we got a whip from the other one, so... Dude, I don't know, man. It's getting absolutely ridiculous, this deadman mode. We're going again, but basically 10 whips, abyssal head, abyssal dagger, you name it, we have it. I got a dragon spear, by the way. I'm not even gonna put this in the, the in the box because this can actually be a, not a bad escape, not gonna lie. There it is, 91 prayer, all from Sigil of Devotion. Hasn't Haven't trained that since the very start of the game, basically, so pretty nice, pretty nice. Another superior, oh, oh, 42, another whip, another whip. We, I kid you not, got another whip. Whip number 12? Whip number 12. Ain't no way I got another dragon spear. Dude, look at the XP per hour with piety, bro. This shit goes crazy and it's not even charged. But we just got uh, Trinket of the Fairies. We already have one of this, but, you know, maybe I can sell it for a bit. It's pretty useful. However, I do think they messed up a little bit by not just giving everybody a fairy, like, two unlock automatically. I feel like if this, you could actually use fairy rings, it would be really useful, but you can't really use fairy rings unless you have, like, the Raymond Staff and fairy rings to unlock, so that's why it's a little bit less desirable, but still a nice drop. Sigil of the Augmented Thrall. Yoink! <gasps> Kurva match Sigil of Titanium! Oh my... We're in the money. That's a big one. Almost back to back, bro. Tell me prosperity is not worth it. Go on. I'm listening. I'm holding. I'm waiting. T wait, wait, wait. You're telling me that's a 13 miller? 15 miller. So what we can do here is do... I mean, Thrall apparently is a miller. I'm selling it for 800 because I already have it. Oof, 900k, beautiful. And this one is apparently a 15 miller. That is kind of crazy, not gonna lie. 300k for Trinket of the Fairies? We take those, it's not bad. Probably get merged, but I'm down to go to 12 mil for the Titanium. Okay, it insta sold for 12 miller. So we're getting 85 million 07 right here for 17 million dead men. And we have now made 144 million dollars already over here on the main game, giving the 17 miller. And uh, we go make more money. Just double checking. There we go. Boom. Let's make more cash, boys. Let's make more cash. Hey, Rune Boots. Where are they? Hello. There they are. Ah. <laughs> ah, you know something sus when you run into a player in the Karul fucking dungeon and it's not a PKer. It's a fucking burster, bro. There is absolutely no way, man. Instead of me panic running tabbing. This guy is also doing Necreos, bro. You cannot make this up, I swear. This is what a usual trip to Gargoyles looks like. Nice little 500k and a shit ton of experience. And also this one, Champions Guild. I can definitely do that. Boom. Oh! <gasps> the f- Hey! The f- What? This is disaster. Okay, task is almost done. And we got the first 97 magic. And defense is super close. Oh, 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 oh. Sigil of the Menacing Mage. Not a bad one. We just got Sigil of the Well-Fed, which I'm not gonna lie, I don't think it's good. 98 magic. Purely through defensive casting. Almost 93 defense, almost 93 slayer. We're getting there, man. We are so close. One more Necreal task. And unless I'm really unlucky, I think this will be enough for 93. So let's hopefully survive one more. Mm, oh. 
Trinket of the Undead. Did you guys see it? It was right there. That's 1.5 Miller. Yeah, we're going home. That is actually kind of insane, by the way. Two Bandos pieces. It's probably the best ones you would want, to be honest. <gasps> Sigil of Precision. Is that the one we did? like 15 Miller. No way we got another one. 12 Miller again. Dude, I'm just printing, bro. Uh... We have a little PK man here. Aha. Uh -huh. Analyzation, sensation, communication. We managed to click the teleportation in time. 93 Slayer. And then we're gonna follow it up with nice little 99 Magician. There we go, one more cast. There it is. 99 Magician as well on the account, which is absolutely gorgeous. Now, I did most of that defensive casting, went from 90 to 93 defense in the process as well. So now it's just about finishing this task. Then the fun begins. Then the fun begins, even though today everything has been fun. I've been looking forward to reaching 93 Slayer the most. Boys, we got a Necriarch. You know what this means. It is time for crazy loot. Mm, just a totem, so not the best. Finally, comfortably, assign ourselves... There they are. Smoke Devils. Bye. Let's see if he follows this time. Man! I'll go again. Hello! Wait, dude, we're visiting a situation. Maximum PK versus Maximum PK is going crazy on the Mr. Arrogant. Dubby Dubbies versus Arrogant, who wins? Oh my god, it's craziness. Let's repair. We're gonna spectate whilst repairing the railing. Oh my god, they're going crazy. Ouch. Could have hit with what? Have you paid attention to what I am wearing? Shit. What am I doing wrong here? Bro, where is the demons coming from? There's people everywhere. There it is. The dwarf cannon is completed. Wonderful. I can now afford a cannon, I hope. We also got the 27 crafting. Let's go buy a cannon for the breach. In five minutes, we're gonna go absolutely crazy. And we're gonna be looking at formidable fighter, titanium and feral fighter. Now, it's getting scary with like some absolute demon looking like PKers around. But that's okay, because we're losing some absolutely ridiculously expensive items. So realistically, we lose 2 million if we were to die, which is one whip, which boom, we're already back. We have 20 million in this. We're completely vibing. And this is how we're gonna go. No range potion, nothing like that. We don't need it, just strength pot and melee. So this time we're starting the breach on 19,852. And I will try to remember to check how much we end up on. Look at this prox. Oh, Kriara is going a bit crazy right now. See what I mean though? Progs go crazy. Just got double rune though. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at it go. Some mystic. Death runes. This guy's PKing. I'll go over this. Oh, we got good full HP damage here. It just needs to proc. I'll take some reference. Archaic Emblem, there it is, there it is. Yoink. Come on, give it. Reference, damn it. Oh, Dragon Battle X, okay. Decent Alk. I got proc, and I got like 3 hits, and 4 hits, and 5 hits, and it procced, and this is mine. Surely, 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 look. I knew it. Emblem, there it is. Bori is dying. <gasps> nah, surely not. Okay, he has the dig. He's good, he's good. And now I need to play range because of Kriara. We're gonna strategically dig and teleport out and come back in. Okay, that's uh, not really a good attempt from PKer, but he does ruin a bit of my time and a bit of my DPS. That's MVP for sure, mine, right? I knew it. Another emblem, let's get it. I can't even loot it, bro. What's that? Number three, number four, something like that. Festa longsword. Festa longsword. Wait. 
Everybody saw that. Wait. I think a PKR died, there was VLS on the floor, he lost everything. I'm pretty sure a PKR got fucking yeeted off the map. Trinket of advanced weaponry. Fuck, this guy yoinked it. Why are all these things on the floor, bro? That was mine and I didn't see it, by the way. I lost it. Look, it's in the chat. And I fucking didn't pick it up like an NPC I am. You didn't get the drop? You received highlighted drop trinket of advanced weaponry. Oh, it's here. It disappeared again. That was someone else's. I'm telling you, bro. This is kind of weird, no? Oh, it could be in my looting bag, actually. That's a good shout. We'll see. Yeah, shit just keeps spawning in the end, bro. If you're confident in surviving, you just stick around until your bag is absolutely full to the brim. That was fun. Let's see if I managed to pick it up. I didn't. I think I lost it. I think I lost the trinket. Oh, that's a shame, man. That could have been like two, three million that I basically threw away. We did get a bunch of emblems, though, so all in all, really good run. And then the final points. So we, you're telling me we started on 19,000 and ended on almost 24,000. I think our DPS was crazy. We have entered an absolutely ridiculous stage of, of Deadman mode when we are barraging, cannoning smoke devils, bro. This is what I've been waiting for. Will I get sniped? Yes. Am I doing this on stream? Yes. Do I have no delay? Yes. Are we gonna be dead in the next clip? Yes. Are we having fun doing it? Also, yes. So really looking forward to this until I die, but I think it's gonna be fun. I was like, bro, I got a cult. I got a shield left half from this guy. Nah, this is a movie. Hey, there it is, the first one. The first one. 10 million. That is how easy it is to make like 60 million 07, by the way. That right there, 60 million 07, or maybe 50. And now, you know what we do? We throw it in the bank and we go again. And then what we do is we get another one, we throw it in the bank and we go again. Sigil of the nature. Is this one good? Somebody look it up. How much is Sigil of the Nature, please? I would appreciate it. Zero? No value? 80k? I mean, 80k is 80k, right? It pays for like three cannonballs. Sigil of the Augmented Troll. Nice. <gasps> Superior. Oh, fuck. Okay, well, I'm staying. That's a million in my event. But I cannot go now. That's the worst timing to get Superior, but I'm kind of happy. What do we get? Sigil of the Porcupine. Sigil of the Porcupine. That one is insane, I think, no? Oh, and the Dust Battle. Hold on. Ah, ooh, ooh, ooh. Dust Battle stuff. How much is Porcupine, by the way? That is insane. Well, it used to be insane in the 1v1s. I don't know how much it is right now. Oh, man. But I, I'm happy because I don't have it yet. So this one I don't have, and the other one is just straight up money. You just got 30 mil 07, just like this. Yeah, not only that, bro. Like... I can make so much money 07 through this method. And, like, I don't lose anything on Deadman mode. I have everything I could ask for. It's not like I'm sacrificing my DMM progress for 07. Not at all. If anything, I'm, like, keeping it nice and safe. And then if I ever need to, like, swap the other way around, I also can do that. Eh, hey, yes, dude. Yes. Number two. Where were we? 50 mil 07? Yes, sir. Thermonuclear smoke devil. Watch this. This is occult situation right now. There it is. Give me a little heart right here. What? Rune pouch note. Where is it even? Rune pouch note. The fuck? You can get that? Sigil of the aggression. Oh, right before the nerd log. Right before the nerd log. I knew it, bro. How much is aggression, bro? Did we just make like crazy bank again? 20 million. <gasps> Dude. That's 100 mil 07, bro. 35 mil deadman mode. Huh? What? What? Trinket of the undead. I was like 2 million last one. Let's do it. I will low sell it a little bit. 1.3 mil. Uh, okay, I'll leave it like this. Precision is 11 million. Don't mind if I do that 60 mil 07. Insta sold. You guys have no idea. You guys have no idea how much money this is. 11 mil, just like that. Aggression. I kid you not, sell price 40 million. 40 million. I'll go down to 38. I'm not going lower though. Oof. I'm scared. And how much is troll? Augmented troll. 1.2 as well for this one. Okay, let it cook for a bit. 
There we go, Trinity of Undead, bought, VLS, I'm just gonna sell it for 9900k. So I hope this sells, this sells, and this sells, we'll give it like a little bit of time. And then Whip, I can sell one more for, how much was Whip, let's take a look. Whip was 2.4, so, wow, Whip is holding on in price by the way. Bang. Insta sold for 2.4, beautiful. Occult is 7 mil right now, I can do it for like 6 mil. There we go. Okay, that's a cold that uh, managed to sell for 5.2 as well, so that's 20 mil now. And whilst we're at it, might as well start figuring out if I can sell some more alkabels. But this might take me a little bit of time. Oh, there it is. It's sold. 33 million. I have 53 million with a swap rate of 1 till 6. 53 times 6. I just made 320 million 07, I kid you not. And this can sell, and this can sell. Here, I'll, I'll give it to someone for 800. Who am I swapping with? I think Voss is buying. Or the great mate is buying. One of them. Oh, come on, why are they all so fucking... Just trade me, bro! Oh, my... My cannon is gone! There we go, fuck's sake. We do a little calculation as well. 50 time, 55 times 6 equals 330. We're accepting 330. There we go. Boom and bam. Just like that. Pleasure doing business. So you are telling me right now that in one day of playing Deadman mode, one day, I kid you not, I made 474 million one day of Deadman mode. One day. Dude, this game's broken, bro. Holy shit. Uh, I had 5 million extra, so we're now getting 30 mil more on 07. And with that, I have officially, I kid you not, made over 500 million in one day of Deadman mode. That is insane. Woo! And a cult. We got another occult. We take those. But I'm finishing this task. I'm not banking it. Yeah, there it is, we did it. Oh my god, no way. Sigil of the Feral Fighter. Right on the end. <laughs> Wait, that's actually decent, I think. This is good money as well. Dude, let me tell you, like, we're fucking cooking right now. So there it is. Apparently I missed it. I was getting ready for it and I missed it. But 95 defense, just four more levels to go. Gonna probably do all of it with barrage. And then the rest of the attack is probably gonna just be done on the breaches is what I'm thinking. Slayer is gonna be 94 in a second here. So that's also kind of sick. Ever since I've equipped Prosperity, I have been getting so many sigil drops, like the rare ones as well, that we made absolute bank. So I'm not unequipping that sigil, like, no matter what. All right, here we go, here we go. Can I get something huge? Eh. You know what I'm saying? Like, eh. All right, boys, here we go. This could be huge. In a way, I got a... I got a katana, bro. Is this worth... Is this worth shit? Bro, where's people? Am I playing in an instance or something? Then I'm expecting PKRs here like crazy tanks. There's just nothing. No one exists. Hey, boys. Another occult. Occult number four. Yes, man. Nuclear smoke devil. You guys know the drill. We're getting an occult. We're getting a sigil of the ninja. We're getting it all here. It's gonna be sick. I am back and I got Sigil of Last Recall by the way. I kid you not, I just got Sigil of Last Recall, like right now. I wanted to buy it, it was like 5 mil, I was like, eh, I'm not gonna buy it. Okay, here we go, here we go. Hmm. But this is elite clue scroll. How is this elite? Oh, okay, there we go. Good fight boys, good fight. Pleasure doing business. Can't survive this one. Good fight, fellas. Good fight. Good fight. Can't say it. I didn't say it in time. Alright. Okay, we're not gonna die again. Uh, no, man. Alright, we got... Sigil of Agile Fortune. I don't think I have this one yet, so... Let me put it this way. It was bound to happen at some point, okay? I probably lost like mil to two mil, but that's like nothing. Okay, so what do we lose right now from the Bank Aronovich here? We're gonna need to be smart. Do I care about 4,000 ref rules? I don't care about this defense, but uh, this is a bit of a more annoying key to lose. Well, I am just uh, waiting a little bit. I just ended the stream because I died. And obviously if I were to die again, now I lose actually quite a little bit more. 
So I need to be a little bit more careful and I need to rebuy items that are worth a bit less. Uh, so in the meantime, I'm just going to go ahead and train a little bit of agility. The plan is to reach 70 anyways. Uh, so one of the sigils I still do not have is Sigil of the Ruthless Ranger. So I'm just going to try to buy it for like 2 mil. Uh, it's 1.7, so now we have it, and obviously I sell all my dupes, but I like to keep it. This is like a cool little Pokemon collection. I have every fucking sigil in the game, almost, aside from the really expensive ones, I sold those. And uh, if you take a look at this, I lose every dagger, sure, whatever. I lose a couple of things, nothing too crazy. Oh my god, I got another one. I didn't even see it. So this will slowly start to override my other items lost. Yeah, Instabot for 6.5. I think that's pretty solid. And then the sigil that I was actually interested in buying, I believe it's called Sigil of Remote Storage. Let's see. Yeah, so this will be automatically sent to my bank. So let's go ahead and buy Sigil of Remote Storage. It's a pretty big one. It's uh, like, I'll, I'll literally spend the, in the same amount of money for it. But unfortunately, it doesn't purchase. I think it will buy over time. I'm going to give it a little bit of time. I'm gonna be completely honest, if it wasn't for the Sigil of the Bloodhound, we wouldn't be experimenting like some of the nice highs in this Deadman. I mean, we haven't had like a really cool clue yet, but this breaks down the monotone slayer task, complete task, big task, complete task, because this, I don't know, man, this is fun, you know, having that small chance of rare items is just straight up fun, and any bless hides, anything like that, uh, just goes for actually a lot right now, and... Uh, if it doesn't go for a lot, it can be a placeholder for one of the items that you lose. So it's technically pretty valuable, right? So let's go ahead and see if we get something nice out of, uh, out of this one. Another D-Boots ornament kit. I think that's my second one. Two Alcabus and Pirate's Head. That's a new one. We're gonna allow the faith to be in the game right now. We're not gonna be picking the task because we only have two picks available. We're just gonna let the game decide what is it that we are going to do. I feel a little bit more comfortable when I'm not streaming. The game wants us to go kill spiritual creatures. Alrighty then. Okay, I decided to sell another occult, just because we are basically running out of space completely in our bank department. And I'm gonna probably transfer it off, because uh, the sigils that I'm trying to buy, don't buy. And honestly, I'm not sure if they're worth that much money at this stage in the game. It's a lot of money I'm throwing into the sigils, but where I think it would be a lot more useful to just have on my main account. I'll try to buy Sigil of the Enhanced Harvest for 4 mil which basically gives me quintuple resources when I am doing skilling, basically. And then I would also love to have storage one. Sigil of storage for like 100k because it's kind of shit. There we go. That's the worst one, but it still bangs like a few things. All right, we're doing another swap. 11 mil for 55 mil, I believe. Uh, I'm going to go first this time around. Boom. This is usually a little bit riskier, but I mean, they have a rank, so should be all right. There it is. 61 miller. I, it's even more than what I thought, uh, so even better. It was 5.5, not to just 5. So we are now close to 600 mil, I think. All right, let's try not to die. Cemetery. Okay, that's our first ecumenical key. We might be using this one a little bit later, especially if it works with last recall. If I can go inside and then just recall back in, that would be huge. There it is, the boots, little collection lock pop-up. However, since I didn't take them with me, I'll just uh, grab them, use them, put these ones here. And that's a miller right now, so, and they're very common, very, very common. But obviously, this is very risky. We're once again in multi, and literally three kills later, another pair. Oh my goodness, third pair. And I just came here. There is another ecumenical key. We always like to take those. I think I can get up to three, maybe. That's pair number four already. That is four mil done. There it is, 98 attack, meaning just one more attack level to go. We're almost there, 124 combat as well, which is huge. And there is a third ecumenical key, which is probably where it stops. Maybe I can get four, but I'm not sure. All right, we're just gonna go ahead and uh, test the price of one. It might not be a million, but I'm pretty sure this will insta sell. Okay, how about we sell one for 800k? How about that? Yeah, Insta sold for 800k. So it's not quite a million, but it's pretty close. That is number five. Okay, there we go. The task is done. We got five boots together, probably around 4 million. That's still good money. Greater demons. Oh, this one's ugly, but I'll do it. 
Not the task I want to be doing, but in all honesty, I don't think it should be too bad. When it procs, it goes like crazy. Like, this is pure joy right here. There it is, 99 attack, and now we only have one thing to go, and that's defense. So, beautiful. That was really smooth. The scythe is really fast, by the way. <gasps> oh my god, I didn't TP. Thank fuck I didn't TP. Sigil of the Guardian Angel, I kid you not, guys. Last price, 17 million. What is happening? That's the big level 70 agility. We can now use pretty important shortcuts. And we are 25 minutes away from the breaches spawning. I'm pretty exhausted, but I'm gonna stick through it. Uh, I am still running <clears throat> Feral Titanium Formidable. Hoping for the MVP on the squishy melee bosses that I can slash. Nice, double proc immediately, triple proc immediately, could already be my loot by the way. How many times did I just proc there? Yeah, instant MVP, instant. That's one. Mystic, that's a bit of money. Bruise though. Reference, not bad. There's a lot of people in this world right now. Not too bad, I think I got decent hits on the goblin there. It's always the goblins that I get decent damage on, wonder why. Oi, Morrigan's throwing axes for me. PvP drop right there. Still have one pot in me, so the next time I take damage, I brew... Hey, another emblem. There it is. Big damage. How are we on supplies? I think I can tank like few free... Oh. Okay, I think someone is attacking me. So, quick bank. Here we go again. Just trying to hide inside people because there's PKers absolutely everywhere. Oh, there's another one. I see it. So I did actually get MVP on that as well, that's crazy. 96 defense on the bridge. We take those. Absolutely looting everything that's left. That's us. He just... See, this is what I'm saying. The one time I get hit, they don't even hit me. He hits and goes, man. How much did we get? 1.8. Uh, remember, guys, we did get the Morrigans. We did get, like, five emblems. It has been a sick trip here. Here is the quick plan. I woke up only for the breach. After the breach, we put a lot of items on the market and go right back to sleep for a bit longer. When we wake up, hopefully items sell, and then we swap them over. Another emblem, let's get it. Nice, first one. Oh, there we go, we're picking, getting PK'd right now. So let me focus. They went off me immediately. But now I use my brew. So now we are gonna TP out. Oh, this guy's on me. Okay, let's focus. Range. This mage. Always think about your escapes, guys. Emblem and Vesta Spear. Haha, <laughs> but why Vesta Spear? So last breach, I got a PvP weapon. This breach, I got a PvP weapon. Trinket, let's get it. And another emblem, two MVPs back to back. Now, I do believe Vesta Spear is gonna start gaining in value because people are gonna start doing Corp. So it's not a bad drop whatsoever. No, the claws. I think the claws are pretty bad because you can't use them in PvE. Okay, the selling is already in progress. VLS sold for almost 9 mil, Spear for 920, Occult for almost 6, and I'm selling some of the rest of my bank. And the GA also sold for 10 mil. It used to be more, but I don't personally think it is even worth even close to this type of amount because, again, look at this. This is not worth 9 million. Okay, it appears I was just spamming on the GE. This time I'm not using a swapping Discord. 33 million for 1 to 6, so I'm getting like an even better rate than I did on the swapping discords. So here we go, aggression. He should be trading me 198 mil. That is crazy. Yeah, and that is him already, and end of for 33 mil. Look at this beautifulness, almost basically 200 mil. Accepted here, boom, accepted here, boom. Pleasure doing business, sir. 
we have now made 800 million gold pieces, I kid you not, in one day of RuneScape. Wow. It is time to begin the project. All right, we bought ourselves Torag body, Verax legs. We're going to be using Trinket of the Undead. We have 70 agility. We have the task. It is 5 a.m., meaning we are now completely ready for Cerberus. There we go, first KC out of many for Rune Halberd and some Ashes. And that is 95 Slayer as well. That's a useful drop. If I ever need to bank, don't need to do the whole run again. What? I just got a shield left half from Cerberus. Okay. Yo, there it is. There it is, boys. Big one. We also get battle stuff. Okay, so I've done 42 serbs so far, and I've done all of it with an uncharged scythe, and it was okay, but I want to test it out how it feels if I do add these blood runes, and if I can see a massive difference. Oof. This might really be worth it. Oh, this is fast. Ooh, yo, 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 yo. Yeah, I'm going to be using blood runes. Bro. That speed is unreal. Hey, there it is. 98 def def defense. What the fuck? 98 defense. And going through absolute speed through this serve, but it's expensive, man. But yeah, one more level and we're maxed out melee stats. <gasps> oh, that's a good one. That is a good one. Eternal crystal. Okay. Okay, I think I can sell that for good money. Nice. It appears that that is 12 million. I'm going to try to get one more drop and then sell it later because if I start selling now, then I need to swap now, then I can't keep going and people will know that I'm doing Cerberus. But because I'm off stream and if I keep it nice and low, I can sell it in a little bit later. And in the usual me fashion, uh, I managed to miss the last 99, 99 defense, because I was watching YouTube videos whilst doing Cerberus. Uh, but yeah, 81 KC, I believe. And uh, we are now completely maxed out. Maxed out HP, attack, strength, defense. Even magic is done. Prayer is super close. Range is super close. <gasps> nah. Nah, not, not the smoldering stone. That's not the right one, right? Now I'm confused. No, no, it's not, it's not. Ah, damn. Oh, I didn't even notice, but that was Serp kill count 100. And so far, two crystals, a little bit under the drop rate, but not too bad. Okay, I reached the point where I want to be chilling a bit and not kill Cerberus. I think 100 is a nice milestone. So because of that, it is now time for us to sell this eternal crystal. Let's sell it for 12 million, exactly. Uh, I'll give it a bit of time. Obviously, these items are not really known to be in the game already. I actually found an item that I'm pretty much interested in. A sigil of the Infernal Chef. Oh, well, well, I was speaking about it and it bought. And what this is going to do is when I'm catching fish, it's going to cook it as well. Storage is going to send it to bank. Enhanced Harvest is going to do it five times. Let's just train a little bit of fishing. So you may be wondering, man, why would you train fishing in Deadman mode? It makes no sense. Well, first of all, we get points for levels and we get points for 99. So there's a small chance that I will go for a fully maxed account again. But also, if you guys notice, there is often a breach that happens right under the fishing guild. So if I have the level requirement to go in, that can be my escape from a PKer. I could have done some quests in order to get my fishing up, or I could just relax here and wait. Since it isn't buying, I'm gonna adjust the price a little bit. 9.8, that would be still a very nice thing to get. And we're just gonna go back to fishing. Ah, would you look at that? I was AFK fishing, come back, and there it is, the 9 million. So, you guys already know the drill by now. Um, some of you guys were worried, by the way, in my last video, that why am I swapping? Uh, I'm not quitting that reward or anything like that. Uh, it is just when the rates are the way they are right now, and with me making that much money so fast, it makes more sense to swap to 07 and then later on swap the gear back in if I need to, than to hold on to all of the gear that I was getting. I mean, if I have 12 whips in my bank, what am I gonna do with 12 whips? I'm completely fine with one whip or two whips or three whips, right? But I don't need 12. That's basically the idea behind the swapping, but also kind of interested to see how much money we actually make 
in total. All right, seems like all the swappers are sleeping. So I'm over here getting 68 fishing, which was the requirement for the fishing guild, which is what we wanted. In the process, also 71 cooking, decent amount of points as well. So that's pretty solid. There we go. It appears that we finally have a buyer. So 50 million, which is actually really good. And we're going to go ahead and accept 50 mil, give him 10 mil, accept 50 mil, give him 10 mil. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, in this video alone, well, in a little bit in the last video as well, we managed to get ourselves 848 million old school. All right, then, finally, I was getting really bored of skilling. It is time to return back to PVMing. Let's get more drama. Starting this episode on 33,000 points and I have not been focusing at points whatsoever. However, there was one thing I started to look into and that was points info because up until today I did not check at all how to even get points in this game mode. I just played how I would play every deadman mode and I stumbled across this boss kill boss points tab. And I was looking and I was looking and I was looking and then I was noticing, man, you get a lot of points for killing Cerberus, 25 points and Cerberus is actually fast kills. So that had me thinking, I want to go back to Cerberus. I mean, in the last episode, we got one crystal, but there is so much more money to be had from this boss that I think I will dedicate a lot of today to killing it. I'm using a charged uh, scythe for this job. And that means we are going to be taking a little bit of uh, cost damage, right? This is fairly expensive to run. Uh, and we are using Sigil of the Last Recall with Feral Fighter and Formidable Fighter. Uh, I have a little bit of an anti-PK gear on. I don't know why I have a Dork C ball. Like, I just don't have a Rune Crossbow with bolts. And oh my goodness, there's a demon in here. If I was a PKer, this would be my wet dream, but I'm not, so I'm going away. There is one thing I forgot though, and that is after you get your initial 100 kills, you only get half of the points. So I'm basically getting 12 point something points for this, which might not actually be worth camping Serb for. So I think I just trolled myself a little bit, but I'm still gonna finish this task at least. First emblem. Nice. What did we get? We just got something, by the way. Another emblem. Uh, this is gonna be... A if I get hit here, I'm pretty dead. So because of that information alone, let's bank. Sometimes you have to play it smart. And let me tell you, this one is a rough one. And I already got two MVPs. So I need more brews and I can't afford to bring so much stuff. Now I feel a little bit more suitable to tanking a PK air. Ooh, emblem number three. Let's get it. Lots of blood runes too. Oh, another one back to back. Hey, yo, we take those. Trinket of advanced weaponry. Let's get it. Oh, somebody died for it. Ah, oh, shit. It wasn't mine. Oh, three massive hits on that. That's mine for sure. Yeah, there it is. Instantly, when you get three big hits like that, it's your MVP. Ooh, massive hits on the goblin. This will probably be my be my MVP. Yeah, I knew it. And I got the trinket. Let's get it, boys. Oh, this guy died. He was not ready. Uh, but if we look at this, there should be a trinket inside. And it is, which is perfect. A bunch of dragon stuff as well, which is a lot of money. So I'll leave the amber on the floor. This might be death. Sit the fuck down. That was so good, by the way. 
I was panicking, I was shaking, but that was so fucking good. Holy fuck, let's get it. We might need to stop the whole void idea for the breaches when they're this far away from the safe zone and actually start bringing some proper tank gear because I just tanked a guy in fucking Serp, full max, VLS, uh, he also had ninja, like he had full max basically and I am just an NPC in full void and somehow we came out alive which should never happen but we did it. We ended up with a lot of emblems, 5 emblems and 6 one on the floor, I didn't want to pick it up because it looked fucking rough. Trinket of Advanced Weaponry, and if we pull Tipo, Scythe, or Shadow, that is good bonus money. So let's go ahead and take a look. Ooh, baby, it's another Shadow. Let's get it. That's like 4-5 mil right now, which is actually really good. I think it is time for me to do a little bit of chilling and maybe finish off 99 range nice and slow, doing some regular Slayer, and that's what I'm gonna do. Obviously having Devotion on that will automatically bury the bones as well. Actually, now that we had the first chance experience to see what it's like to get fisted by somebody who is in absolute max, it is time to work on our magic defense a little bit, and because of that, I think it is time to go for magic cape too. I hate doing it, but it is time. Let's get it done. Got fix, and we need Zami as well. And then we're gonna get the up upgraded version and get our first best in slot cape. Okay, so we have Saradomen. We need to buy Zami. We need to buy Gothics. Ah, he's doing the same shit. Okay. Uh, this is not usually ideal. If he's in a clan where that. Maybe we made friends, or maybe just enemies in disguise, we will figure it out. So if you are unfamiliar as to what is going on right now, we need to cast a hundred of each spell to unlock them, to be able to cast them outside of wilderness, and then we need to use those spells to defeat bosses in-game in order to upgrade our cape from just a standard to basically just a better version of a cape that gives us more magic bonus, I believe so. Well, I don't know how long over I went for it, but as you can see, you can now cast Sara Strike outside of the arena. That is perfect, we can now equip Zamorak and do it all over again for Zamorak. Flames of Zemi is now also completed and then lastly I think we left Gothics till the very end so let's get this one done. Gothics is now unlocked as well, now we just need to speak to the guy and actually do the hard part. Okay, that's one out of three. Okay, there we go, that is second one done. Okay, there we go, and that's three out of three. Okay, so we can now use our Zami Cape and he will imbue it and just like that we now have an imbued Zami Cape. Best in slot cape for us, for sure, just to show the difference. But let's go ahead and take a look. So the standard one would give you 10 magic bonus, 30 on the attack, but then the imbued one, 35 on attack, 15 on the defensive bonus and then you also get 2% magic damage. So quite a big increase there. Okay, so I'm not sure if the drop chance is 1 in 4 or what's it like, but yeah, we get a strange icon at the very beginning because that is a... Did it go in here? Where did it go? It disappeared. I need this to finish the quest. Okay, this time I will drop my food before I open. Now I got it. Right? There we go. Perfect. We will now have a minimap when we do Barrows, but also we get this little XP lamp, which on Deadman World can be a lot, and I guess it makes the most sense to get 300,000 prayer XP, which is almost a full level. And I've had enough time to think, and I've basically decided how I want to treat stuff like Barrows. I don't want to burn myself out and do like 100k instantly, but maybe every episode we do like 10, or maybe every episode we get like one item. Oh, I didn't even realize, Sigil of Devotion... That's pretty good, that's 1.8 million right now. Alright, here we go, KC number 3, I believe. Nothing. 4. Nothing. Okay, surely this one is it, yeah? Nothing again on chest 5. Hmm... 7 is my lucky number. I get Karil's Coif with an elite clue. Back to back? Nope. No. I'll do one more. Alright, here we go, here we go. Okay, uh, nothing too crazy from this Barrows run, maybe I'll return to it a bit later, 
Let's go do something else. This is something I never expected to do, but I think it makes sense to do, actually. And that is to reanimate some of the heads in order to get some prayer XP. Now, how much prayer XP will we be getting here? Uh, I don't know. And this is what we're gonna be doing. And the prayer is 15,000 prayer XP. Uh, I don't have that many, but maybe we get a level or two from all our insult heads that we gathered through Slayer. And there it is, that's 95. I'm also doing a bit of the Abyssal Insult Heads that I had in my bank. I think I can maybe get one more level. It's gonna be a stretch, but might as well give it a shot. All right, Insult Heads are great and all, but I wanna try another thing. And since right now I'm kind of in a mood to AFK because I'm playing my different account, I'm not gonna show you too much about that just yet. So because of that, I'm looking at alternatives, right? And with the Devotion, Prosperity and Ruthless Ranger, I think I could be farming Heart Clues alongside training Prayer, alongside training Range, whilst being ridiculously close to safety. So let's see, per Dragon, we currently pull 6,000 XP. That's not too bad, I'll be honest. I think all this switching around doing different activities has led me to the point where I think I'll just finish off 99 Slayer, 99 Range and 99 Prayer. That's gonna give me a ton of points just in general, but also it's gonna give me the best chance to get more sigils. And the next goal is also going to be to start working towards the sigil of the ninja. I know in the past I've swapped out of Deadman mode, but now the swap rates are so low, it's like 1 to 3, 1 to 4, where I feel comfortable spending all the money that I get in Deadman mode for actual Deadman mode items. Hey yo, little tier 5, we'll take it. Not bad. There it is, big 50th task in a row completed for a bunch of points. Now I have two options, either I keep lazy tasking or I pick the task. But since I want to train range anyways, I don't even know what task I would manually pick. So we're just gonna let it fly and see what we get. Uh, do I go slow necrials and do like them with range? I guess I could do one slow task, fuck it, let's get it done. Slayer Tower is no longer safe because, well, we are too deep into the tournament at this point. So the first safety you can prepare yourself is to have 71 agility. And since we're 70, might as well get 71. And this should take almost no time at all. Oh, and there we go. I didn't expect it to get there, but that's 71 agility. That's part one. Call me silly, but part number two was supposed to be to make a black mask, but I need a crafting level for that. And I don't have a crafting level for that. So we're just going to skip this process entirely. All right, well, uh, we got 95 range, and this is pretty chill. I kid you not when I say this. Watch this, yeah. I, I'm playing this account, you know, Training Sword and Tuna. I got a trinket of the undead, 2 million. Like, I'm gonna utilize this, probably buy some, I don't know, Vesta Spear, put it in the deposit box, keep AFKing. I want this account to also get into the top bracket. And on the main game, simultaneously, we just got 96 Slayer, beautiful. We're gonna wait 50 minutes for the bridge, enjoy the bridge, and then probably get some rest. Ooh. We spawned a Necriarch. Let's go ahead and kill it. All right, let's take a look at the loot. Another Porcupine. That is a really good drop. In the meantime, while all of that was happening, uh, on our old, the trinket sold for 1.8 million and obviously all the herbs. We are now rich. I'm also gonna buy a clue relic on this account because, well, I enjoy clues. Maybe we get something rare. All right, I actually finished clue scroll on our noob account. Let's see what do we get. Bandas plate legs? Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. Everything else is kind of meh. Okay, breaches are becoming scary, scary, scary. Uh, the start of this one is going to be in exactly one minute. Still don't have the ninja. I do have precision, but formidable is better with fighter. And once I have ninja, I will play with precision. Ooh, that's a lot of people, boys. This one's not gonna be great for points, let me tell you. I got VLS. I got VLS, boys, let's get it! No way! Check it. I got a VLS, boys. Huge! Absolutely massive for the account, there is no way. Bang! Second VLS? Yes, sir! Yes, sir. I didn't take much uh, food switches or anything like that. Oh, Halley. Yes, sir. Oh, it's so hard when you can't even click them up, man. But we got another emblem somehow. Uh, there it is. Got a dragon hardly out of that. Abbey Demon. I got a click in, that's what matters. Big damage. That could be my MVP, by the way. And it was Emblem. Beautiful. Another Emblem. Yes, sir. We got really good, uh, really good loot. 
how much was that just for the boys two million in here more emblems more restores another emblem by the way guys i got like so many emblems this run that's gonna be it i think that's all she wrote let's loot a little bit maybe we'll have to do a little tank test because of it yeah there we go as expected not afraid of that guy I can completely read him, it's this guy right here, he missed like absolutely everything so far. He just gave up, like... Can you see how much loot is left behind? That is my bag full as well, so just by me staying here an extra minute, look at the supplies. Absolutely wonderful. My overall deadman points at the moment, I'm currently rank 20. Not bad, rank 20, pretty good. Alright, so there's this one thing that's absolutely annoying me, and that is when I want to AFK and relax, because obviously I do want to max my, at least some of my stats, maybe all of them, who knows. But I have this weak ass, completely weak sigil of storage, and the reason why it's completely weak is because it only saves 90% of stuff, and then you always need to drop one, click again, drop one, click again. You know what? I've had enough. I am bored, therefore... We're gonna grab one, one of our VLSs, we're gonna sell it, and we're gonna finally buy this damn sigil. I'll just insta it. I, I, I could maybe get a bit more. Yeah, 8.5. It's good. It's what I wanted. It's fine. We'll leave it like this. It appears it bought a very expensive... Actually, 8.7, that's pretty solid. Uh, to put it in perspective, 40 million 07 just to AFK some trees and fish. But if you inspect it... Resources gathered from mining, fishing, woodcutting, and farming will be automatically sent to your bank. It's, 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 it's wonderful, let me tell you, it's absolutely wonderful. By now, you guys already know the drill. When it gets late, we need to lower the voice. But while our main is fishing, and we're currently 75 fishing, 78 cooking, we advance the bracket on our alternate account, okay? I'm playing the alternate on literally the official RuneScape client and the goal is to escape this bracket as fast as possible. Okay, so we got a quick lamp so we can complete the desert or oh, beneath Kersens or night in the theater. Let's just do beneath Kersens on this one. We're gonna quickly go to Lumbridge, buy some big gloves and then we go somewhere in the wild to train up our melees, train up our prayer, and just chill in the AFK. I know there are a million better ways to spend your protection, but I decided that I'm just gonna be killing dragons, and a reason for that is because I have devotion. So all I want is fast prayer XP, combat XP, and that's it. I don't need the drops, I don't need anything else. So what's the best way to do it? Just kill some green dragons. They're fast, they're high combat. It could land on a drop chance. And we get decent strength XP, decent prayer XP. We got a bridge coming up in five minutes. Let's get ready. Yeah, first MVP, first kill. Second kill, second MVP, trinket. Fourth kill, fourth MVP. I'm going crazy with Entity Hider. Quick little bank and we go again. Ah, very boring. That dealt a lot of damage, even going through animation. Okay, they, they are really not letting me farm much. It's a good strategy. They make me basically not get any points. Okay, at least two big airs are fighting now. That's mine for sure. Yeah. I'm being hit. Okay, I got PJ'd off by a boss. I'm gonna try staying in the mass. He's probably gonna jump me again. Another trinket. Get out, get out. Nice. Another trinket, let's go. Still five minutes left. This one is sketchy, man. There's so many PKers. Another emblem, yeah. Big damage on that one. Morrigan Axis. Another loot for me. Another emblem. Another VIP. 
Another trinket. I got it. Let's get it. Uh, that wasn't my loot. Somebody just forgot to pick it up, I think. Another trinket. Yeah, I need to bank. This is the best breach of the tournament so far for us. This guy died. What a breach, boys. What an absolute breach this was. Dude, I'm enjoying this, but man, it's getting scarier and scarier. With every breach, more PKRs. Another mill in the bag. Let's open all of our trinkets. Here we go. We got four trinkets in this run. Shadow is Biss. This is the most expensive one. Shadow, Tabo, and Scythe are the best ones to get. That is two for two. That is three for three. Oh my goodness. And that one's still decent. Oh my god, I got an occult from the boss, bro. Oh my god. Another occult. Dude, no way, man. Oh, that's bad. I spotted me. They spotted me. Okay, they definitely know what I'm doing now. Got scouted. Shit. Let's uh, let's see what we get. Mm, a few alchemists. Uh, here's what I'm gonna do on this account, by the way. I have a Vesta spear, and I'm gonna sell it in order to get better runes, sigils, pardon, so I can actually make more money. Because right now I'm just running formidable fighter and consistency, which doesn't quite cut it. So I want to get feral fighter involved in that. It bought for two million, uh, which is better than the price showed. Um, but now I have absolutely nothing left. <laughs> which is basically the story of this account. <laughs> that is the site you absolutely love to see. There it is, the Berserker ring obtained on the account, meaning it is time to go back out in the wild. I will be risking this, uh, which is, you know, a respectable amount. But since I am already risking the Slayer helmet, the scythe, might as well double it down with the ring, right? So <laughs> you guys have no idea. I just got caught in multi. Watch this chat, bro. <laughs> Look, CC, question mark. What, CC? CC, bro. And then I tap out. No prayer. I was thanking three people on Tuna. Man, I wish I could show everything. Fuck. Oh, my. That was funny. Sigil of the Treasure Hunter. That's a new one, but I think it's so bad. Oh. Wait. I got an ancient stamp. That's like 500k, by the way. Little clue scroll on the alt. We need, we need something, bro. We are chilling on tuna right now. Um, this could be something. The master scroll book, maybe. Oh my god, small battle stuff. I don't know if that's used for anything though. Well, I didn't expect to see that. We're on 54kc. Dude, let me tell you, PVMing becomes a lot more interesting and scary when you're not just fighting a boss that's very easy to kill, right? But you're in multi, you're in a PvP game mode, anybody can hit you at any time, like, you need to take calculated breaks. I don't know, man, it's just, there's something about PVMing on Deadman mode that's actually, like, really fun. I saw a name. <laughs> How many, bro? Okay, how can we escape this? Why is my auto on? Fuck, good fight, good fight. Fuck 
man. Why can I not tip either? That's such a long stall. I guess the hits still go through. Okay, what are the damages, man? Sigil of the Slaughter for free, ay ay ay. Uh, what's the key situation? Smoke battle step snap, steam, morrigans. Ah, let's see, this is... I wouldn't like to lose all of that. So, I really just need to buy a scythe and get enough money for blood runes, so I'm probably just gonna sell uh, either one of the whips or some... maybe like even emblems or something like that, we'll figure it out. Amulet of Glory, 100k, boom. Okay, that's big loves. Okay, so this insta buys for 1.7, which is actually pretty good, and then I just need some blood runes and we are okay. It's not too bad. We're, we're basically back on track here. <laughs> the question is... Are they gonna be here? Am I gonna insta die again? Find out in the next episode of I'm going to bull team for the third time. Sigin of finality. What does this one do? Sigin of finality. Okay, it's useless. Oh, we got an occult with like just a little bit left. Might as well use it, I guess. Alright, then let's take a look. A uh, little casket. Maybe we get lucky. And we do actually. Zemi chaps are really good. Ancient brazers, I'm not so sure. Little cavalier. So the sigils of choice when we want to train prayer in the catacombs while risking everything is sigil of devotion, menacing mage and prosperity. So the reason for menacing mage is when you get a superior necriarch, you do want to be healing a bit and you don't really have blood barrage on you at all times. 113, not bad. A 96 prayer, looks like we're getting about a million an hour. My goal right now is to finish 99 prayer, in the process also be working on 99 slayer. Boys, ladies, gentlemen, would you look at it, the Necriarch. And we get the Sigil of Preservation. I don't know if this one holds much value at the moment. We got another Sigil, this time Sigil of... The Bloodhound. I really need to start highlighting these. Opa! New one. Sigil of the Eternal Jeweler. Safe to say we haven't seen that one yet. I know it's useless. We've gotten all the shit sigils in one task. Alright, we got a little casket. Surely we get something insane. Ooh, we like to see it. Okay, so I like seeing the boots because even if they don't sell, they are a placeholder. Alright, we got uh, we got a little juice in here on the, on the alternate account. And we got the Sigil of Fortification. Defense increased by 50% for everything. Uh, we'll see how much it sells for, but I mean, I'll take it. 1.3 mil. Sigil of the Light better. Is this good? I mean, it sounds good, but I don't think people are actually playing it. 50k? Bruh. Hey, yo, my boy, what is Sigil of Fate? Does somebody wanna, like, talk to me real quick? Like, what? The I have no faith, bro. I keep getting... How many Sigils have we gotten, by the way? We got uh, so many. All of them complete ass. We got a little superior situation right now. What do we get? Sigil of... Fortification. We just had that, right? I think that's pretty good. That was like a 1.5 miller, I believe. It's almost like I had UAV on my own screen. There is 97 Slayer. Prayer almost 97 as well. Our little casket for the boys. This one's gonna be third age for sure. Alright, we got a we got a blue fire lighter with some Zami legs. You know, a little bit of Alcabus. We got some points for doing clue scrolls, so we'll keep it going. How the fuck do you have 43,000 points? Dude, I don't know, man. I just been doing Slayer. Just watch this. Made the skilling. Commence right here, watch this. Boom. This is a great skill. 54. Wait, I can't call him, right? So I need to like sp fucking search for this dude. Where did he go? Okay, so it appears that if I wasn't bad at the game, I would be getting about 4 million construction XP an hour. And I believe I should be able to finish this all in 3 hours. But do I have the power of the mental capacity to do this for 3 hours straight? We're gonna go with speed and momentum here. Boom. Boom. Maximum gaming. 85 construction already, no clue how many planks I have left, but I guess we could kind of check. Dude, we still have a lot actually. Ain't no way I got caught right now. So it's gonna be a bit rough. Here, I'll stream it for you guys to so see what's going on. Do you guys think I can tank this with like... Why am I being fucked by overtake, bro? Why is this guy bolting me, man? 
Bro, I have prayer potions, man. Chill, bro. Uh, we might be in a bit of a situation here, not gonna lie. Bro, can we truce it up, buddy? Talk to me, like, what are we doing? Mage? Bro, you don't even fake, you have a range. Mage, you might be the most predictable guy ever, bro. If I thank you on one brew, no way you're calling your friends, bro. No, 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 but that's cringe. No way you're getting outplayed like this. I died to fucking NPCs, bro. Ain't no way you guys call for backup on a one brew like that. This shit is a movie, man. Whatever, dude, we had fun. Let's go back to construction. This is gonna do for a funny clip, bro. It is what it is. How the fuck did that barrage go through, bro? Imagine I actually tanked this, because if I make it through those doors and I slam jam them, I just climb up and escape, but oh well. <laughs> bro, he's going crazy, man. He's about to take off. Anytime now. I don't know, we're gonna commit to this until the breach spawns. The breach is spawning in 40 minutes. So we're gonna do about half an hour of construction more, I think. Why we do so well every deadman mode and why everything is so well planned. The secret is, I never have a plan to begin with. We go, we click, and we hope. And then somehow, some way, it always just works, man. <laughs> Everyone, no way you got it! Oh, <laughs> there's no shot! There's no shot, everybody got heads! <laughs> <laughs> oh man okay so breach is starting in five minutes we're cutting it close here but there it is we got 93 construction in this session all right let the breachman mode begin we got uh, already fighting going on that guy didn't make it i'm already pvp'd entity hider on he's maging Oh, I thought I was in the... He's gonna go for it again. That's a bit annoying, not gonna lie, because I just wanna do... Just wanna do the normal stuff like everybody else, you know? So I'm trying to hover on the tiles where I can dig if I get aggroed. Good progs there. Bro, so many people are here actually. So the reason I do that is because I got stunned. Oh, first emblem. Let's go. Nice ooh. Two procs could be good. Yeah, my MVP again. Second. Again on me. I think they dropped it. It's so hard to catch a PK air, by the way. Like, I don't know who's hitting me. So I just need to play for escape immediately. But I keep getting frozen when I really don't want to be frozen. Like, I want to hit the fucking back. He's still on me. Why is this guy waiting so long before hitting again? Hello? Brother man, what the fuck we doing? I need to bank. Like, they don't let me fucking play the game, bro. You're not gonna kill me at Barrows. Ain't no way he's hitting me again, bro. Why are you such a fan, man? So boring, bro. Just let me play the game, man. But he's still fanboying, bro. Like, I get it, man. This is really annoying because I can't... He keeps bolting me, so I can't, like, just ignore it. Because he can just bolt into, like, VLS me and it's... Big damage, so... Yeah, this is a scuffed one, holy shit. Like, I would love to play with Entity Hider, but there's so many PKers that I can't afford it. Because I don't see what they're hitting me with, then I'm then I'm screwed. Oof, this guy got chanced. Kirill, oh, we got Emblem, let's get it. How did I get MVP on that? I don't even know, but I'll take it. This could be big, I got a proc on the first hit. That's usually MVPs if you proc first hit. Yeah, see? I got it right there. Another emblem. Hey, There it is. Wait, it wasn't even mine! Kurva! It's basically gonna end right now, and since we don't have a lot... And obviously we get jumped again. I 
Ah, he's still going. All right, we're gonna f f work on our escape here. Do we return? I feel like we can return, maybe. Ah, uh, not really the best. This has been probably the worst breach we've done. I mean, we still got, what, like five emblems. We are chilling on 19 tier 5 emblems. Holy moly. All right, then. Well, it seems that the breaches are gonna be much, much harder and getting harder and harder every single day. My total points are on 45,229 at the moment. We are currently ranked 16 overall so doing pretty well judging by the fact that we haven't really fully focused on points so that in mind i'll see you again tomorrow where we will be going for even more points and hopefully getting even better drops I'm so greedy not to being here by the way. Well in my standard fashion, I missed level 97 prayer, just two more levels to go and I'm getting almost a mil XP an hour, so about two hours of straight up barraging and our slayer is probably 98 and prayer completed, so looking forward to that. Then I don't need to run devotion anymore and I can use another aggressive sigil. Nah, no way, no way, no way, no way, no way. Sigil of Precision, this one is so expensive by the way. I was right, Sigil of Precision is currently selling for 14 million. Uh, however, I am not really interested in swapping at the moment. I'm not sure what I'll do, uh, but I'm interested in Sigil of the Ninja. So we're gonna be stacking on this, we're gonna do a little bit of risk and we're not gonna insta sell these. And I'm gonna look to hopefully get a few of these and then sell them at the same time so I can afford Ninja. Okay, we got the Sigil of the Righteous Ranger, which I do think is worth quite a little bit. We're gonna double check this. Sigil of the Rigorous Ranger is unfortunately only 150k. So we're gonna nicely just put it in our bank, but not do anything with it. We got a little assignment of Necreol again. And our tree also grew, look at that. Big farming XP going from 15 all the way to 24, which means I can plant fruit trees almost, not quite. Okay, we're getting PK by Ricky Ricky. <laughs> I kind of feel like I could find him back. He got the homies though. Might have to book it north. Yeah, we'll send it here, here, send it up here. Oh, that's pretty unlucky that this catches. But the gear of these two guys should not be too crazy to tank. There we go, they splash, I should be fine. <clears throat> Easy escape, holy shit. So yeah, the idea there, I don't know why it gets my race pumping, but the idea there is you force them to follow you and then you utilize the escape to escape. Still gets the blood absolutely running though. Okay, yeah, it's time to get back. Ooh, ooh la la, trinket of vengeance, let's get it. Big money right there. Oh, this task is paying off amazingly so far. This drop is currently going for 2.5 million deadmen. So one step closer to having the ninja sigil. Oh, he's back.
Nice, we out. Kind of want to finish the task though. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do a strategic mastermind right now and actually just go do task regularly with range is what I'm thinking. All right, looks like we're going back to old school, meaning that Slayer Tower, here we come. There is 96 range, three levels to go. Ooh, ooh, Sigil of the Infernal Smith. That's a 5 million relic. That is really good. All right, then I finished the task, but I don't know which one would be worth to take now because Karend is not safe at all. There's people hitting it every five minutes, it feels like. What's that quote? Insanity is doing something all over again or some shit? Well, let's just go again, man. Who knows? We'll just do Necreals one more time and we'll go to Catacombs. And then if we get hit a lot, we'll just go to singles. It is what it is. Okay, we got Necreal, the big chunk. Let's see if we got some uh, good loot from this one. Dark Totem and no good loot, unfortunately. Ooh, big Necreal again. Good luck, us. Sigil of the Consistency. No. No, man. Little casket for the good luck and to change things around a bit. Mm. Bandos full hand, maybe if we do bandos if we need it, but everything else, a little bit of a disaster. Mm, there it is, didn't get a pop-up because I'm getting hit by too many things, but 98 prayer, just about one hour away from 99. However, the breach is in an hour, so I'm probably not going to reach it fully. Uh, but we're gonna try to get as close as possible to it. And the next bridge is gonna be absolutely scary, man. I'm uh, not looking forward to it too much, but at the same time I am because points. I also didn't notice with that level 98 prayer, we ended up reaching the max combat in deadman mode. Oh shit. Oh my. Everyone is there. Oh, they're waiting for me. Okay. Oh my. How did they hit each other? Yeah, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be skilling till breaches, boys. The breaches is in 30 minutes, so there's absolutely no reason for me to go and die right now. All right, one minute till the breach. This is charged. Still running titanium feral for me, but I think this combo is pretty. Oof. It's a rough breach. I mean, it's a peak time. It's 9 p.m. Most people are gonna be able to join this breach. So maybe we do a little bit more looting in this one. Okay, we're getting picked right now. Looks like it was just a baraga. How long am I frozen for, man? It's kind of hard to hit anything. I'm going to quickly reset. Grab one more prayer and grab like undead as well, I think. But the first one is just 500k. Yes. Let's go home, man. I got a trinket. Bro, stuff dies so fast. My god. Maybe the meta is to come out here with the Tumekan, to be honest. When it's this many people. When you're alone, Scythe goes crazy, but when it's this many people, it's a bit of a roughy. Oh, wow, those are crushed nests. It looks like more or less everything is yoinked. Let's go to safety and open the only thing we got, which is one trinket in this one. Definitely not my best one. It can't always be perfect. All right, then let's take a look uh, what we get from the trinket of advanced weaponry. Is that a scythe? Another scythe. That's pretty good. So if you guys have noticed how I go about playing Deadman mode, that at around peak time, I don't do dangerous activities. So every time the time is between 8 p.m. and 11 p.m., I'm just not doing anything scary. When I know there's peak times, look at me, I'm now skilling. And I always do this, and I don't know if it's just in my mind, but it usually works really well. So we're all the way up to 95 construction. I think I have enough planks to finish off 99, I'm about one hour away. So I'm just gonna grind through this. Just got Sigil of the Resistance on the alt. I don't think this one's very good, unfortunately. All right, back in our natural habitat. Killing Necriarchs, getting Slayer and getting Prayer. Let's see if we get lucky with some Sigils. Sigil of Finality. Oh my god, and hard glue. Okay, let's bank. Okay, best of luck, us. Explorer Backpack. Armadillo legs. Uh, okay, okay. Pretty shit, not gonna lie. 
Nice, Necriarch, okay. okay. Let's see. Oh, we just got Dark Totem, basically. Nice, okay. Another Necriarch. Surely we get something insane here. I ran out of fucking... There's no way. <laughs> there we go, I ran out of uh, Barrages. And that's a Slayer level. And I get a Super Restore. And the Dark Totem middle. And I make it into a full totem. And I loot the rest and I get out of here. Big ears. I'm genius. I'm not genius. How am I barraging that there? I'll try to book it, I guess. Please splash, bro. I have a chance here. I'm getting out, I'm getting out, I'm good. Whoo, what a tank, bro. What a tank. Oi, 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 this is getting dangerous to do, man. But I wanna finish my prayer and slayer. It's so close, but I can't do it because every time I go out, there's fucking people hitting me, bro. It appears we are once again in our natural habitat on top of Slayer Tower shooting with a bow because Karakam's Karakums, Karend, whatever you want to call it, is uh, apparently too dangerous. The lutation on the <clears throat> AFK account, some plate legs with scroll of imbuing. I didn't even know you could get that, but that is a deadman mode a drop table right there. It's like 1 million points in the shop, so it's not that bad. <laughs> hey look, my tree grew. Let's get it. 29, that's actually not too bad. So because I want to play it safe, and even when I do this, it's not gonna be necessarily safe, but I need ranged, I need prayer, I need slayer. We're just gonna take a task right here and go back to our trusted blood belts. So that's the first thing we're gonna do. Then we're gonna trade this guy and we are going to collect a few things. Boom, 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 boom. And I think that's everything. We're gonna use this on that. There we go. We're gonna imbue it. Bam, bam. Now we have an imbued Slayer Helm. And now let's grab a cannon. Let's have a nice task. Yo. We got an insatiable blood build. I thought they didn't exist. 97 range as well, dude. We're getting everything here. Oh, tier 5. And... Nothing else. Unlucky. <gasps> back to back. No way. I literally just killed it. I got another one. <laughs> what? There we go. Another one for... Sigil of the Aggression. <gasps> nah, that is so good, by the way. Boys, I think we're affording ninja soon. Sigil of the Aggression sells for 30, 3 zero, 30 million dead men. And now it's in my possession. Okay, we got a little casket. Zami legs. Uh, not the best. <laughs> Why is it on this? There we go. I still haven't done it, like... I wanna fight him, but...
We saved up. Yeah, just enjoying some YouTube videos on the side. There is 98 range. I uh, like this task, but it's not the fastest, but it's not the slowest. He's gonna go for me and I know it. Bro, what the fuck was the damage? All right, we got uh, another superior. Let's see if we get a little bit lucky. We got emblem this time around. Not bad, honestly. Emblem's pretty good. Ooh. But why are these? These are like Bandos Cliff is good, by the way. But everything else is that's kind of funny. Emblem from just regular. I thought that only hundred combat mobs can drop an emblem, but I guess I'm wrong. Okay, so we just got Sigil of Augmented Thrall. Not the best one, not the worst one. I think it's still worth a little bit of money though. Uh, never mind, it's only 100k. There it is, 99 range as well. And uh, we're just gonna quickly gear up into a bridge gear because the bridge is happening in 20 minutes. I got another emblem. Just trying to finish this, but I mean, I'll take it. I have so many emblems on the account. Sigil of the Feral Fighter, not bad. It is uh, 4 million at the moment, so one step closer to Ninja. And there it is, 99 Freyr and another Insatiable. Oh, we got a Mystic. And Super Anti-Poison. Dude, I'm so stupid, man. It is three, and I thought it was breach time, like right now. But it's not, it's not, man. I need to wait one more hour. Dude, look how cool this is. <laughs> yeah, I decided to go for a fire cape because, I don't know, I need to wait one hour. And I plan on doing infernal cape as well, so might as well, right? All right, well, jet's coming. Dude, I messed up so bad. I went full melee, and I ran out of charges on scythe. So then I started ranging, <laughs> and it took me forever, I don't even have fucking rage for it, hell. There we go. <clears throat> that was nice and easy, let's just make sure we don't accidentally TP, we're good to go. Not that many people here actually, so it could be a good day. First emblem. Could be mine. Yeah, trinket of weaponry, second one, let's go. Sigil of the last recall. Wow, I'm getting so much stuff. I'll quickly bank here. I'm risking a lot, so don't wanna give them a chance. Getting good points. Ah, that was a free for all drop. I missed it. That has to be mine, right? It has to be, yep. Trinket and emblem, nice. Another trinket. Oh, I'm getting so much DPS, by the way. There's another one there. That was also mine. What's going on? I'm getting so many MVPs. Holy, how many points have I farmed in this one? Another emblem. Yeah, I knew it. That's it, right? Yeah. 3 a.m. breaches, bro. They hit different. Oh my goodness, what a run. 
yeah, 3 a.m. breaches are by far the most ridiculous. So many emblems, so many trinkets as well. We're gonna open them now. It has been crazy, man. There we go. Four trinkets. We also have 27 tier 5 emblems now. Our points went absolutely crazy in this one. Let's see what do we get. We want Shadow, we want Scythe, we want the bows. Starting off with the Tabo, good. Moving on with the Shadow, good. Moving on with the Shadow, good. Moving on with a AGS. That was kind of crazy. Before I go to sleep, I think it is fair for us to grab everything that we've gotten today, or at least most things, uh, because we do want to be selling that. Okay, so aggression seems to be an exact 30 miller. Precision, 20 miller. Shadow is 1.5 miller nowadays. These are going down. Nice, that already sold. If I can sell three occults, apparently there's still 6 million. Twisted bow, 1.3. Okay, the bow bot, nice. Feral Infernal Smith, 3 million. Fortification, 1.3 million. Okay, that one insta sold for 1.1. Last recall, 4.3 million. Insta sold for 4.4, beautiful, up to 10 mil. Oh, there we go. Sigil of the Infernal Smith sold for 3 mil as well, good. Ancient stuff just insta sells for 530k, that's so crazy to me. Looks like one of the occult just bought, 5.9. We're up to 20 mil already, still selling some junk. Well, I guess it's time for a running simulator, so I don't want to use all my emblems. But I guess it used all my emblems, so it is what it is. 44 million. I think stamina potions are the best to buy right now. Now that is the sight we absolutely love to see. Sigil of Aggression sold for 30 million. Up to 56. Even the VLS sold. Oh, and Precision sold right here, right now. 81 million. Sigil of the Ninja. Please buy. Fuck. <laughs> The Sara Dehyde boots actually bought for 930k. Uh, these are really decent boots if you're doing Sara Domen, so we increase it to 82 million. The Occults just sold. Wait, did I sell two of them for 5 mil only? Hold up. Oh no. This is a complete disaster. I got merged to Narnia. I should have went to bed. Wait, or did I get... I don't even know, did I? No, no, I'm good, right? I got 11... Okay, now we're chilling, we're chilling. Bro, I got... Guys, sleep is nice sometimes. I'm trying to reach 100 mil. And I'm scraping. 101 mil. Surely. That's the last offer. Ninja. 116 mil. This is what we leave it in for. We go sleep and hopefully when we wake up, that is purchased. Well, it was bound to happen at some point. We just slept through the breach and uh, listen, it is what it is. I can't change it at this point. But what I can hope for is that as soon as I click this button, we have a sigil of ninja. Let's go ahead and take a look. Yes, boys, let's get it. There it is. Sigil of the Ninja bought for 116 million. Oof. But we have it. And that will unlock so many cool things that I'm absolutely looking forward to doing. We're just gonna collect it and put it in the bag. It is absolutely gorgeous, man. I'm so excited to actually start using this thing. There it is, Sigil of the Ninja. I'm gonna be fishing for a little bit and working on my alternate account, which is currently extremely close to the max bracket. I've just been AFKing here and this has been the part of my plan, however, Right as I hit level 111, I have a lot better plans on this account. But yeah, these are the stats. You basically just go for 88, 88, 88 across the board, and that should be 
about 111 combat maybe i'll need another level here and there and i've just been using feral fighter devotion and every now and then you get a tier 5 and every now and then you get a sigil and i've been using that to stockpile on my dragon scimitars and then put them in the deposit box i have probably died for 15 plus dragon scimitars on this account but you know what devs do not count when you are in multi so that account is going to be grinding away in dangerous areas for now and my main is just going to be fishing for a moment while I wake up and then we go crazy. Okay, we're going to try this even though I got like so turbo scouted that uh, there is no way this works, but... It's not like I'm risking much, right? 2 million, very budget gear, just void, rune arrows even. We'll see how this goes. Oh, I don't have rope. Oh, <laughs> this is already a disaster, by the way. Uh, yeah, I can't even get in. Okay, this might be a very short clip because I have a very high suspicion that we are not gonna make it out of here alive or out of here at all because, well, multi, super dangerous, clans usually lock this down, however, I just wanna give it a shot. Maybe I can sneak in a kill or two, maybe a few, you know, you never know. Also, I have no idea how easy or hard soloing this will be but as long as there's no dots here i'm just gonna send it in and see what happens seems like there is nobody here right now room seems empty maybe we are uh, we're lucky and i can actually do this i got ecumenical key so i don't even need to kill the birds so i should be able to attempt my first kill here let's see how this goes just without the bow okay so that is very slow so if i'm using last recall i'm thinking i cannot afford to run titanium because i never hit uh, frozen keepies. Okay, we also get a bunch of points by doing that. I used to always do the Curiara and all the God Wars bosses with my CC back in the day in the last Deadman modes. However, doing it solo right now uh, feels a bit weird. But even Titanium, it's actually not that bad. Also, I wonder if the KC here stays or not. Dragon Bolts, not a good drop. Black Dehide Body, not good. There we go. Coins. Okay, there is a lot of things to change, uh, but we got four kill counts so far. Nice. My first change is gonna be to get rid of titanium and run precision. Now, I should not be hitting this many zeros now with this rune. I do want last recall, obviously, to get right back into the action, but I will also need to check how it is with ecumenical keys, because if I need to kill 40 aviances before I go in, it's gonna be a bit of a process, and then maybe I need a little bit of a faster range weapon to get my kill count quickly. Myth grapple obviously is an escape, are my legs with my cape obviously is an escape, and we'll see how it goes this time around. Come on, I have precision now, it should be better. Um, where's my hits? There we go. We got some coins. Dragonstone bolts, not the best. Mm, some dwarf seeds, not the best. Okay, we get some grimy dwarf weed in this one. Unlucky. I will use the first armor drops if I get this uncontested. To just keep slowly improving on my gear. I think first upgrade would be rigor, second upgrade would be better boots, better ring, lots of stuff I could improve. There it is. Finally. This time we get some rune arrows, not the best. Rune crossbow, not ideal. Okay. That was sketchy because people found me. Fuck. Welcome to immunity man mode. We are completely naked and killing some orcs and we'll do it for an hour and then figure out where to go from there. We now have piety on the account and all right stats. Only gonna do this for an hour and then the best part is I can trade between both of my accounts now. So I have all these different options uh, where I can do all the cool stuff now basically on two accounts and I can get rare drops and I can get everything exciting and I can get a million blighted manta rays for example. So yeah, looking forward to this account, see what we can cook up with it. This is a quick reminder to let you know that you should probably subscribe. Okay, let's see if my kill count goes down as I enter this. Oh, it does. But it stays if I recall back in. Okay, so that's not the most fun, but I think we can play with it. 
Okay, so let's see if our hits are a bit better now. I ditched the whole void idea and it seems like I'm already hitting a ton more, which is good sign, very good sign. Obviously I'll be upgrading this as we go, but look how much more I hit. So Void was unfortunately a bit bait on this boss and hopefully we can maintain decent kill trips here. There it is. Room crossbow in this one. Some dwarf with this time around. Bro, this is scary when people come outside. I'm so gonna die. Okay, well, <laughs> I'm so fucked. If they actually hit me, like, I'm so screwed. I might actually do the quest so I can TP here better. Or actually, who knows, maybe it's already unlocked with all the auto completions. Come on, game, give me a little luck here. Because I just got scouted. And let me deep in peace. This would be so much better with at least one more account. Black Dehide Body, that is not it. Some dragon stones, okay. All right, well, this trip is over. We're gonna try going back to titanium and see how that feels. We have one more hour till the next breach, so we have a little bit of time to kill. <laughs> okay, so we are trying another one with titanium right now and just to see if we can do a longer trip. This time we are doing it without void, but with hides. I was contemplating unlocking aviances as a slayer task and then just assigning myself a slayer task. With a Slayer Helm, this should be a lot easier. But we will see how this goes, and uh, maybe I'll keep assigning myself tasks. Maybe that's the better option. Okay, getting some okay hits, though. And it definitely feels like Titanium is better than Precision, because with Precision, I was getting absolutely destroyed. With Titanium, sure, I hit a lot of zeros, but when I hit, I hit, and I don't take that much damage. So, probably gonna stick to this. There we go. Dwarf Weed Seed, not very good. Mind Runes, not a good drop. Opa, Gods are charged 2 of Abidian. First God Wars drop for us. We'll take it. Some coins in this one, not ideal. Coins again. Some Rune Arrows. Okay, we got some Ranging Pods. Bleach in 30 minutes. Do -do 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 -do. Connor, Duradel and Steve and Cheldar are now going to be able to assign aviances as your task. We are going to take this and I can take about two tasks it seems. So if I right click assignment now that my slaughter is active, I'm still hunting four blood welds. Right, let me <laughs> fix the situation real quick. Okay, so now that that is done, the game should let me to assign aviances. 151 should be cool and that's also gonna be our ticket to 99 Slayer. Okay, this is the worst one to get, boys. Uh-oh, we dying tonight, let me tell you. Luckily, made the mind altar, have the mind talisman ready. See how this one goes, it's gonna be scary. <laughs> Not the best start because all these mobs are high def defense. But maybe I still get this one, you know, I did deal a lot of damage to it. Yeah. First kill, first trinket, you already know the rules. DMM Mika, advanced trinket. And emblem, yes sir. That means it is time to bank, uh, because I forgot a looting bag, and also because we have a lot of money on us already. I need to take different strategies depending on what time of day it is. I feel like for n right now, which is 9 p.m. peak, I should be doing ninja with bolting with precision, okay? Because ruby bolt specs and hoping you hit would probably be better. And then at 3 a.m. I should do scythe, because I always get crazy MVPs at 3 a.m. Uh, oh, that was a free-for-all drop that I missed. Maybe? Ah, uh, that was a free-for-all drop. Prog, but I think a little too late. Nah, never mind, we got it. Nice. Maybe jelly? Not quite. Oh, never mind, I got it. Okay, we take those. Another emblem, boys. Oh, it's Zuriel Steph! Zuriel Steph! Oh, curva. We got it. Oh, yo, no way. That is amazing. We'll, we'll use this in the very final moments. This is an absolutely crazy item to get. Oh, beautiful. Look how many MVPs. And I was complaining. Ain't no way we got another. Oh, no, that was a spawn for everybody. That's it. 
Ooh, what a what a breach, boys. What a breach. Holy moly, that was sick. That was sick. So we're on 54,000. If I quickly go on high scores, dude, we're doing pretty well. I'm currently rank 20, and we got some absolutely crazy drops. As you can see, I have some ropes in my inventory. As I do this first trip, I'm also going to unlock myself a Sarah Domin room. I have the agility level required, so we're gonna do that quickly, and then we're gonna get 40 kill count, which is gonna also take. 40 kills down from the task, but I'm not going out to get ecumenical keys. Let's see if somebody's inside, I'm curious. People should really be doing this. I mean, the bridge just ended. What else is there to do? I say that and I'm probably awkward oh, much. Yeah, there it is. See what I'm saying? People. But now we have unlocked this area. If at some point we want to do it and we'll worry about the this at the correct time. Now people might think I'm going for Zilly now, yeah? Because they saw me there. But not nah, 2 million genius IQ, we just run it right to here, which is where we actually want to be. So let's go ahead and grapple this one. And now once we made it over, I could keep these two in my inventory as a potential escape from PKers. But I feel like if somebody comes all the way here and if they get a hit on me, no grapple is going to save me. But I could try to have it on. So if I somehow manage to tank them, I don't know how, but somehow I'm tanking them, yeah? Then I could maybe tank all the way to Zami. That would be like my only hope, I feel like. But anyways, let's get 40 kill count. Let's get inside. It is time to begin. A little bit of aviances with a Slayer helmet. See how it goes. Oh yeah, and the best part is... We will probably be finishing 99 Slayer with this one, so that's gonna be fun. This makes me feel like having a blowpipe here would be great. But then I would have even more risk on me at all times, which is like extra 10 mil at that point. I would prefer to have a Suffering instead, which would help me much more. At that point, even an Archer's Ring would be better. So I guess we're just gonna have to tank it and kill 40 of this with the Magic Sword, but which... Uh, maybe I underestimated how long this will take. I think this will take... Quite a little bit of time, actually. I didn't realize I had two of the weapon trinkets uh, from the breach. I forgot to open them. Two again. Good. Scythe. Good. Nice little insta cell for 1.3 miller. So right now, Archer's Ring is so super affordable. Only like 3 mil. I think because of that, it would make sense to sell... At least a scythe. Okay, my scythe sold. We now have 2.5 million. Let's see if I can get an archer's ring here. 2.5! <laughs> nice. Dwarf seeds on the kill count 22. I hope I can do this uninterrupted for a while. At least till I get like one big drop. That would be great. Now in an ideal world, I get 10 kills on trip, which means I can then come right back in. If that doesn't happen, I need to kill the small ones again. And that slows the process down by quite a lot. Did a kill this long will 100% drop an armadil chest plate, right? <laughs> Another rune crossbow, bro. Nah, 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 guys. Dwarf seed. Come on, game. Rune arrow. Aha. Uh -huh. Scammed. Mm, nice. Ranging pots. That's pretty good. But looks like I can do 40 kill trips, though. Mm, Dragonstone. Come on, game, just one drop. More ranging pots. Wait, that worked? The fuck did I just do? I just fucking started cheating, but if I was barraging, bro. That worked, by the way. Huh? Sigil of binding. First time I see this thing. So basically, here's the idea, right? So I don't target the boss until it's about there. Well, I got meleeed and now I do boom, boom. Kriara didn't take much damage though, so <laughs> maybe my cookery is uh, not working very well. There it is. Rune arrows. Oh yes, dude. Armadil chest plate, boys. The most expensive one. <sighs> that is exactly what we needed. That is the best item we could have gotten. The Armadil chest plate. Oh my. Dude, I don't believe it. To put it in perspective, how good this item actually is, it is currently going for oof, 30 million. 
actually 30 is kind of a cheap price but i guess people are farming it but 30 million we can swap it maybe for rigor which would be even better so what is happening i just got sigil of rampage on the turbo chill afk account bro sigil of rampage guys are you serious how much is it oh, wait it's only for like four mil no i thought it was so much more oh no what I was watching a fucking video like an idiot. I am not surviving this, huh? Alright, let's try though. This would be a sick tank if I make it out. That would be a crazy tank if I make it out. The only problem is I don't have a SAR item. I hope they don't follow here. There is absolutely no way. I made it out? I made it out, bro. From multi. From a full on fucking club. <laughs> What the fuck were they doing? I was watching Robert's video. A sigil of Rampage sold for exactly 3 million and now I'm able to fund this money to my main account through this account and then keep going out in the wild and keep hunting for the rare drops. I think it's pretty good to uh, get the farming up because here's why. If I get to 75, I can plant a magic tree in the gnome stronghold. And then I can AFK my woodcutting there with 5x results. And I can just make AFK money this way whenever I need to. And it's actually pretty solid. Okay, little run, 40 farming. Actually pretty good. Back in my natural habitat, Sigil of the Ruthless Ranger. You already know the drill. That's almost 2 mil, I think. There it is, 99 construction on Deadman mode. Beautiful. Yeah, Cape's gonna be really useful. I will just go ahead and start slow selling all the planks because I didn't do any calculations. The cost of these right now, house steps are like 5k each. So this just immediately pays for itself. I can left click it, it goes straight to the home. Okay, I can configure this to teleport differently. Uh, but yeah, that is absolutely OP. Why are they void vacating me? Bro, they brought, I kid you not, look how many people they brought for my dragon scimitar. <laughs> Bro, what have I done, man? Doing a little bit of barrows while waiting for the breach. Let's take a look. Nope, another chest. Nothing, good luck. Oh, you guys don't understand. This is like the best thing I could have pulled. <laughs> There is no shot. I need to check how much that is, but <laughs> that is so good, by the way. Back to back. No. Nope. It's not the one. We got Goth and Wars. That's probably not very good, let me tell you. Ooh, that's a good one. That is a really good one. That is nice prayer bonus. Can be good for God Wars bosses. I might actually end up uh, using that one. Oi, 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 this is all good. What? <laughs> Dude, I got a full tank. I have Verax helm. Now I got a body and legs. Okay, last just for now. Okay, okay, okay. Really good session today. Uh, as you guys know, I'm doing about 10 battles chests a day. I do want to cap out on 100 for points. So 10 a day takes the sanity away. <laughs> Well, we got an emblem. That's mine 100%. Yeah. Oh, emblem. Nice. There is so much. Oi, oi, oi. Oh, I got a vengeance, by the way. I looted it. That's the first time I got to see. That's the global drop, by the way, that, that everybody sees. There was a lot of stuff in there, and I got the best drop. Quick fingers. I got bolted by a PKer, man. 
That is it. Okay, the moment of truth. 56,900. So I got from 54 to 56. Okay, the plan is to not waste Aviancy's task and just do Aviancy's, but to just get an ecumenical key and then go and finish my task. There is the ecumenical key. I think I'm good to go. I just need one. That was fast, but maybe I get two for the future as well. Sigil of Devotion. That one sells for a lot. Nice. Oh, there we go. And the boots as well. That's a three million on top. I'm still trying to get one more Eki key, but doesn't want to drop. Another pair of the boots. I'm just gonna dip here. Two extra mil plus devotion plus Eki key. Let's go finish our Aviancy task. I was going to go Aviancy's. But my blood shard bot. So now I'm thinking we send it in Inferno at night. Like nobody should be playing right now, but I'm tired. So I don't know if I can do it, but I'm just going to try it. See what happens. Bro, I don't know why I put myself through this at 6 a.m. Uh, but, I mean, we're wave 63. Lots of potions. I mean, I don't know if this is lots of potions. I haven't done fucking Inferno in three years. To be honest, I don't even know what I'm doing. But it's kind of coming together, I think. We'll see. Okay, next up, Triple G, the Ronovichowskis. I am nervous as fuck and I don't know if I have enough supplies because I'm so bad at this. Okay. I made it to Jad on my first attempt, that's already pretty good. Now I need to do a research and a guide on to how to even do Zuck, I don't actually know. Okay, well, <clears throat> here goes nothing, I guess. I wish I had blowpipe, bro. No damage. Haha, <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, I don't know, I have like no DPS. I mean, when the next set spawns, the shield dies, so... to Jad healers. Would be nice if I can kill him and get to the Zag healers. Maybe one more up and down, but I can't even probably the healers, so... I couldn't, I couldn't. GG though, that was fun. I, I, uh, yeah, <laughs> I mean, listen, I actually tried my best, I'm not gonna lie. I might, I might be a little out of touch with the game. A little bit improvement on the gear and I think we got this, but I'll do it again once uh, I have rigor unlocked and for that, that's gonna be the whole nother grind. I'm now permanently playing on 12 million risk, which is just, not my favorite, so to say.
But I guess we're just gonna use it, that's gonna keep me healed up. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go sleep. See you tomorrow. Good morning. We're waking up for the breach. And before it starts, we're also doing a little farm run up to 46. I wanna get it up so I can AFK my wood cutting and actually get some good logs in the process. That's literally the only reason why I'm doing this. If I get 60, I'll plant you, and then if I get whatever ne next is, I'm gonna go ahead and plant magic. Our first willow. Decent XP up to 48. Okay, bridge is in one minute. Testing new things today. Formidable feral consistency. Super random, but I prioritize it over something like ninja because when feral procs and then I get formidable consistency, some fast swipes with big damage, it's pretty solid. Uh, also at the breaches, I'm camping prey melee. I'm not really switching much of it because there's combos with like claws that can just one tick you and we get Morrigan jabs off the bat. Oh, we got an emblem. Let's go. Oh, we got another one. Oh, we're getting lucky lucky. Another one. Oh, yeah, this might be a really insane combo, by the way. The only time I really range pray. Did I just get another one? Okay, we're banking. Four emblems. 300k. Let's get back. Another emblem. I just come back and I just collect these emblems. I might be onto some relic combo that's absolutely illegal, by the way. That is unlucky as fuck, by the way. Big Air jumps me as Kuriara hits me like a fucking 50. Holy shit. But luckily when Kuriara hits you, you can spend TP and you can get out like this. That is scary though. <laughs> That is the not having titanium there going to effect. Opa, another emblem. Oh, that was a drop for everybody. Didn't get that trinket. Yeah, told you. Easy peasy. Dude, I'm getting so... I think it's the most MVP I've gotten in all the breaches. And it has to be the sigil combination. It cannot be coincidence, right? That's it. Okay, pick air on me and the hider. See what happens. Oh, we're out. Okay, I don't know if he was like cooking or if he misclicked me, but we are out and that was quite a phenomenal breach, so to say. Emblem situation, all the way up to 16. A little change of scenery on my alternate account and it seems like we just got Trinket of the Undead, which should be about a mil right now. So that's a nice drop. The Morrigan Javelins actually sell for 3.2 million, which is a bit of a crazy one. My last recall remembers fucking Godward's escape. So I can just go there super fast now. What the fuck? I didn't think that's how it was gonna work. So if I just unattune it and put it in the bank, it actually remembers where I last teleported from. There's no shot, right? Why is that guy just chilling there, man? That's such a scout. I'm risking a bit, but it's not like the end of the world type risk, so... Okay, starting off with some coins. No. Ah, why did I brew, man? Come on. Just give me one more drop. That's all I want. One more drop and we're good. That was a nice kill. For a black dehyde body. That's not it. More coins on KC39. That was a fast kill. Oh, kurva, we got Arma Hilt. Hoi, <laughs> yo. Watch this back to back situation right now. That would be kind of cool. <clears throat> more coins. Dwarf seeds, and we have one more kill on this task, probably in us. Now, imagine now when we have one kill left. I kill it, I get an Arma Helm, and then I can stay off task a bit longer until I have 40 KC. That would be, that would be kinda cool. Mm, no. Okay, so in this task, in one task we got an Arma Chestplate and uh, basically Armadil Hilt. Is that a good task? I think that's a fairly successful task. Could it be better? Yes. Could it be worse? Absolutely. So. We can't complain, we're gonna go and probably just grab another task and come right back. I haven't seen any people PKing here, so... Now, I could have been doing this 
for basically the whole tournament, but I did not know. Uh, also, we only have two more picks of tasks, so we have to be smart of what we want to do, especially because of this part. So if we're to take a look at these bosses, right, I still need to do a Abyssal Sire, at least one kill because you get so much points. I need to do at least one kill of Alchemical Hydra, maybe preferably a 100. And then Arshio, Baros, all of these guys, I want to make sure I kill quite a decent amount of them. Cerberus is already done though, which is good. The ones I'm worrying about when my points are low, right, are going to be the Abyssal Sire and Alchemical Hydra. These two are like basically the ones I should kind of think about. So because of that, I don't think we should go back to Aviances of the Bat. Ah, the dilemma, man. I'm gonna go ahead and do one more Aviances task and then I'll worry about it later. But this is the thing I wanted to show you guys. I was watching Bodhi's video and that's how I figured this out. It is um, versatility and slaughter and then you can versatility yourself to lunars. You can astral cosmic air, NPC contact yourself to Duradel or the current lady if you want to take it from her. So you don't need to actually get in danger and you ask her for uh, another assignment and then it should give me the prompt to pick it. There it is. And now I can go ahead and pick my task, which we are going to go ahead and do aviances one more time. There it is, 129 of them. Okay, great. We now versatility ourselves back to Ancients. We unattune both and reattune Precision Titanium. So only for Kriara, I genuinely believe Precision is better than Ninja because otherwise you hit so many zeros. But for other bosses, Ninja's gonna be uh, better is what I'm thinking so far from just experience. All right, we're gonna do some professional business right now and we're gonna attempt to buy a toxic blowpipe. In hindsight, I should have had when I was doing Inferno, but hey, sometimes it doesn't go how you plan it. Let's just see if it sells for 3 miller. It does not, but 3.3 is probably gonna sell Insta. There it is. So we now got a toxic blowpipe, which should speed things up by a little bit. But now I need scales and darts. So let's take a look at the prices of those. It could be pretty expensive. Yeah, so as expected, amethyst one sells. The question is how many do we need? It's quite expensive job this. We'll get 200 of these for now. Uh, and now I need some scales too to make this thing run. Don't know what's the standard, but 11%, that seems about right, I don't really know. Uh, but there it is, now we have a blowpipe, meaning uh, I can ditch this and that, and we can go get our KC a little bit faster for Armadil. All right, we begin, kill count 45, let's hopefully get one more Arma drop. KC 46, some Dragon Bolts, some Mind Runes. Mm. Okay, well, AC is on me again, it seems. Oh, no, no. They're like, what the fuck, man, all the time. Come on, man, I just want to play the game. All right, well, we didn't make it again. There is no chance I make it out of this one. They have fucking the whole, the whole company there, man. <laughs> I mean, I know I was gonna die, right? That is unavoidable at some point, but it's just... What can I even do in the game at this point? Every death is to a clan and it's like everywhere I try to go, I get hit by a clan. So at this point, it's like log in, do the breach, log out. It feels like that's the, that's the only thing I can really do. Or I can work to max, maybe. Oh man, that's a tilter, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I was really hoping to get more KC in. All right, then while I'm trying to figure out what it is that I want to do next, I'm just going to go ahead and train a little bit of agility. I'm thinking I'm going to send a little bit of Vorkaf, but unfortunate situation is I have no VLS right now. VLS is kind of nice to have, so a little bit of agility, I figured everything out. Uh, maybe in the process my AGS sells and then I can afford the VLS. And if I can afford the VLS, then we can do Vorkaf and then we can get Ava's Assembler upgrade and then we work from there. Yeah, whatever. I'll just do it with a whip, I think. And uh, well, we'll try to do it with a whip and we'll see how it is. I lost the Blood Fury as well, didn't I? Because you can't fucking store it. Oh, it's so bad, man. I don't understand why the game does not let you store the items like Blood Fury. Like, I don't know. Doesn't add up. Anyways. I lost it now, I now realize it. That's a bit of a tilter, that's like 12 million gone. I lost Archer Ring imbued as well. <laughs> well, shit, let me relocate this to the Leka and we'll go again. Where's my whip? Don't tell me I didn't... Okay, I thought, oh my god. Today's a rough day, man. 
Okay, so I don't really know how this works. I guess I just play mage and I do it. And if it's not mage, I guess I play range and I just do it. I don't know why I have sex on me, I'm gonna be honest. I'm running Sigil Precision Titanium Feral Fighter. Titanium to not get absolutely railed. And the reason I'm not running Ninja is because I don't have VLS. If I had VLS, I would be running that. Okay, that was a very, very long kill, but there's some loot. I think I can actually make very decent profit with this. I don't have a looting bag, but I really need to find a way to get a VLS or a stab weapon because this is not it. Okay, 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 yeah, we'll do Vorkaf with Spear for a bit, see if we can make any coin. Obviously, we want Assembler, we want DFS, we, all, we want all the stuff like that. But I'm gonna play it safe and just do one kill trips for now because uh, I'm a bit of an NPC, not gonna lie. Bonk. 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 Wait, should I grab the thralls here? I, I, or maybe I can't spawn them. Dragon Balls? Hold up. This might sell for a lot of money, by the way. Those are the drops I will insta-sell, because I think that's money right there. Typical looting bag for getter. For more bolts. Nice. We like bolts. Bolts are money. Ooh, Dragon Dart tips are money as well, by the way. Hey, we gaming. Right, that's all it is. That's all... Okay. That's actually kind of nice. I like it. Also, if anybody from AC is watching the stream, right? Can I get back my, my bag fillers? I'll pay you for my bag fillers. I'm struggling, bro. Here we go. 5kc. We do one more here. Dragon hide, dragon hide, bones, scaly dragon hide. We take those. More dragon bolts. Alright, let's see. Uh, yeah, just standard Vorkaf loot. And now I pause the music to get the rune dart tips. That's actually money right now, because uh, Blowpipe needs it, so it's pretty good. Okay. We'll bang the Venge. No head. Whatever happened to PvP Arena, by the way? The idea was so good. I guess just no good rewards or whatever. Don't know what the reason was for its downfall, but... I don't think anybody plays uh, PvP Arena anymore, right? Wait, people still play PvP Arena? Okay, my bad. Surely I get it here, right? Nope. Mm, nope, still not. I just hope I don't need to kill the whole 50 for uh, for an assembler at this point. Th this one's the one, man, I'm telling you. Watch this. Dragonstone. Wait, Dragonstones can actually be good because I want to get the last upgrade of my house jewelry box thingy. Alright, we're up to 20kc. The loot's pretty good, but no assembler yet. I don't think I'll do this after assembler, but until we get it, we have to do it. So 30 more if we are unlucky. Okay, breachman mode starting in one minute. The sigils of choice today. Yet again, we're going with consistency, formidable and feral. Going for those MVP snipes. I'm gonna get double clawed so hard, by the way. Look at one. Oi, we got one, guys. We got one. Let's get it. This one is a rough one. Holy shit. Maybe. Yes, Statues Warhammer, let's go! Let's get it, boys! Okay, see, all it needs is it needs to proc once. There it is, big. We don't have this one yet. Maybe it would be better to get, like, MVP every now and... Where the fuck did I go? <laughs> That's not Barrows, bro. That is not Barrows, man. There we go. Dude, I went to Narnia, man. Okay, back in, back in business, back in action, let's go. This is a quick reminder to let you know that you should probably subscribe. I think that's it, huh? Do we spend time looting? Entity hider on. Player outline. Player this on. Dude, I got bolted a fucking 51. Homie, relax. Shit is a movie out here. Goodish run for it being the peak time. Obviously, these ones are always scuffed. There's always a lot of people pulling up. But we're happy with the Statues Warhammer. We can sell that. Okay, so what is the conclusion? Do I need Dragon Shield or do I not? Okay, I'm coming to 400. Just don't want to accidentally be on any world after. Oh, never mind. He came to me. Hey, my man. Make sure I add you. There we go. My main. Thank you. Appreciate it. Come on. He's been milking it all day. He continues to milk. Come on. Cough it up, buddy. 
No? Okay. Oh, well, at least we're making money, right? At least we're making money. We're good. Didn't get it. Come on, surely I get ahead, right? More Dragon Balls. I mean, at least I'm printing money, but 20 more kills are needed. Nope. Bro, this game's really gonna make me do 50, by the way. Like, I don't wanna do 50. Uh, but I just wanted to have everything on me. Oh my, you don't wanna know what I just did, bro. <laughs> I just... Uh, let's just say I fucking reset my team forever, man. <laughs> like... Uh, it's, a, it's a rough day today. If we're dying, wish... you're going in like a demon, like... <laughs> I only risk like fucking pause, bro. Yeah, I know. I risk like black mask and some actually decent stuff. I tried oh, no, to get there's people him. in here. <laughs> there's Do you want to come? We can probably kill. There's one guy in here with a whip, by the uh, way. You want to? Like... Just fucking send it. Come, come, come. Just do it. Just do it. Okay. Fuck it. Oh my god. Just. Do you, do you have freezer? No. Just fight him. He, bro, he has feet. Just frame age, dead. bro. You're good. <laughs> He's right next to you, bro. You got this. He's gonna That's get out. It, it's yes, okay. He it. said nerd. And there we go. And now it's our world. <laughs> now he's gonna call the friends and we're fucked. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I got the boots. But now I can oh, bang dang. them. <laughs> 600k. Yes, sir. So yeah, I actually think we just scythe this down. No barrages, no blood, nothing, just go kill. Let me tell you, if if we're getting hit, yeah, it's gonna be me. You're gonna be fine. Like, trust me, everybody will go for me. <laughs> Probably better to let me tank, I have the Titan. That's the first KC. I got two frozen key pieces. I guess I just need one, yeah? <clears throat> if we get a drop, we insta TP. We're never greedy, okay? Even if we get it at the start. I was greedy once and then I lost like a fucking... It, it's not worth it. Yeah, I got it, I got it. And that's points as well. Nice. Thank you. Oh! <gasps> Zamihilt! Oh, kurva. That's actually... It's not that good, but it's kind of good. Okay, rune plate legs. Crazy. What a drop. Yeah. I'll split everything we get anyways. I don't do this for money. I just want points. Ooh! Got some chart too. Which one do you have? If we get a three as well, like I'm making a ZGS, that's crazy. Look at you flying it out the map, just few swiping all of them. And then leave this one to me. So I get KC. Nice, perfect. Uncut sapphire, the fuck is that drop? Dragon dagger, a P plus plus, huge. Did he spec? Zappy spear! Nice! Let's go! It's like a mill, I think, or two. Hit it, man, I'm dying. There you go. <laughs> Almost a stab. I think if we did scythe, we'd be done done with like three trips already. <laughs> or four. That's uh, 600k for free. I just got another pair of boots, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I'm not kidding, bro. Wait, let me just double check the citrus. Feta fighter formidable. All right, we're going full YOLO. You are tanking, by the way, so good luck, buddy. I don't know if this is better, though. We'll see, I guess. Some coins. Okay, we take those. More coins. More coins. We're just getting coins back to back. Rune plate legs. All right. Crazy upgrade. Dude, we're not getting any good lo loot. Zami hilt. Another hilt. Dude, let's go. We can now have one each. That's huge. I'm happy we got that, because I really wanted to keep mine. We need one more spear as well, so we can have one each as well, and then we're chilling. Now I'm happy about this because, here I'll just trade it to you, so now if you die, your fault. <laughs> Enjoy it, buddy. My part of the deal is done. If you die, it is what it is. <laughs> oh, I'm such a rat. Hell yeah, dude. Let me tell you, I'm dabbing as soon as I see someone. <laughs> we both are rats, bro. I bought the God Sword Chart 3. So that means I can make my CGS before the breach, which is sick, because I can make some fun content with it if I get hit. That was actually pretty smooth kill, not gonna lie. <gasps> Stuff of the dead! Bro, we got it, we got it, we got it. Where? Yo, we out of here. Kill the, kill the minions first. Dude, that's 50 miller. Yes, sir.
Oh, nice. It's funny because as soon as we gotta drop, my initial thought is like, let's dip and not return. Your initial thought is, yo, let's go again. <laughs> we, we can do more. Yeah, I mean, I, I do want to get 100kc to be honest, so. You watch this back to back. Close enough, 35kc already though. <gasps> no, I just got, I just got sigil of the treasure hunter and got surcharged one. Dude, I'm getting everything. What the fuck? Dude, we're getting some fast kills now. Room plate legs, coins, lanta time. <laughs> More coins. Okay, another nice trip. We got the God Surcharge Zemi Spear, and we're currently trying to sell stuff of the dead for 50 million dead men. So funny because it's like Zemi, and then we're farming D boots, and then Zemi, and then we're farming D boots. It's like so funny. Bro, you scared the shit out of me. You came in from like Narnia. <laughs> Complete demon out of nowhere. Oh shit. Tap, 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 tap. Every time this has happened to me, like 10 minutes later the full clan came and killed me so we're currently waiting for the breach after the nice and successful zemi trip here's 51 farming at the moment we are trying to reach 55 so we can then go ahead and plant our u tree with a boost so that's what we're doing it's a pretty slow process but hey we're getting there one step at a time all right we got the 3 well 4 a.m breach starting in one minute Let's see how it goes First emblem. We don't have super sets anymore. Pretty decent damage so far though. But not very good loot. VLS. I got a VLS. No fucking way. I really needed it. Another VLS. Oh my god. Take this out. Put it here. We are so happy about this. Another emblem, nice. Did I get Statius Warhammer as well? Did I just get VLS and Statius Warhammer? In one, there is no way. I looted it, right? Yeah, there is actually no way. The, the bridge is over, by the way, it's one minute left. VLS and Statius, one bridge, boys. This probably, single-handedly, best bridge ever. Boys. Zami Spear sold, Staff of the Dead sold, 45 million, we're obviously gonna split this halfway, 450k from Zami Spear, and we bought some quarms. Good morning, I woke up for the breach, and overnight Berserker Ring bought for 8 million, so let's go ahead and not lose this one that fast. A little scroll of imbuing will do the job. We now have a good Berserker Ring. We're gonna wear this, obviously, I still don't have cape. I might just get a fire cape back, uh, and then obviously Inferno later, once we have Rigor. But yeah, this is gonna help a little bit with DPS, and hopefully, this bridge goes smoothly. Welcome to Escapement Mode. We now have a Hilt, we now have a Blade, we combine them together, ZGS. Now this is a very specific weapon to have and if I spec with this weapon we freeze my target for 20 seconds and I can do this twice. It is a really easy way to get out of a single situation so all I need to do is click this special attack, click on the player and then follow them under as they are seeding. If I take a seed it will always push me left, always push me this way, it's like fire making. So if I hit somebody I need to have camera up like this follow them, hit them, and then just follow them as they're seeding. And as I'm doing this, also spam click teleports. Already hit. But how is it that I don't even start playing the game, bro? I never checked the points. I started on 62,000. And we'll see where we end up on. PK around me again. I don't know, it's so crazy. 
I need to bank because I'm non-stop attacked. I might take uh, Titanium instead of Consistency because uh, if I get hit this much, it's uh, hard to survive. No, somebody, that was a global drop. I don't know if I got that, but I could have. I didn't, damn. Oh, there we go, an emblem, finally. Okay, pick it on me again. Is he sticking? Yeah, I think so. Okay, what? Well, Piquet jumped me, so we utilized a little teleportation hack. We bank, we go again, five minutes left. Not the best bridge, definitely. Okay, we got an emblem at least. Is this guy? Of course it is. It's so boring, man. He's been jumping me this whole breach. Uh, there's usually nothing I can do when a max guide keeps jumping me rather than obviously go for my escape, but that means we can't get points. As a third time, I think it's been the same guy non-stop. Well, I think it just ended, so I missed a bunch of this. Uh, never mind, I guess. Unlucky. I'm gonna go get myself a little bit more rest. I just woke up to do this. All in all, not the best one, definitely, but not much we can do when we get jumped all the time. Still secured myself, what, like 2000 points, which is not a lot, but it's something, right? So, all right, we are back at Vorkaf. It is new day and I'm ready to finish off the Vorkaf. Well, the head, the drop that we need. It's guaranteed at 50, so let's grind it out. Let's finish it off. Also, now we have the super empty fire so i think i can use a defender but it only lasts for two minutes so i don't know if it's worth using but hey it's a bit of a longer one okay start off is zombie spawn look at it it's cute uh we start off on 35 kc is this one the one or will i have to milk 50 i think i'll have to milk 50. Oppa, there it is first well Maybe not even that good of a drop, but some dragon plate legs will take it. Okay, more unfinished dragon bolts. Those are actually really good money right now. And we got 10 left to go. Looks like the game is gonna milk us for the entirety of the 50 kills. Niente. Surely, 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 surely. Come on, hop, hop, chop, chop. Battle legs. That's not it. Well, at this point, we only have five left, right? So it's fine. No. Surely, right? No. Okay, two more kills and we're done. Alright, well, the game made me milk it, so let's do the final Vorky kill for the Assembler. And there it is. Nice little 50 Vorkavs completed. We now obtained the Vorkavs head. This should be shining because this is a beautiful piece of item that we will end up using for the next time we go in the good old Inferno. We also got 50 KC, which is an elite combat task, which should also give us some points, which is solid. And look at it, it's beautiful. Let's go make an assembler and call it for this episode. And ladies and gentlemen, here we go. So we've done all of that, all the 50 kills, just so we could get the Ava's assembler, which is gonna give us a little bit more range power, a little bit more saving of the arrows. And just in general, it's gonna be nice to do both Inferno and God Wars bosses. So nice little upgrade there, very happy to have it. And I guess the next thing we need to work towards is to finally unlock Rigor. gonna do a, a little bit of battles because it is that time of the day and we're gonna run with precision feral fighter and formidable fighter giving me absolutely ridiculous accuracy bonus battles items are pretty expensive right now and we want to complete 100 chests in total anyways we start off the daily battles session with a little bit of nothing let's get it all right here we go here we go one for the boys it's trash let's take a look Again, we don't get anything. Good luck us. Bang. That is complete disaster. Really? This guy's going for us. And this guy's a bot, I guess. Unlucky. Okay, so this fountain should be able to charge all my jewelry. 
There it is, it's beautiful. So we're basically in the process of where stuff is finally buying for quite a lot of money to where I could upgrade my jewelry box so I don't need to use my rings of returning permanently. So that's basically what we're doing right now. We're just setting up for that moment. This is pretty expensive. Each one of these is like 60k, each one of these is like 60k. But this is something I want to do because it will just allow me to teleport everywhere in the game. And that is usually useful in Deadman mode. Plus money is not that hard to come by. So here's the fancy jewelry box upgrade. Also the gold leaf was like 200k as well. And now I have all these other areas that I can go to. Warriors Guild, Champs Guild, Monastery Ranging Guild, Farming Guild, Woodcutting Guild. Like I can go everywhere in the game, which is useful. You know, definitely useful. Even Mining Guild, Crafting Guild, whatever you name it. Very solid. And now let's do the last upgrade. Ah, they're beautiful. They're absolutely beautiful. There we go. That's the last thing we needed. Okay, and lastly, we can now upgrade this and make it an ornate jewelry box, which is absolutely phenomenal. We can now teleport menu and go to the grand exchange. Good luck us. Nothing in this one. But we do get uh, Barrow's champion, which is, I guess, completing 25 chests, probably. So here we go. Good luck us. Nothing. Another one. No. This one is the one I'm feeling. You know when you have a good feeling about it? Watch this. Hey, see, good feeling always works. Thorax plate legs. That's a nice over 1 million tank legs go for right now. So that is a solid drop right there. Shit. That would be that would be good if it happened, but it didn't. Unlucky. So today is like a day where I'm actually feeling like doing barrows more than usual days. So I'm probably going to do more than 10 a day today. Here we go. Here we go. Big 30. Oh. And now we're going to get another one. <clears throat> that would be kind of nice. Surely we get it here, right? 32kc, nothing special. Darok Helm. There is no Darok Helm present, unfortunately. Another one. 34, nothing. One... A little bit annoying, but I think we're okay. I could bring a range weapon for this, but yeah. All right, we're on a farmer duty. Every time we get hit, I tend to just jump out and do some other activities for a bit to make sure the PKRs get a little bit bored. Here's the apple tree. 11,000, we're up to 53. We really just need to get this to 55 so I can start doing what I actually want to do. Uh, but that is a nice start. Hey, okay, the plan is simple. We do barrows until we get an item and then we do something else. So let's see if we get an item straight away. <laughs> Do we count it? It's a Verax flail. Um, I mean, maybe we do one more. Maybe we do one more. Right, we go crazy on this one. Watch this. Back to back situation. Didn't work. Okay, surely. Ooh. Do we go till 40? Do we do two more? We go till 40, I guess. Okay, here we go. Niente. There we go. Big 40. Uh, not the best. Do we do a bit more? Why am I in a Barrow's mood today? I'm not usually in a Barrow's mood, but today is just a Barrow's type of day, I feel like. But for me, it's like a double-edged sword. My name can either mean that somebody instantly focuses me, or that somebody actually lets me, lets me through. It goes both ways. But here we go. We didn't stop. We go for more. We didn't get anything. There's no shot, right? <laughs> Smart man. Smart businessman. I panicked kind of hard, not gonna lie. <laughs> Holy fuck. That could have ended badly, by the way. If you are... I, I didn't even know what, what hit me there for a sec. Not gonna lie. That's a genius move, though. That's a good move. That's a good move. Whew. We're trying to do some combat achievement diaries right now. And one is to kill this guy with only spec attacks. So let's see if we hit enough. If this hits, we should be good. Okay, so this actually gives decent points. I think it should. I already updated it. So stuff like that, I need to actually look into when I'm doing uh, when I'm doing this to try and do all the tasks. Nope. Okay, so the next few things we gotta do is we gotta do the Ken Touch Me, which is kill Darug Verak Torak Gothen, 
without letting them attack you. And we got to do the faithless run, uh, meaning we have to do all of it with zero prayer points. Yeah, listen, guys, sometimes you have to admit that you were wrong, okay? Whip. Whip was not it. We <laughs> Whip was not it. This is the vibe right now, let me tell you. What do we have cooking today? <gasps> 7 mil. This is the best drop, by the way. This is the best drop you can get. Oh my god, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Absolutely, yes. This is the best one. The most expensive one. Oh, huge. Absolutely huge. 43 kill count is uh, is where we get blessed with a really good item. Here we go. And we get the Zamorak Crozier. That is, from, that is very useless, let me tell you. That is absolutely trash. Let's see. <gasps> hey! Hey, yo! 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 Hey, yo! Little fashion scape situation out here. Little gilded scimitar. And light infinity color kit. I don't even know how much that is. Look at us though. Boom! Gilded scimitar. It's wonderful. It's golden. So what you need to do is this and then run and then freeze. Like this and then I need to kill it from distance. And I need to do this for every single brother basically. Okay, so that's one. Okay, so that is two. Oh, I think, think I didn't change my sigil. I'm pretty sure I still have the Bloodhound sigil. And that should be the last one if I don't mess it up here. Nah, I got hit. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. Nah, 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 nah. That's bullshit. I, I see VA, but we need to do it again. Why is he in the tunnel here, man? Now back to back. Oi, achievement? I didn't get hit. Where's my achievement, bro? What? Maybe I need to loot the chest first. Ah, there it is. I got an achievement now. Okay, okay, okay. We good, we good, we good. We got it. 45 KC, breach in 20 minutes. Let's try to do one more. I'm zero prayer. That's what I need to be. Let's see if I can go here. We're just gonna play it giga safe. So I just cannot recharge my prayer points for this run. And we are streaming, so I could get like giga sniped. But that's why I have a Phoenix necklace. So basically, we're gonna do the same thing that we just did. But again, okay, we basically just can't charge our prayer. There we go. And if I loot it, that should be the last combat achievement completed. There it is. It worked. Everything is good. If I were to look at bosses and barrows, it appears that all of them are completed, which is basically what I want to do. Every time I do content on DMM, I want to make sure I complete as many of these as possible. This is a quick reminder to let you know that you should probably subscribe. I'll go for this. We got Trinket and Emblem. Let's get it immediately. So because I forgot a few things, we're just gonna bank off the bat here. Oh, PK on me. So we put this up, this up. Let's see if he stays. So we eat this up. We Entity hide it away. See, I think this is a big problem, right, in DMM. I cannot see who is hitting me at all. And if I cannot see who's hitting me, I think that's a problem. And it's this absolute unit here in, in Mystics. I mean... Sit, you noob. And that's why you bring the ZGS, you know, because it does the fucking job, let me tell you. And we go again. I mean, is he just gonna jump me again? I mean, I hope I don't get jumped perma. But that's why I brought combo food into necklace, so I can really, like, tank uh, stuff like that. Because that will happen and you won't see who's hitting you and you have to pray, like, one prayer and just eat through it. That's, like, your best bet. Now we got an emblem. I think I'm gonna bank it, honestly. It's a bit too risky having being all the way out here with like no food. Oh, another emblem. Nice. I'm not gonna overstay my welcome. All right, let's dip. Okay, so in conclusion, 9 p.m. breach is that it. It's always the worst breach, but we got like what few trinkets and no PP drops, so not the best. It is what it is. Sometimes it goes, sometimes it doesn't. It's fine. Breach was uh, whatever. Let's see what we get. 
tank body goes for like 500k so basically the tier list of the items that you want to get from barrows is on very top you have arims and karils so arim top arim bot and karil top those are your best ones then you have the one tier below that is the tank helm and tank legs one tier below that is the tank body which is what we just got and then the worst is uh, all the weapons and like karil coifs and stuff like that those are pretty bad Which one's closer? I think this one's closer. I'll go to this one because I know. He's gonna VLS me here on the unfreeze. Everybody always does it. Go down once, go up, down once again. Dab, he can't kill me. That's how you escape a PK in Barros. Like you just need to outmaneuver them mentally, okay? But nice attempt, nice attempt. He tried his best. I had a better gaming chair. Ah, now this is a cool time when the U3 grows and you can check health, get the XP, but most importantly, you now have a good AFK thing to train where with every single chop you get 5 U-Longs to the bank and you can start making some passive money whilst AFKing a 99. Alright, my AFK session is drawing to a close, meaning that we actually ended up chopping almost a thousand U-Longs, which will turn to decent money and this was very quick like very quick this will add up like i kind of want to do this on my other account as well and just chop logs permanently because it's really good money as i said you get five logs per chop it's crazy yeah, i think i'm gonna run a dk strip right now uh the rings are going for a lot i will most likely die we'll try to make it so i don't risk too much and we'll see how it goes are you here by the way i'm waiting for you in front of the cave oh i don't have player indicators on that's scary there we go Okay, so I can try tanking the first one. So let me go down first and then you follow, okay? Yeah, you can come. It's safe. I need to tank the other guy as well. I think that does one. Yeah, I got one done. Yeah, it does both. It does both. Yeah, we definitely come in tribal. Just come up, come up, come up. This is useless. Oh my god, there's people here. You can't make this up. Oh, we're gonna die immediately. I think so, yeah. I got out, by the way. Don't know how, but yeah, this is sketchy as fuck. Wait, really? Did they stop following you? Bro, they were going for me, and I got out. <laughs> Just deep, bro. Deep for not doing that. I got out, bro. I'm good. <laughs> There's no way. Yeah, we can't do that. But that's like, how did we both, bro, how did we both survive a full clan of team? <laughs> I, I mean, I think they saw my name, so you were dipping for free, and then they were, they were so lost. I was just up, down, up, down, and spamming teleport, and I got out. Okay, we are going in again. This time, with a lot different gear, a lot more Barrows gear. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so we're on wave 64 and I've used zero brutes so far. One, two, three, four, five restores. Seems like I have good supplies. We'll see how it goes. I'm looking forward to it. Okay, made it to triple giants. Supplies are looking beautiful. Let's see how it goes. There it is, supplies are looking great. I don't know if I'm good enough to do it or not, but definitely much better than with full void. So here's the attempt, 
I'm gonna quickly do a little bit of research and get right into it. I just hope I hit good at the beginning. That's the, that's the most important part, then I can skip two sets, if not we just do two sets. I might just do both sets. I think it's gonna be better for me. So I can't get surprised. Okay, the hits are not that great, so I might wait for a set. I just hope I'm not doing a mistake here by waiting. And my shield like dying or something. Because maybe I had good damage and I'm just unaware. Now I just need to get it under 600. Stamina though. There is no way I don't make this because of stamina problems. Just don't noodle now, bro. We're on the home stretch. Whatever you do, don't noodle. Just don't noodle, buddy. Just don't noodle, whatever you do, don't noodle, let's get it! Yes, dude! Oh my god, I almost tipped it without Infernal Cape. Oh my god, I fucking have it. Dude, let's go, man! Breaches in one minute! I have Infernal Cape! No fucking way, man! You guys don't understand how happy that makes me. And now, I get to maybe catch the... <laughs> Let me parchment it quick, there's literally Breach in one minute and I got it! Yes, man! I got it, dude, let's go. Alka did one as well, so it's a sketchy one. Well, first I'm gonna go repair my gear and not risk it, so I'm gonna be a little bit late to this one. There we go. Our bridge gear is kinda crazy now. I have imbued Berserker Ring, Infernal Cape, Fury, D-Boots. We're chilling. Trinket immediately. Absolutely immediately. Okay, so I said I was gonna quickly speak why Infernal is such a hard topic for me and uh, the reason for that is on main game I at some point hit a rock where I would make it to the Zuck every single time I would make it past the healers every single time and there were so many moments where I died with Zuck being 80 HP, 40 HP, 3 HP, 1 HP the silliest mistakes but also extremely unlucky and it was at that time that I basically, I literally quit RuneScape because I was so burned after so many, att many attempts and I was so unlucky, I could not get the cape. And basically I took a very long break and then when I came back, very first attempt, I immediately got my cape. The idea is there, I uh, have burnt out before from trying to complete the cape and not being able to do it. And uh, now that I did it, uh, obviously on Deadman mode it is easier, but I'm just happy. I'm just happy we have it. And, I, and it's late and I'm sleep deprived, but it's fine. Just happy we have it. Another one, yes. Nice. Another emblem. Another trinket. That's it. Oof. What a run, boys. What a run. I'm gonna be super quiet now, it is uh, sleep time and we're gonna just quickly open these two weaponries. First for a scythe, that's good. 
Second for Twisted Bow, that's Ned. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I'm gonna go sleep right now. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be the best sleep I will ever have. Good night, fellas. One run. There's smuggling. He's cool though. Maybe I can counter him. Okay, let's see. This could actually work, you know. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> he knew it was coming. <laughs> Every now and then I will just do one Barrows run just to scout if somebody is doing it because I want to do some uh, I want to I wanna test some things out okay with this type of gear Infernal, Berserker, Fury, Claws they could go kind of in I mean these Claws are 250k but I'm also running like really funny runes Feral Fighter, Formidable Fighter and Consistency Aggression would be a little bit better I feel like I could do something crazy to somebody who's unsuspecting who thinks that I'm just uh, doing the chests you know that's what I'm waiting on. Good morning. Breach is in 19 minutes. But first, whilst we're waiting, we're just gonna go ahead and train a little bit of uh, Herblur. Uh, starting off at 58, let's see what we end up on. There we go, and we will stop it on 67, breach in 5 minutes, let's get ready. Oh my god, I got a Vesta Spear off the bat. <laughs> First kill, Vesta Spear. I feel like at the start I always get something at the very beginning. Maybe I need to start coming with the Ruby Bolts. There's too many players online for every breach. I mean, just to demonstrate, look at this. The amount of people is ridiculous. It is 12. Maybe it's because it's weakened. Ah, we got another emblem at least. Hey, we got another emblem. Oh, we got a trinket. Quick bank. Running low on restores. Someone on me. Okay, all in all, solid breach, I'd say. Um, don't think we can complain with this one at all. Uh, we got a few emblems, couple of trinkets. I don't know about the points, probably not a lot of points because there was so many people in the single breach. I wish they, uh, they added more health. I really wish they added more health to the bosses so they don't all just die in one hit and I think it would be so sick. Scythe is profit, two mechanist profit, Tebow is meh. I will just check it on the bank for now. So I lose one of the corrupted, uh, maybe the Vesta. I don't really want to uh, lose, so let's make sure we throw it in the deposit box. Yeah, we also got a PvP weapon, which, you know, you can never complain with a PvP weapon. Uh, but yeah, I haven't had enough to, uh, enough sleep, so I'm gonna go ahead and have a little bit more rest. Alright, I woke up again. Let's check on Barrows to see if there is any people there. Oh, okay, we have a big air situation. Oh, that's a problem. I have no spade. I might die here. Oh, shit. Okay, well. Oh my god, no way I caught it. I'm a fucking moron. Where's my spade? 
I caught the freeze in this gear, bro. My heart is absolutely racing. You've got no idea. What am I doing? Dude, quick thinking on those freezes though, but holy shit, I'm dumb. What are the chances the one time I go, bro? I don't have a spade, man. Oi, oi, oi. Little Barrow's back after the questionable escape. We got nothing. I'll do one more for 50. There's one PVMer right now, so if I find the right time, I could try to double claw him out. All right, here's the big chest, number 50. Good luck, us. All right, so I was paying a little bit of attention of what actually gives decent points. And I noticed that there's a lot of tasks in achievement diaries that actually give very good points. So because of that, we're going to start trying to hunt some of those down. And the first one that I see that is very easy, it was somewhere here. I don't know which one it was, but it's to kill a Scotizo. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Uh, hopefully my gear is good enough. And then we're also going to do clue scrolls that we get from it because clue scrolls also give decent rewards. Now, hopefully this isn't too hard and I just melt it. I think I can just melt it. Now the cool part about this boss is the pet is very likely to drop. So maybe we start walking around with a pet soon. We'll see. Yeah, there we go. So that actually gives us a bunch of points as, as you can see. A, a bunch of points. And we get some clue scrolls and we also get more dark totem place pieces and stuff like that. So every time we then get a clue scroll, we're also going to do our best to complete it. Okay, so the next one I'm gonna try to do is to kill it with a Chinchompa explosion or to take the zero damage one. We will see which one ends up working for us. Okay, that's the zero eyes. I think that's pretty good. And then the next one can be the Chinchompa or zero damage. All of that is gonna skyrocket our points. All of these random achievements will just help it out a lot already on 73k. This is a quick reminder to let you know that you should probably subscribe. All right, here's the two caskets. Easy clue scroll for Gothic Robe legs, which actually might sell in the pure bracket. Beginner casket for nothing. And I still need to buy both diamond bracelet and mystic fire stuff. So this might take a little bit of time. So whilst that is buying, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and do a bit of skilling. All right, well, we ended up going all the way to 84 wood cutting and all the way to 4,200 U logs, which is actually a solid amount of money. Uh, but now we finally have a Mystic Fire Staff, Diamond Bracelet and Rune Boots, thanks to Pay to Play Warrior, cause uh, he actually finished a quest to get me this. Yeah, for this one, I have to have Fairy Quest. So I've been procrastinating this one so long that I guess it is time to just go ahead and do it. I'm not looking forward to it whatsoever, but I'll do it regardless. Okay, let's start the Nature Spirit Quest. And let's see how long this one takes. And there it is. Nature Spirit is now completed. And now I think we can start the Fairy Tale Part 1 quest. Hey, we're on 60 farming just while doing this quest and randomly collecting stuff. Oh my god, I have to do Taibo Wanai cleanup minigame. <laughs> you can't make this up. There's also a breach in 25 minutes, so I was hoping I would finish this quest before the breach, but who knows, man, who knows. No way I got a gout tuber. <laughs> I actually got a gout tuber. That is pretty rare to get, by the way. Okay, so it appears it is a part of the medium diary for Karamja. Oh, that's a snake. So basically, the way this snake spawns, we need to spawn a mosquito. And then we get the item that we need. Oh my god, there's a the mosquito. I think that's what we needed. Proboscis. I'm pretty sure that's it. Let me just double check it. Secators, Irid Leaf, Blue Dragon Scale, and Mosquito Proboscis. Seems about right, let's dip. Okay, let's take a look. So, to do this we will need Pet of Secators, have that. Eyelid Leaf, have that. Blue Dragon Scale, have that. Mosquito Proboscis, hopefully have that. And now I need to return to the Nature Spirit. Okay, well, let's not die with these items, because imagine I die with these items and I have to get it again. Oi, oi, oi. There we go, he didn't make it. He tried his best, though. Queen Secators, beautiful. And this is gonna be quest finished as soon as we speak to the Godfather. And then we just need to start the second part and we can start utilizing fairy rings. About them time, okay? All these clue scrolls that we wanna do, it's gonna be much easier to do them with fairy rings unlocked. But let's uh, let's take it one step at a time and first finish the quest. And there is fairy tale 1 completed. Some farming XP, attack magic, don't care about that. Most importantly, magic secretaries up to 64 farming. If we get this to 70, it would be amazing. I don't think I can do this right now, can I? Of 
COVID-19 is going for us, boys. I will do it later, I guess. I can't do this quest right now. Like, there is no chance. Oh, this is my MVP, though. Yeah, I knew it. There is no way they gave enough HP to these mobs. Like, they didn't think this many people would be killing them. This could be mine, you know. Look how many hits we got. That's good. That's definitely... Okay, I have PK on me. Just got a little emblem situation. I cannot see him. I'm picking up my emblem though. Ah, he's still on me by the way. Like... This is literally like... Always work out your escapes, we bank it, we come again. Another emblem, just came back, got it immediately. He's on me again, I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure somebody paid this man to rag me because he's just in trash bolts. But perma attacking me. It's a shame because I cannot see him. But yeah, he's just bolting me so I can't do the breach. Like, it's so annoying. He, he's usually the same guy, by the way. Like, he's just ragging per mine. This is, I think, such a problem. Like, this guy's never gonna kill me. Like, he's literally just ragging in, like, disaster gear. And this is a good strategy if... Because now I can't... I basically can never get any points. I just need to fight him, but I'm going to bring like the full mage gear then. This is in such a shit gear, man. It's so sad to see that this is what I have to deal with, by the way. Well, I guess we're going PKing. Everybody wanted me to PK, so I guess we'll do it. He might do it again. I lose so much points for him doing that, by the way. But I guess partially my fault if I just brought some PK gear. Especially to this one, I'd be alright. I didn't bring the claws though, so I don't have a really a kill chance. Another emblem, we take those. There's a few PKers around. Oh, there's an emblem on the floor again. Okay, there's that guy. I think I have a full clan just perma ragging me by the way, like they are non-stop attacking me, it's the most annoying feeling in the world, it makes me just legit not wanna even play man. It's the same guys attacking me non-stop over and over and over again. I mean the breach is over, the breach is uh, is done, it is what it is, uh, it's still, I think I got good loot, it's just that points, I did not get good points and uh, that's a bit of a shame. <laughs> Hey, there you go. Fairy Tale 2, Q the Queen completed a little bit of herb, a little bit of thieving XP, and access to fairy rings. I also got a lamp that I can put on farming, and we get 25,000, so we're 65 farming already. Beautiful. Happy to have this done. Let's see if I can utilize the trinket of the fairies now without the use of the Draymond stuff. That's what I'm uh, actually really wondering. So I need to go to CKP. And looks like I can just go like this. So no Draymond stuff needed. I just click it and I go. Let's take a look. Dragon Mask and Narda Teleport. Not ideal. Okay, we got a little double casket situation right now. Let's take a look what we get. 
Ooh, Black Wizzy, Black Plate Body, little Zami page, not too bad. And the beginner casket for Sandwich Lady. All right, well, there it is. I don't know if I get any points for this, but <laughs> we got a Sandwich Lady outfit, so there it is. Let's kill a bit of Scotizo, get more clues, finish the diaries, get more points. The way we play it is we play it safe in TP immediately, and that's what you do not like to see, and that's why we spam teleport immediately. So we should say to say we're not gonna be doing Scotizo right now. Okay, I'm gonna check if there's anybody doing barrows, so get a little barrows chest. I'm just doing my little scout to see if there is anybody, uh, you know, doing barrows. And there's a reason why I'm doing it in full melee again, so I can use claws to either anti-PK or PK somebody that isn't expecting it. Okay, it has been a few hours of wood cutting. We're up to 85, and I think we are gonna try going for Scotizo again. So we try to also get the diaries done. Hopefully, there is nobody camping outside of it anymore. Okay, we got a clue scroll. Let's see if we can uh, get something cool out of this. Hard for Sara legs. This can be useful. Gothic Scrozier, not that useful. All right, uh, let's train a bit of herb then. Oi, oi, oi. A little bit of herb. Get it up, use all my secondaries. Dude, I don't know why I'm doing all of this, but I need to get trading sticks, so we're going back to cleaning the jungle right now. Order. And I now have a opal machete, but most importantly, a medium task is completed. I don't know if I get points for this. I do a little bit. Uh, so now I'm going to proceed with my herblore training. We'll see what kind of level we get to. If I utilize all my supplies, I start on 68, and we're going to really try to grind through this skill. All right, we ended up getting all the way to 82, almost 83 Herbler. And now we have the range set up. We're gonna go back to Scotizo and try to kill it without uh, taking damage. There we go, we did it. Nice. So that is two tasks, one for not taking any hits and one for getting five kills. And we've done another tier. So now we have the Gomal Hilt number two. Uh, and we can also rub this. And you guys already know, we put it in farming. 100,000, we're 67. I just need to get to 70. Uh, okay, I got another quest. Why are you running? So I should probably look into all the tasks there are. Okay, so I came to conclusion. Scythe is absolutely horrible at mole. Uh, it just keeps digging around. So we're gonna change it up a bit. There it is, Sigil of the Aggression bot for 17 mil. And this is going to be very needed for Mole, if we're able to do it. Okay, our sigil of choice are Precision, Ninja and Aggression. And that is 10 kills. One of the tasks is to kill a Mole in 4 hits. That's what uh, we will try to do, but maybe I need a B-ring for that. 4 a.m., 1 minute until the breach. Let's see how it goes. First emblem. Zuriel stuff. Nice. I might get attacked soon here. I will not bank, it's 2 million only. And trinket. Another trinket for us. Now well, we're getting good loot. Another emblem. I think we bank here. Two trinkets, Zuriel staff, and a bunch of stuff. There's still 5 minutes left. Another emblem, we just came back. Another emblem. Dude, we're farming so hard right now. There's Gothic's decayed boots there. That's actually good money. I know those go for a million, so <laughs> I just yoinked somebody's loot. That was the last one right there. Don't think I want to overstay for some extra loot. We got a lot of points, so we are back to rank 20 now. That's pretty good. <laughs> okay, there's double scouts here. There is some 100% action going on here. Wait, what? Why is there two scouts there? On the very first kill, I'm gonna try to just kill the zombie spawn without using crumble and that. So let's see if that's like this. There we go. Nice. Okay, next thing we're gonna try to do is to kill 10 of them in one instance. Okay, a little dragon plate skirt. Okay, so I did not bring nearly enough anti-venoms for 10 kills. So I've only done 5 and I'm basically running out of anti-venom. So I will have to adjust my inventory a bit. But I'm also thinking that maybe I should leave some of this for the stream rather than doing it now. Uh, actually, I'm gonna try to do this one uh, right now. So not losing any prayer points seems like something I can do. So there we go, that should do it. 
There it is, the Fateless Encounter. Probably gives quite a lot of points. I'd already updated, damn it. Okay, for our next Vorkath, we're gonna just uh, do it without a weapon. With fists, uh, that's also one of the tasks. I'll just use Consistency, Titanium and Precision. There it is, Grandmaster task completed. Only using fists, it wasn't too hard. Okay, I want a little bit of change of pace and it's been probably like an hour. Let's check the mole again and see if it is doable. Hey, there we go, 25 moles defeated, we're now a champion, and the only task left for mole is to get it in 4 hits, I think. Yeah, we just need to get it in 4 hits. Now, realistically, with the Tharok, that would be the easiest, but I think with a bit of luck I can do it with this setup as well. Oh, well, I got a sigil of the formidable fighter from the giant mole. There we go, fishing contest is now completed and I do believe I can now get a Dwarven Rock Cake unless I'm missing something. But if I can do that, I have uh, some spicy things planned. There we go, cool. I need to make sure I hide it and there is nobody around, but there it is, boys, the full Derok. We are ready to absolutely annihilate this giant mole and most likely die in the process. However, this was 700k, 250, 250, 150. So I'm actually risking less than I was risking before. Uh, we are going to be going with aggression, ninja and precision. And we are basically hoping to complete the task. We are going to try to do this on one HP. Uh, so the likelihood of us dying is a little bit too high, but sometimes you have to risk it. I think I will only do this method until I get the diary. I think I just did it, by the way. Was that it? I guess the zeros do not count. Yeah, I finished them all. Okay, well, there it is. 110. I can't just hit 110 max hit, what the fuck. Oh, I got a tier 5 from the mole. Oh, and also 50 KC, which is uh, very nice. KC 65, and at the moment I'm thinking I will try to push the KC all the way to 100 and then move on to new things. There it is, big 100 mole completed and somehow we didn't die. I don't ask me how, I've no clue, we should be dead, but we are not, and uh, we'll take the points. We're currently ranked 20, exactly. Alright, the last time I attempted this, I got 1kc and then immediately team logged in. This time it is Monday, super early in the morning, and I'm just gonna go and attempt the DKs for a bit. Okay, so now I just need to get hit by that guy. And that should count. There we go, we got one task. Okay, so the next one is to kill the ranger whilst being hit by all of them. So I might just go to bank, wait and do it all over again to get the other task completed as well. Okay, and that works. So I've done the simple tasks and I'm just gonna focus on the KC tasks, nothing fancy. I can also try to do a task where I kill them kind of at the same time. I got Sears ring as well. Come on, kill it, kill it, kill it. I think I get it. Did I get a cool task? Rapid succession, I got it. Nice. That was first try. Nice, pretty happy with this. I'll take a look at what other tasks I could maybe make uh, quickly, uh, but that's gonna be a big influx of points. So very good. Okay, the next combat achievement I'm gonna try to do is to kill a prime using a thrown X special attack bounced of a Dagonoth Rex. It's so crazy because I could just be killing these bosses, but instead I'm doing, I'm doing all this funky stuff. Just like that, and that should be it. And we get a mud battle staff as a reward. But where's my achievement? We'll try it again, but first I'm gonna just kill Rex whilst being attacked by everything, because that's another task that I think it's pretty easy. There we go, and that's a simple one as well. Yes, I'll try to kill this guy same time as I kill this guy now. Oh, that one didn't work, because I didn't hit the other guy with it. Okay, I really wanna do this one. Rune Throne X special attacks bounced off Rex. Dude, it's so weird trying to do all these fancy things. I've never done combat achievements in this game. I could try to kill both of these at the same time though. Oh, there we go. That'll work. Nice. I actually did it. That was not that hard. Toppling the... I'm getting a bunch of stuff that I didn't even know existed. Uh, I'm gonna once again go to safety, analyze which one I want to work on next. So taking a look at Supreme, all we need from Supreme is just kills. So that is done. 
all we need from Rex is kills and kills. So that's basically done. And all I need from Prime is kills, kills and using throwing nexus off a Rex to kill it. So this is what I want to work on next right here. That works. That's a bounce for sure. There it is. Okay. This time it worked. I did it the exact same way as I did it last time, but this time it didn't bug out. Now the priority is to kill Rex more times than others because he can drop a berserker ring and berserker ring goes for about 8 million right now whilst the other two rings only go for 2 million. In an ideal world I kill 100 of each of the bosses for max amount of points but that's an ideal world and that almost never happens because realistically we will most likely die here. There we go that's 10 primes defeated. More points. Ooh another dragon axe. Nice. That's money. <laughs> Another Dragon X. Surprisingly, they go for 400k each, by the way. A lot of points, like 100 and something. I've completed every Dagonoff Supreme task there is. I got a nice sum of points. Currently, with all these points, uh, we are moving up to rank uh, 17 overall. So I think that's pretty good. Another Dragon X. I think that's like my fourth one. And that does it, I think. There we go. I think with this skill, we also got another Dragon X, which is huge. But we've completed the case. Everything from here on out is a luxury. Dragon of Supreme completed, Rex completed, Prime completed. Now it's just a matter of getting kill count. Here's the ring, let's get it. Probably worth banking and don't want to risk the rings while I'm here. Uh, I think that's two Sears rings and no other rings so far. In about 100 KC, I'd say. Yeah, Berserker Ring. Okay, we're dipping straight to bank. Yes, sir. That is 7 million right now. Oh, that's huge. Ah, the very first expensive drop. Nice. I have never had this happen to me. All of the three guys are under each other. That is funny. <laughs> what the fuck? That's the first time this has happened to me and I've been playing. Okay, Archer's Ring back to back. Let's get it. That is craziness. No, my god, back to back. I, I, almost, like, I don't even know. I just came back and I got another Berserker ring, which is another 7 mil, and I like, like, what's going on? Like, what is actually going on? Oh, another Archer's ring. Oh my goodness, this is so common. Or I'm really lucky, I don't know which one it is, but it's crazy. Oh my god, back to back Dragon X. Dragon X sells for 250k at the moment, so it adds up. We've had like six. Oh my goodness, another Archer's Ring. What is going on? We are up to 50 kill count on the Supreme, 35 on the Prime, and 46 on the Rex. Oh my, I even got a Circle. That is crazy. No way I got another Berserker ring. No way I got another B ring. Dude, dude, this is crazy by the way. They sell for 7 mil instantly. It's so crazy because the breach is in one hour and I'm definitely burning out as in I'm really tired. But at the same time the loot is so crazy right now. And the fact that I'm uncontested, kinda nice. And if I were to die, I couldn't care less because the money we make is a lot more. Or the money we made, rather. Oh, my, another Dragon X. Yoink. Oh my, another one. Actually, another Archer's Ring. How am I gonna sell all of these? I wish I knew how many I have. Hold up, I'm gonna look it up. So I've had four Archer's Ring. I've had two Sears Rings. And I've had three Berserker rings. That's mad. Well, it is time for me to play it safe and actually sell the items that we got. Uh, sold two Berserker rings for 7 million each. I have all these Dragon Axes now. I have all these Archer rings. Dude, I have way too many Archer rings. I got the Sears rings. I got Berserker ring. Maybe there's something left in the bank as well. But what a trip. I'm gonna chill now. The breach is in an hour. Oh my god, I came back first kill. Archer ring. Dude, this is so crazy. <laughs> another Dragon X. Oh, another another Dragon X. 
basically back, to, yeah, completely back to back. It's still in the chat. Okay, Breach is in seven minutes, so I'm gonna kill this Rex and then move on. Uh, seems like our Supreme is on 67, Prime is 49, and then we'll see where Rex ends up on. And I'm really surprised I haven't died here. I've been soloing for the last three hours, I'd say. Maybe, maybe two, maybe three, obviously small breaks in between. Very good points and uh, very chill. No PKers. I, I feel like uh, I just found the most dead possible time. So, uh, but yeah, this is going to be the last kill for now. And then we send it at the breach. See how it goes. <laughs> this guy already schooled up. That's crazy. Oh yeah, starting points, 81,700. Let's see where we get to. First emblem. Bro, Kriana going crazy. Holy shit. Hit me for like a 70. That's wild, man. Oh, what did we just get? Trinket and emblem. Okay, I think I'll do a quick bank. I'm uncomfortable with my food situation. No, oh, another emblem. Ah, that was the global drop table. There we oh, I'm PK'd right now. I gotta focus. Now the question is, is he staying or is he not staying? Looks like we are good, maybe? It's hard to say. Trying to stay in the mass. I think we're okay. Another emblem. There we go. Very good breach, I'd say. Point we end on is 83.8. Is that 2000 points? I'm not sure. Uh, obviously in singles you can't get that many points, but I don't really remember where we started. But I know the loot has been decent, so yeah, I'm, I'm maintaining these trinkets because the corrupted weapons aren't that expensive right now and you don't lose this on death. Uh, so I'm just keeping, I'm just stacking them, we're not gonna open them at the moment. It is a little rebuild, but that's gonna be it for now. I'm gonna get a little bit of sleep and then I'll be back with you guys in probably the next breach. <laughs> Good morning, I just had an absolutely phenomenal sleep. And we got ourselves a casket, so let's go ahead and take a look what's inside. Ooh, that is amazing. Sarah the Hide Body is absolutely phenomenal. Ancient Plate Legs, meh. But this is an amazing item for Sarah Domin in God Wars. Top it off with a little beginner clue scroll as well. Demon feet with rune scimitar ornament kit. I wish you got like uh, points for uniques, which I don't think is the case. You just get it for the completion, but those are two uniques. We take those. The very first breach where I'm not going with a melee setup because it is 9 p.m. So we're gonna go with a full magic setup with a cold shadow sears. Full void and we're also gonna grab undead and we are gonna be running ninja precision titanium We are risking tutabos scythe AGS claws and potions. So let's not die and That is going to be it. the reason why I have spade is because well, I if it's barrows I just do not want to ever forget the spade that would be an instant death. But yeah, uh, starting in one minute. I'm very well rested today. We'll see how it goes. Oh yeah, the points start 83,877. Oh, and now I can actually kill these guys, the Justice Card people. I don't need to do any crazy running. Oh, immediately Dragon Halley. This might be a lot more chill, we'll see. So, so far, the damage output seems nice. Opa, first emblem. Nice. Ooh. So as long as I hit something once, there's another emblem. Okay, I'm liking this. I'm liking this method a lot. I completely robbed this method from Bodhi, by the way, but I feel like if it was less people, the melee would be super nice, but there's so many people that I think this is just the vibe for the 9 p.m. breaches. Took big damage. Not sure from what. Pretty sure Epic Air is on me. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna quickly bank. There was somebody enjoying some bolting situations on us. Mm -hmm. Be care on us again. It's funny how they always find me, huh? It's just the downside of having my name. I have to deal with it non-stop being attacked. 
still frozen. I'm still going for NPCs. I'm not gonna run. I'm getting good sled XP killing this. Might even get to 99, just chilling. There's an emblem. But I think all in all I'm getting more damage with this for sure. This guy keeps attacking me by the way, it's so boring. Let's see if he keeps going for me or not. I keep pumping, I'm just gonna not, not be phased. We got enough supplies to stick through this. Through this ragging. I think this breach would be really shit if I didn't do mage. Especially with all the attacking that's going on. Opa. Emblem. And weaponry. Nice. Another trinket. Nice. Oh, we got a trinket right in the end here. I think that's it. That's the timer. Yeah, this is a lot better. A lot, a lot better. The points are looking beautiful. The loot is looking great because I'm not running around, just hitting. I actually have time to hit loot, hit loot, hit loot. A bunch of trinkets, a bunch of emblems. This is going to be my new setup for the breaches. Shout out to Bodhi. I was, I mean, melee wasn't bad, but this is just better. Let's be honest. Okay, it is time to start planting these trees all around the game. So let's start by going here. I will start utilizing more of these. I really want to get my farming to 99 anyway, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem, hopefully. I mean, I have freeze escape and that's like my only escape. Otherwise, it's up downstairs and whatnot, but it's going to be a bit sketchy, but I don't think many PKers are PKing at the fruit tree patch wait something absolutely crazy just happened guys you will not believe it you guys remember this account yeah my my old account i'm turning it into a farming magic tree u tree account to farm absolutely ridiculous amount of money and i just pulled a beaver on 67 wood cutting and i'm absolutely dripped out on this account look at this absolute machine of a demon uh but yeah we got a pet our first pet and it's not even on the main account that is crazy and i'm just waiting for this papaya to grow chopping these two trees whilst we're at it that's crazy honestly all right, all the trees are planted and now I do think we're going to be doing a little bit of T.O.B. It's going to be spicy, it's going to be exciting. I'm a big noob when it comes to raiding in RuneScape, so a little bit of a learning curve for me as well. But I think we're going to have fun doing it. <laughs> this is where you guys turn on me, by the way. <laughs> that would be pretty smart, by the way. Because like, where the fuck do you go here? I'm going to send it through the door just to see how it behaves. Okay, so I can't start instantly. You have to talk with uh, Mr. Oh, Mr. I cannot go through this, so that's not an escape. I think maybe you should uh, hide and log out somewhere until he's coming back. Okay, I'll go to this corner right here. But I kind of prefer to just be logged in, by the way, than... Yeah, yeah, okay. Just somewhere that you don't get insta frozen. Yeah. We can also just chill in here and he can tell you, tell you yeah. it's clear when he's back. We're good to go. Yeah, I hope that with precision... I can catch all the freezes because... Uh, you should be able to, yeah, for sure. I have a cult, but I'm also... Uh... Do you have Zuriels as well, bro? You're chilling. So wait, what uh... happens if we were to wipe? Does everything go into the chest, right? Yeah. yeah. But then what happens? And then if we die again, we lose everything, right? Yeah, then... I think we just send it, honestly. Like, it's fucking T.O.B. What is the worst that can happen? I think you both take North. And I'll try to... Sounds good. Yeah, I'll have to skip the... Um... Yeah, I can just uh, solo hit the other one with no problem, by the way. I, I killed yeah, it so Yeah, the far. DPS was way too good, so like... Uh, this is stupidly strong, by the way. I think we can do this very fast. Yeah, there should be no problem skipping that. Yeah, there's good damage. Nice. Oh yeah, we should try to do it as fast as possible, because combat achievements are points, right? True. Yeah, I don't have salves, so... Yeah, neither do I, but I don't think we need it, I'll be honest. Okay, it's so crazy, I haven't done T.O.B. in so long, but this is such... That is actually fun to do with sigils. So we need to get this guy two down as well, right? Yeah, we could almost send it one down, but... Nah, that's a bit optimistic, I think. Yeah, uh, maybe. It would need to be, like, perfect. It's so random how this came to be, by the way, because I thought I just wouldn't do raids and stuff, because I never have people to do it with, or I don't know people. It's actually kind of cool. Okay, but, there uh, we go, two down, nice. Oh, I could just like uh, claw swipe, to be honest, instead of yeah, wasting. That's, yeah, that's the that's vibe. True. Yeah, this goes crazy, by the way. I don't need any other weapons. Wait, so how much stuff can you get at Nex? Or is Nex just too sketchy to do? Um, So Blazers is camping like outside the room. 
Ah, I see. Yeah. Could I accidentally school on one of you guys in here? <laughs> Imagine that, I just turned no. it fucking double claw. Yeah, it's guarded. That would be fucking hilarious. Can I do three when it procs? Yeah. Wait, if I just auto-click and I don't click off, it won't hit after it switches, right? Yeah, it uh, be targets. Okay, okay, good. Uh, this I might not be the best at. I don't really know how this works. Bro, the damage on this goes crazy. We're gaming. Oh my god, it's so satisfying when the claw attack speed goes through, by the way. Just gonna say, like, I might uh, need some food, because I'm fucking trolling. It's so hard to get, like, the rhythm when this shit procs perma. This is so easy, probably, to kill yourself in this room. Yep. Wait, it's 35% spec. I didn't troll it, right? Yeah, it's 35. This is where Ninja is really good. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, it's fine. We do this, no problem. Wait, he died. Yeah, he got uh, 70 treat. He should be dead now. Yeah. Okay, I'll brew up. And we hit once, right? Once here. Oh, I got stalled, so I'm just running. I think you, I think you did the right thing. The I did. Sigil just, the yeah. sigil left me behind, so I'm just taking it slow on the edges and t-bowing, okay? This is super chill to do. I love it. You good on food? Yeah, yeah, I just uh, want to stay potted. Wait, we got it, or? Yeah. Oh, nice. Let's go. Do I get any... No combat achievements. The fuck? Not bad. Oh, but I did get like almost 3000 points for this one clear, by the way. How crazy is that? Yeah, there's an entry mode as well, but it's only 25. But you get X20, so you get uh, I 500 think we should points. Do it. We should do it for sure. Yeah, it's 500 points for one entry. Yeah, that, that, it's definitely, that's like a 99 skill, uh, that's worth doing. So when you start, I can just insta enter, which is OP as fuck, I think. Theater of Blood entry mode, there's 12 tasks, by the way. Hey, yo. I live. <laughs> that's crazy, by the way. Okay. Oh, we got a task. Hey, no pillar, nice. That was yeah. uh, a bit fast. Before webs. There it is. Yeah, we got the... Nice, two tasks. Even the loot is not bad. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. The, the the best thing is, like, if we get jumped here, I guarantee you they jump on me. So you can just start and we go in. Yeah, hopefully. Nah, trust me. Like, they will go off you immediately. I've done stuff with people all the time and they always jump me. It's so fucking annoying, by the way. Nice. Nice. Oh, I got the can you dance. I don't know what it is, mm -hmm. but I got it. Watch me tank now and choke the entire raid. <laughs> the day I tank is the day we wipe, let me tell you. I'm really scared about tanking now though. Hey, let's go. Oh, we got we got the task. The speed chaser, yeah, we got it. I got an elite clue scroll. And two usage actually, that's really insane. Yeah, that's nice. That is really good. Uh, give me one sec, right back. So, basically, at this point, I clicked the mute button on OBS, and let's just say I was muted for a solid six hours. So here is all of that summed up in just a couple of minutes. So first, we sent some TOB. Just a regular run, nothing crazy. Got some decent loot, had a little reset, and went for another one. This one, we get a purple. We ended up pulling a Grazi Rapier, which arguably is the worst drop you can get from TOB. Still ended up selling it for 7 million though. After that, I was a bit complacent. I was waiting for my team members to start the raid, and I didn't notice Riss logging on right next to me. He jumped me in full max. I'm sitting there like a cow in my range void with absolutely no magic bonus, no magic defense. Ended up tanking for like, I don't know, 10, 20 minutes in the bank, but I had no magic bonuses to catch a freeze and escape. Especially when it comes to TOB, I cannot even exit the room or enter the raid whilst being attacked. So at that point, I basically just accepted my death, but props to Riz. I don't know how he managed to log in on the exact moment and get a hit off, but sometimes you can just be a little bit unlucky. So after the death, I was a little bit tilted. I lost the fury, I lost the bearing, I lost all the corrupted weapons. So I decided to train a little bit of skilling. Ended up getting all the way to 80 fletching. Also did a little bit of crafting. And then after all of that, I sold a bunch of stuff and got ready for another breach. 
I managed to end up pulling an emblem and right after that another Zuriel staff with another emblem, quickly took that to the bank, came out again, got jumped by an absolute demon that I couldn't even see attacking me and then I got absolutely chanced but I don't think his feral fighter proc'd so I was lucky to survive because my dumbass did not bring enough combo food, ended up getting out my escape, went to the bank, came back, got another Statius Warhammer, so second PvP weapon, this breach alone and then after we pulled one more emblem. So then we were contemplating what we wanted to do next and we decided we're going to send some armadil to work on some achievement diaries that both of us haven't completed yet but also it was my slayer task so it kind of made sense that I wanted to go back there. We ended up completing most of the achievement diaries we could and got rewarded with an armadil chain skirt in the end. And then we got jumped by a team yet again with VLSs and void wakers and we died for some dehydes. Okay, well, that was rough. We need to strategically open a few of these. So I'm trying to hit one of everything uh, because they go over your banky. So let's see. AGS, that's fine. It goes over the banky. Another AGS, that's not very good. <laughs> no way, man. No, and the claws. I'm getting complete shit. Okay, two mechan. I, I just wanted two mechan. Because I need it for the breach. And the, oh my god, four AGSs. That is disaster. Well, at least on a positive note, we did manage to sell an armadil chain skirt for 14 million. That's a nice little 7 million split. And it's gonna, well, pay for the dev, hopefully. This could be a huge moment for the account. There it is, 70 farming, but that's not all. With Sigil of Exaggeration, we should now be able to create magic trees. And that is now my new insane moneymaker when I just wanna AFK. Chop magic trees, I get five logs instead of one and I can turn it into very solid money. Gonna be making two of these, but for now I can still just plant my U, but I forgot a spade. It's actually so satisfying just coming here, getting a bunch of XP, and then I can also, well, this still needs to grow, but I'll plant one here for diaries, and then I'll plant one in Gnome Stronghold for diaries again. Whilst I'm waiting for my tree to nicely grow, I'm making every single potion available, like literally every single potion we can, and we're all the way to 84 herb already. I'm thinking herb is gonna be the 99 that's gonna be easy to get, obviously fishing, cooking, easy 99s to get. I'm thinking fletching is gonna be a nice 99, woodcutting is gonna be a nice 99, to get Slayer obviously at some point and then the rest we will see maybe we will trade it maybe we will not points are looking all right I mean I haven't done anything crazy I can go around the game and kill one of every boss for a bunch of points but sitting on 92,000 rank 16 at the moment it's not bad I think it's pretty decent but we're gonna keep on grinding points look at it it is beautiful, the magic tree, the highest level tree we will ever get to chop. All right, we got a little triple clue situation going on. Start off with a beginner for nothing. Moving on to easy for some black G and bucket helm. We take those. And lastly, hard. Okay, a master clue. Alongside a Sarah Plitzkirt, which is also good. Oh no, it's a Joral step. I need to complete a clue scroll. I mean, a quest for that one. All right, then. Breach is starting in two minutes. We're starting on 92,560. Today's goal is to get like 2,000 points. If I can get 2,000 points in a singles breach, that would be nice. Obviously, it's borderline impossible. Too many people and whatnot, but we'll try our best. See where it gets us. Uh, we got a trusted Dorgi out here uh, and we're going in our mage setup again. Ninja, Precision, Titanium. We'll see how it goes. Eh, I'm being picked. Bro, we just started. Are you serious? I hope I can just stay. Nah, he's still on me, I think. Yeah, I'm being the last right now. It's so boring, by the way. Let's get a thrall and go again. Let's see if I can hit instantly again. Hey, trinket an emblem. And another emblem. And another emblem. We're getting all of them. Oh my god, and another emblem. I think I'm taking this. 
I'm just gonna tab and come back. I have too many emblems on me, so it's a bit too risky. Yeah, I'm being attacked again. Maybe I need to go more in the mass. Oh, emblem trinket, nice. Another tier 5. Dude, I'm getting so many. Dude, these 12, 12 breaches are usually the best for points. I think we're doing pretty well here. Another emblem. Oh my goodness. Toad flex. I think that's it. Okay, probably made absolutely ridiculous money on this one. I was trying to gather some sort of herbs that I can then turn into potions for my 99 herb whilst I was still attacking. Uh, we ended on nearly 95,000 points. So I think that was a pretty successful breach. And we got a bunch of emblems. So honestly, cannot complain with this one. Got attacked like twice but easy thanks so pretty happy with this i'm gonna get some rest now because you know the breach is over i need some rest how many emblems do we have right now i have 63 tier fives <laughs> i feel like that's worth a lot of money i'm not even gonna lie uh, but yeah i'm gonna call it here for a bit and uh, i'm getting some rest <laughs> this is a quick reminder to let you know that you should probably subscribe all right did a bit of chilling got to 85 fletching and this is actually super good money by the way look I've been selling magic short bows for 2.5k each, basically. So every single log we get, we get 2.5k, right? After a little bit of time. So as we chop one magic tree, we get five logs. Basically for one chop, I get 10,000 coins. And that's AFK. So that's what I was saying when I said that this is a pretty decent AFK moneymaker and I stick by it. However, at this point, once we reach 85, I do believe the play is to do magic longbows. And then you can also high alg these, I think for a decent amount. But this give a little bit more XP, so it's probably what I will end up making from here on out. Unless all my MSBs sell. But yeah, gonna move on to new skills. I'm just kind of shuffling at this point because I don't have enough resources to fully commit to one skill. Uh, but let's say enough fletching for now i'm also gonna now utilize all of my herbs that i pulled from the last breach so if i always juggle stuff like that i will eventually have 99 herbler because at the breach now that i'm using magic i can hit loot hit loot hit loot and i always try to prioritize herbs because herbs are money right now and money is experience. So that's what we're gonna do, going for 99 herblor as well. We are beginning the breachman mode in one minute again. Ninja Titanium Precision, if I wasn't non-stop attacked, I would have switched Titanium with Aggression, uh, but that one is then very risky because every mob in the game can hit you very hard, you have a double Kriara spawn and you don't pray range, you're most likely dead. So yeah, this one is a safe option, good amount of points, we're gonna start on 94,983. Think of it, we start on 95,000 and we'll see where we get to. First emblem. Another emblem. Another emblem. Third one. Hey, another emblem. Don't have much restores left, but there's only one minute left, so... I'm just gonna commit to the full breach. Mm, okay, big air on me. Think we're good. Think he would have stayed. That is it. And I think this was a really good breach. This was the first one where I stayed start to finish. And it looks like I got, I don't remember, almost 2,000 points, I think. And this is a 9 p.m. breach. So this is the one with the most people usually. So pretty solid herb situation. Lots of dwarf wits, lots of torstor, lots of avanto. This is really nice bag. Can probably finish off at least 90 herb. And we also got a bunch of emblems, a lot of money. So all in all, a very good breach. Probably gonna do a little bit more skilling now because it is peak time. All the PKers are out. And uh, during the night time, we go do a bit of PVMing. I'm gonna quickly change this to Catherby, I think. There we go, we now have a Catherby teleport in the bank. So I don't need to go to Camelot. This one should be a bit easier to do. And it's very close to the bank, so pretty solid TP to have, honestly. Oh my goodness, it's beautiful, look at it. It's a healthy tree, 75 farming. We no longer need the boost to plant our uh, magic stuff. And I believe if I yoink this, see now I should get plus 5, plus 5, plus 5. Which actually also is decent profit, funnily enough. Uh, not that I care about that right now. But yeah, plan is definitely 99 farming at some point. Money, boom. 
Wait, I don't even get a level? Wait a second. Is this actually kind of slow, maybe? I get 100k experience. I think it's gonna take quite a while, you know? Uh, so I really need to start buying this. Maybe I should look into Mahogany's as well before it's too late. We'll see. Okay, that one's a level for sure. Hey, and we got a Hespori as well. At some point, we'll kill uh, Hespori also. It's good points. I didn't think about that. That's actually pretty solid. All right, skilling session going pretty well. Up to 90 herb. I don't think I have enough supplies for more, but that's a nice milestone. All right, I have done enough skilling. We are now going to try to do some combat diaries. And I'm looking at stuff that gives points, but isn't really camped because it's still peak time. And I figured out that uh, maybe the ranged archaeologist would be a good start. All we have to do is get 25 kill count. We'll get a little bit of points for this guy, uh, but it should be quite quick I'm gonna take a look at what sigils to take probably menacing mage So I never need to use any supplies and we should be okay Don't tell me I also need the rake, bro. Can I drop this? Bruh. Why is that not a thing like why do I not know? I think it should be here. Yeah there it is. The ranged archaeologist. High combat level. Should be fairly simple to kill. I shouldn't be getting hit by those. If I want to get achievement tasks done. Let's take a look at the points. And we get a bit of points. Not bad. Okay, there's the part where you dodge all of his attacks. And now he's just about getting 25 kill count. There is the Rage Archaeologist Novice, so that's 10 kill count, and the last one is just 15 more, ki more kill count and we're done. There it is, that should be everything we can get from this boss, and we got a little bit of points in the process. This one gives very small amount of points, uh, but just to double check, there it is. The Ranged Archaeologist is now greened out, so we can get out of here. I do think we're planning a TOA run, but we will see if that comes through or not. Next step on the list is completing quests, so I can then complete my clue scrolls, because clue scrolls are amazing rewards most of the time. So let's go ahead and go to the outpost, and hopefully not die. Uh, you have now completed the making history, a little bit of prayer, crafting coins, and the enchanted key. Okay, so... I think that's all I need to do. If I speak to Jordan now, he should give me the... Hey, there we go. Now we have the strange device. I don't need to do this mini quest, so... Okay, so now I need to figure this out. I thought I had the plugin that shows. We'll see. Okay, that's a PK here. I hope it's not this. Oh wait, but I have the, that quest done, so we should be okay. I think my gear's fine to kill the mage. I have the clue scroll up. I hope it's a one-stepper. If it's a two-stepper, I am probably screwed. All right, this would be absolutely amazing if this was the reward. It's a bit of a slow kill, but it should be all right. I'm just gonna double check. Bloodhound, 75% chance. Come on. This could be it. This is so sad. Why is it a two-stepper? I need to go to fucking Zulandra, man. I don't have the quests for that. Oh, that's tilting. That means I would need to do the underground pass and all of that. But I do need to eventually do all of that. Because I also need to kill Zolra for points. But I don't want to do that, man. Let me see if I can actually just do this straight up. Mm, we need to complete the regicide. So it's only regicide. I think we can do it. Hey, there we go. Regicide is now done. And we got a bit of agility XP, a little bit of coins. Took me 50 minutes, the last, or 40 minutes, the last recall made this one quite a lot faster, so you don't need to go through the underground pass twice. I believe now I have what it takes to go on and complete the clue scroll, so let's get ready to do that. Nah, fuck that shit, bro. <laughs> Fuck that shit. I mean, I have a last recall, so I can probably just fix this here and then go there. But that's sketchy as hell, man. <laughs> yeah, I've solved the puzzle, but I don't want to go back, man. I'll worry about Zoldera the next time. I don't want to deal with it right now. Uh, Okay, we ended up finishing the clue. Oi, oi, oi. All right, here we go. This is big. This is hard to do. So here's the master casket. We did a bunch of questing for this one. Could it be something insane? 
What is uh, dra- Samurai Boots? I don't know, man. Samurai Boots is that good? Uh, listen, listen. I don't know, man. Here it goes to the collection. I don't think they give any stats, but wait, let me check. Oh, they do a little bit of stats. I don't know if that's good or not. Okay, so this quest is equally, equally scary because look how many items I can't have. But let's begin. This place is multi with snakes. Crazy. It's actually crazy they put... I, I don't know. As a kid, I was scared of this place. There's so many snakes in the hole. Yeah, but this is where I need to go for the clue scroll. So now I can do this, but let's finish the quest because we are basically at the end. And there it is. Spirits of the Elite completed. Prayer, thieving, magic. And we can now pray here. I wonder if I can pray here whilst being attacked. Uh, let's say if I'm praying. Could I technically be attacked here and just non-stop pray? Because it also gives you HP. So this would be like, this would be funny. Okay, you lose rope every time you come here. So that's good to know. And we got an elite casket as well, which is wonderful. So all of this hard work actually paid off because we get a reward. Was it worth it? I don't know. We will, uh, we will take a look and see. No, what? Another gilded? This doesn't even look like gilded. What? I this is the second gilded pool we've had this deadman mode. Gilded scimitar and gilded spear. <laughs> what? That is crazy. Let's see how it looks. I have never had a... Oh, it's just straight up golden. But it, it's, it, this has to be the ugliest gilded piece ever. So I was unaware, but I have heard that the pages go for a lot on this game. So let's just see. Let's just see. No way. One million. Bro, I didn't know. One million. <laughs> <gasps> I didn't know. I was lacking crucial information. 1.5? The fuck? This is so crazy. I did not know. Pages are insane on this game. Do you guys wanna place bets? I'm gonna die again today. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, die. I, dude, I 100% I will find a way to die, bro. Dude, look at us. Jumping stones. There's, there's someone inside with a skull. Which call? Don't enter, don't enter. Yeah. Yeah, tp, 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 tp. I think we just chill a bit. I'm gonna train agility, dude. It's gonna be great. Okay, it's... Can I go in through the cutscene? Yeah. Okay, going. Do you see my character inside right now? No, I actually don't see your character. Yeah. So you are hidden. Can you see my character outside? I don't think so, I think you are instant. Okay, wait, now I'm going out. Uh, you're not outside then. You're I'm inside, inside now, I'm inside. Yeah, you're inside. So what do I need to do now? Speak to... You, uh, no, you this. just uh, inspect the grouping obelisk and you join my party. Is there a such thing as teleport out here or if we wipe, we're naked You can again? teleport with uh, anything inside. The okay, game. good. Yeah, we can go. All right, please send it. Tap the yeah, just enter. Tap I tabbed. I tabbed. You tabbed? Okay. Yeah, I'm not risking it again. Yeah, I tapped. All right. Because I was clicking to enter and it didn't enter and I'm not dying the same way. <laughs> like... Yeah, you have to wait for me to enter. Yeah. But yeah, it's better to tap. I think so too. I'm not going to get complacent again. True. It's better that it happens now though than when we come out. Because when we come out of the raid, we have less supplies. That's true. So what's but the game such... plan now? I don't know, but it's such a struggle to raid. Like... Yeah, it's so no, I didn't even record any of that. Ah, uh, uh, I have Trinket of Fairies on. Ah, it's it's fine. So you might need to coach me a bit, by the way. Yeah, so here we just take the water container. Uh, yeah, you should not be going the same path as oh, I am. Oh, okay. Because it's going to be empty. I see. So what happens if I were to get hit by this? Um, You lose some HP, but... Like, uh, if you have water in the container, then you also lose uh, some of the water. Oh, and I just need to do this over and over again. Okay. Yeah, so here you just... Uh, the damage is on impact, so you only have to prey on impact. Ah, it's so weird that they added the on impact stuff, but it, I kind of like it. Yeah, it's better. You just have to dodge. But uh, be careful because um, there's also a drag tile. You can only be 10 tiles away from the boss. Yeah, yeah. makes sense. Clear out so we can stand behind these rocks. Because it's gonna do a special attack. 
it saved three tiles behind, like the three tiles behind the rock. Yeah, but it's just really low chance. Okay. And you have to dodge here. Now there's gonna spawn a ranger and swarms. So what do I do with this? Uh, here you can just, uh, yeah, I blow pipe the swarms. You can uh, hit the ranger. I guess here is where you'd say MSB would be good, yeah. Yeah. So now the shield is gone, like twice, and now it's just to kill it. And go it's so turn. crazy because my first run was on like 300 something invocation and was, yeah, it was so easy compared. Yeah, it was fun to say the least, you know. I don't really know what is supposed to do here. Yeah, when, when it's green, you want to click the seal from one tile away because then you like cheese it. Oh, actually, the I other cannot... one, you, yeah. you just I, I grieved more, so uh... hard actually. But yeah, um, now you want to click the obelisk. Yeah, so if you click there, you you see I get the hit spread one mm. cycle earlier. Don't don't stand in the path, don't stand in the path. Where am I supposed to stand? Just far away from the boss. Okay. I just realized. Hey, what's going on? I'm confused. Yeah, uh, this is my bad. I will just complete the room. I put on the wrong invocation, I just realized. Okay, now it's... Uh, oh. This phase. Oh, I'm de -seeing. I'm de-seeing. It's de fine. Yeah, it's fine. No, but like you're I'm gonna... really de -seeing. Yeah, yeah, but you're gonna reconnect inside the TOA anyways. Really? Yeah, yeah. What the oh, fuck? Oh, next next also DC'd. What the fuck? I think it was... I don't know, that's sketchy as fuck. I think it was the world or something. But I didn't have any likes. Are you sure I log in inside? You need a member. I, I ran out of membership, bro. Oh, really? Yeah. No, wait, this is the wrong account. Never mind. I'm logging back in, but I swear if I died like this, like... Like the whole team has to wipe Yeah, I'm outside, for, I'm uh, outside. I okay, TP'd I the way. <laughs> the one time we actually can play the game, we can't. Imagine... I'm dissing again, I think. Yeah, I'm dissing again. Also, I'm just gonna put on on a diet so that you can't use food inside, only brews. Uh, because we need the food till we're outside anyways, like, it doesn't matter. So do you want me to not take manta rays, just brews or...? No, you bring the manta rays, it's okay, for tanking okay. when you get out. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, it's fine. Don't any... Oh, you get healed after the room, okay. Yeah, also gonna work. Yeah, we did. I don't have it, so I would assume. Yeah. Wait, that's it. So here, um, there's like gonna be events happening. One person has a sight. So now it's vents. I see that the vents are glowing. Or there's a school. So you have to put the potion in the vents. But I'm doing two vents now. Pillars. So I'll do two pillars and uh, he will do one. What is so yeah, now room is over. Now we don't have to do anything. Yeah, only when he throws the boulders, you have to stand by the rock. Yeah, when I did this room first time, I got heated into the hole. Like, to not get into the gap, you just need to, like, be on the sides. Yeah, you just sit on the side. Yeah, I don't know what to do here. This is where I died. Uh, yeah, here you just attack the pillar. I need a little bit of help, because I don't know what I need to do. Yeah, just stand on this tile. So you see the bombs, you have to, like, run from them, or you can stand, um, like, in a plus formation next to them. Now we just kill the core and we go over to stage 3 or phase 3. And now you start on the right side, and then on 80% he's gonna spawn some orbs or skulls. And now you just stand on the right side. On insanity it's gonna keep going from where it left, but now it's always gonna be safe on the right side. Now you have to dodge boulders as well. Now this is uh, phase 4, like the last phase. Now you just gotta dodge everything and deal damage. And Wait, that's it? That's it? Yeah, that's it. Wait, but why do we have so much space to step on? Oh yeah, you see the TOA points? It says you have 1.12% chance for unique. Uh, oh, here, okay. Yeah. And that's time and 4. Have... Okay. Yeah. We get a lot Spoiling. of points though. Oh my god, 1500 just for that. Yeah. The fuck? So now it's just like, we pre-pot and we go again. I changed it to normal now. Okay. Or I added some more invocations. Wait, I DC'd. Wait, Never mind, I had the huge like, yeah. I yeah, think I'm me DC. too. Yeah, me too. We're all DC'ing, I think. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, we all DC'd. I think we call it here then, huh?
Yeah, servers are fucking shit. But do we do the... Oh, wait, we're back? Yeah, the spam teleport. Yeah, I don't think I'll be back. Oh, yeah, I just I'm got in, logged I'm out. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm tipping out, yeah. Yeah, you got the teleport. Yeah, I got logged out. Yeah, fuck this shit, man. A little breach situation starting in one minute. Oh yeah, starting points, 98,400. Oh, Morgan throwing axes, nice. Another emblem there, oi, oi, oi. This one might be insane. Another emblem, holy. Another emblem, what? Another emblem. Trinket of advanced weaponry. Another emblem. Another emblem, what? I mean, I have to bank, right? I don't wanna bank, but it's right here. Let's do it fast. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven emblems. What the fuck? Oh, PK jumped us. Is he on me still? I think so. Ah, why me, bro? Oh, emblem down there. And another one. Another emblem. So many. Another emblem. What's going on? I think it's over now. Oh my god, I got like 5,000 points. That was crazy. Ladies, gentlemen, I was about to go to sleep. I put an offer in. Dexterous prayer scroll, 45 million for this beautiful prayer scroll. Starting points 102.2. Let's see if we can get a lot of points today. First emblem, second emblem. I need to be careful if I even want to risk food for those. I mean, I do, but like, I don't, you know what I mean? Another emblem, another emblem, okay, and another one, another emblem, I'm gonna do a strategic decision here, and bank, another emblem, oh my goodness, so much loot, two emblems, trinket, at this point I'm just uh, <laughs> leaving them on the floor until I, until like the last moment basically. Ah, I got double slot. And I got a tab out before he even got a barrage through. Okay, one more bank. It's one minute left though, so it's gonna be hard to get anything else. But that's why I always have combo food, always be ready and then spam click. Because, I mean, he went for a double claw and then I got a TP off before he even switched to mage. And got one more hit off, so... That was pretty nice TP, and the claw was nicely eaten as well, so not bad. Let's take a look at the points. 104,800 is uh, where we're leaving off, which I think is maybe around 3,000 points. That's not the best, not the worst, I'd say, but uh, yeah, pretty solid. Lots of money made again. Not bad. I'm just gonna go back to sleep here, and I'll be back in a bit. Oh my god. God, I've been recording the wrong fucking screen this whole time. I was uh, recording the wrong scene on OBS for a very long time. So let me sum it up what I've been up to. I've been killing Verion, killed 20 Verion. Then we went to Venenares, killed 20 Venenares. I also ended up killing Nightmare. And safe to say, I'm absolutely tilted out of my mind right now because I've just been recording my woodcutting account and this is just so depressing. Whatever, we're doing Venenaris, we're farming points. This is the last kill and then we go bear. I think so, yeah. We are now killing Venenaris and we're just looking for combat achievements on all the wildy bosses. We've already completed Vedion, but now the plan is to finish Venenaris. Nice 20 that. kill count. Okay, well, I really need to stop accidentally recording the wrong scene on OBS, but let me sum it up very quickly as to what just happened. We went and we killed Verion, and we got just nice 20 kill count to complete both of the tasks. No good drops whatsoever, very simple boss, pray melee, hit boss, kill boss. 
Then we went to Venenatis and we just killed it 20 times as well. Once again, extra points. And we ended up pulling a Trigenous ring, which is not worth very much. And now we're gonna go kill the bear and hopefully get some good drops there. Once again, we're gonna probably just kill 20 for combat achievements and then move on to another boss. Is he back? Oh. You just gotta barrage him and play range, I think. I forgot I have Rigor now. Oh, same. I was using Eagle Eye. What the fuck? <laughs> One. Got slammed by a 50. And dodged the trap. What the hell? I can't even do the under? Nah, bro. Yeah, but he's focusing me, that's why. Nah, he's AoE. He's Look, hitting it. Uh, this is probably magic hit, see? right? Can't do shit. Try playing. Five. Try playing mage, maybe. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I think you play mage on that one. Sure. Okay, first KC. Huge. Bro, <laughs> eat my boy. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> No, you're getting fucked this hard. <laughs> he only uses a special on me. There is like, no way, He's not gonna focus me. He's gonna look at me and just throw the special. I actually me. don't believe it. Like, how are you alive right now? Wait, did he plank? Yeah, he hit me a 53. <laughs> I didn't even see. <laughs> Wait, I'll bury your bones, bro. I got you. <laughs> yeah, I needed food anyway. I, I was <laughs> almost out. There is no fucking way. I received the job still. Yeah, you got the KT, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. This is a quick reminder to let you know that you should probably subscribe. Limpurt root, crazy. That's an 8. I don't know how the fuck this works, I'll be honest. Yeah, I should probably have like 5 tiles away from the walls marked. So you never step behind them. Okay, don't step under. <laughs> He hits you like twice. And I still have so many supplies. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's like three tiles, it bumps you back. So you just can't get hit into a wall. Dude, if you step into the trap, it's a, it does the barrage sound effect. Do we, st do we stay one? No, 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 we send. I am yeah, completely out. And I need to get a evil. Yeah, the breaches are what's keeping it going, to be honest. Yeah, but are they just gonna do breaches next time? Like, well, it's actually change? breaches and points that is keeping it going. Exactly. It's the points, I think. Yeah, but I think it, it's it, the points, it, yeah. like the PVM and skilling. Every, every, they, normally it's just PKing the entice, and now they made skilling PVM and everything. Yeah, and that's why it's alive, because you need you can't have DMM with only PVPers. It won't work. You need to have PV, healthy PV as well, I think. Yeah. Uh, the nice. game's the fuck, you mean? We got 10 kills, 10 more, and we're out. Wait, did I just die now? No, oh didn't. my, that was close. Like I was camping low. Hey, trade me quick, trade me quick. <laughs> I gave you all my food. If you want, you can share with them. Okay, thank you. This guy just brought us fighting. <laughs> so oh, many what sharks, dude. <laughs> what is going on? Ah, oh, shit. What the <laughs> fuck? Yeah, thanks for the sharks, bro. Why did they fall him? I just got here, man. <laughs> I just see you running. Take a 50. Take a 40. <laughs> oh man. Now we're nasty for not freezing when it went for him. Like, If he's not going for me, I'm Yeah, I noticed that, man. <laughs> so I'm like brewing, restoring, trying to freeze, brewing, restoring, trying to freeze. And you're like, hmm, where's your food, bro? <laughs> there is no way. This is it. This is the drop. Yeah, snap dragon I, I was kidding. I just died outside. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I had to poison. Dude, I, I don't believe you, like... <laughs> I did. I actually did. This guy's a comedian, man. There it is. We're done. Alright, and that is the last boss we had to do in the wilderness. 20 kill count, got all the diaries. So we've killed all the three bosses. The rest is just singles, really. Uh, I'll figure out, I think the breach is in 15 minutes, we're gonna go ahead and do that, and then we will, I guess, see what we do next. There we go. Nice, thank you. Mahogany logs, and we get hot on your feet because of the task as well, and a bunch of points, right? Nice, that's huge. Thank you. Do you wanna do another? Yeah, we can. Onyx bolts, nice. It's good loot. All right, bridge is starting in one minute. Start of the points, 107,000. Let's see what we get to. 
Yeah, this is gonna be sketchy, let me tell you. There is way too many people killing these mobs. So good thing we're not doing melee anymore because we would get absolutely zero kills. Oh, I got one emblem. Let's go. Trinket. Someone yoinked it. Hey, another emblem finally. Okay, quick bank. Get a few more restores out and we go again. Dude, it's a complete mess out here. Opa, little Zuriel staff situation we just got. Nice, let's go. Hmm, we have PK on us. Now we're gonna need to try and escape here. It's a problem when you can't tell who's hitting you. Okay. Okay, we lose a little bit of time, but we escape, we go right back. Hoppa. Okay, yeah, it's hard, there's a lot of people, so I think we only got a thousand five hundred points maybe. Uh, so not the best, not the worst, we'll deal with it. Did end up getting a Zuriel though, which is pretty decent. Are we gonna do max points or we just wanna... One is for uh, three thousand points. I think we, we do that one last. Pay. Yeah. That one last. We, we do everything else stuff. first and then the last one we do that. So what's the coconut oil? Yeah, it's at the entrance. You see those boxes? You gotta pick it up. You sure it's coconut oil? Bro, how it's are right we there, so man. fucking shit at right this here, game, by the way? But yeah, this is good fletching XP as well. Good fletching, yeah. That's... This is this is really good XP for and everything. And probably... I don't know about corn, but yeah. Fire making. Like, it's really good XP. There you go. I got the... Oh, I got like two achievements for that. From 50% we all do the same. There we uh... go. I'm banking. Then I'm gonna pull crazy beast of the first three. I already know. So we're doing some winter Todd with the boys right now, trying to get as many combat achievements as possible. Uh, we already got a bunch from just killing it the first time. And we can get some crates for usage. Oh my god, that's so good by the way. These are 150k right now. <gasps> Dude, that's a million! And some burnt pages as well. That is really good. We're gonna probably utilize this for our farming training and I have too much stuff in my bank. We shouldn't get the achievement now. Yeah, yeah, yeah we got yeah, it. And we got, nice. we got cozy as well. Yeah, wait, cozy and leaving no one behind, right? Nice. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Okay. Y fletch. Nice. Okay, we ended up getting a couple of crates and right as we left, people came in so it's no longer safe, so to say. Uh, so I'm happy to have it done. Uh, obviously, we need more kill count, which is just 5 and 10. But we got one with a lot of points. So one of these crates will be good reward. So let's take a look. Bunch of pages, which is solid. Watermelon seeds, not the greatest. Yeah, I'm gonna need like bank space for these because these were done with a lot of rewards. Brumatorch, that's the first unique. Not really very good. This one was bad. This one was not the best, and this one was not the best. Okay, so loot-wise, not ideal, but point-wise, pretty decent. We are now up to almost, yeah, 109k points, basically ranked 70. Everybody likes the one room crafting, I don't like it anymore. So I'm gonna do a little tech right now, because I'm just kind of chilling. It's uh, peak time. We have last recall in our inventory. We just did one quick trip, got to level 7. Uh, but what I'm gonna do right now is... I will simply go Falador Park and wait until my last recall is available, do other type of skilling, then quickly last recall, do full inventory and then quickly uh, come back. And that's basically how I'm gonna train runecrafting without training runecrafting. Maybe I will die because I'm bringing no food when I will do this, but maybe we'll be completely fine. So for example, this is how it's gonna look like. I'm gonna hover if there's no red dots, boom and out, just like that. And we're now up to 13 and then we do other type of skilling for, I don't know, 3-4 minutes and then we do it all over again. 
So there's 92 herb. I've just been making all sorts of potions from the herbs I got from the breach. And alongside I was basically rune crafting every time my last recall was available. So we went from 1 to 31 rune crafting. I think 50-ish is my goal for now. I'm still just doing uh, air, but I know it's not the best, but I just have it set up for air. And once again, I just grab it, boom, go here, boom, be ready to TP out if needed, boom, and then boom. That's how we do it, uh, but I'm gonna probably change locations soon. I'm currently in a skilling mood, so I equipped Enhanced Harvest, Remote Storage and Infernal Smith, and I'm just gonna be doing a little bit of Iron Rocks until I get both Mining and Smithing level up, and then I'm gonna start multi-skilling it with the room crafting when I feel like it. I'm once again only doing this during the very peak time, because, well, not really much you can do when there's pick airs just about everywhere. There's probably better places out there, but I'm just trying to get 60 so I can get to the mining guild. Hey, there's level 60 mining, and we can now enter the mining guild, which should help. We got from, what, 20-something smithing to 45, not even training smithing, because sigils are broken. And I'm gonna quickly take a look at the mining guild, see if there's anybody inside. It should be a little easier to do the three iron ore. I will not stay on iron ore too long. It's just temporary thing right now that we're doing. But let's go ahead and take a look. I mean, there's four right here. Can I enter this place? There's a guy there. Can I do a little bit of uh... Good. Now it's my spot. <laughs> okay, this is gonna come back to bite me at some point. Uh, but this is my spot now, so let's see how it goes. Alright, there it is. Got to 70 mining, 60 smithing. We're gonna call it here, but I really do enjoy the, the auto banker with 5 eggs bars. So we ended up actually making a very decent amount of steel bars that are now in our bank. Okay, so I'm doing a little bit of Calvarian right now. I really like the multi version of this boss. So I figured maybe I will like the single version of this boss as well. And I need to get one kill anyways, but maybe I'll do it a little bit more. And that's the kill. And I forgot a looting bag. Okay, nice. I'm also gonna quickly leave this. Oh, you actually exited right here. Okay. I will just do it in this inventory and go ahead and kill the easier Venenaris as well. There we go. That's more points. That is Spindle defeated. And that is the little Artyo defeated. He's so tiny and cute. Oh my god, I got Tyrannical Ring on the first KC. How much is that? Yeah, it's like cheap, it's like useless. Uh, but we killed all of these and we are now on over 110 points. Okay, we're entering a very sketchy territory here. I have a little bit of anti-PK gear on, but very, very little. But this is the fella we're trying to kill here. Okay, so that's one kill count. Oh, we got a brew and a shark. I do believe I need to kill 10 of this without using a prayer potion. So it's gonna take me a little bit of time, but I can use the altar down here to recharge my prayer. Oh, that's a good drop from this guy. That is a solid, pretty much 500k. I need to kill five more for this task without using a potion. That should do it, I hope. Yeah, there we go. So 10 kills without uh, clicking the prayer potion. Very good. How is there no one in here? Don't think I have the best sigils on, but at least I got one kill. Okay, so this is pretty fast points, but very scary. But I'm gonna change my sigils around a bit. Oh, that's bad. That is really bad. We're gonna have to do some finessing here. Why are you here, brother man? <laughs> might have to, st might have to book it. This is where I wish I had the PvP set with me.
Might have to just fight it out. Oh shit, he has VLS here. Okay, bro, chill. Okay, I'm booking it. We are booking it south. Sometimes spamming lol is funny in a situation like this. He caught that very fast. If I freeze him now, there we go. Okay, uh, I'll be logging in in seven hours. See you later, boys. If he's camping on Australian world, I'd rather fight it out on the I'll just go back in German and if he's here, well played to him. He's actually still here, that's crazy. I mean, I don't know. What the, I think they, they have people camping every world. That's gonna be my guess. Maybe I gap him. No. Problem. Oh, I have this. Okay. I just need to check. Oh, it's a different guy, or? Wait, I have a... Oh no, I have a charge one. So I just need to be smart and I'll be okay. But I'm not being smart right now. If I get to this cave, I'm okay. One, two, three. Edgeville. There and there. I got hit by that guy. What a crazy tank, what a crazy escape. In a fucking PvE gear, this shit is a movie, man. But I got out. That is, I should not be alive, let me tell you. Uh, I'm just gonna chill until the breach, which is in one hour. My gear, the fact that I made it out. I don't even know, but what am I doing? Okay, after that encounter, we are doing one hour of skilling and then we're doing the breach. And this time I'm moving over here so I can do cosmic runes. Guys, let me tell you, I sacrificed all my emblems. I have insane money maker right now. Brews are selling for 10k each. I'm not, I'm no mathematician, but I have 144 million points. You know how many brews I can buy with that? I don't know, but I think a lot. So let me go do a bit of selling. All right, it is about time we do one of those. So restoration pool, upgrade, stamina pool. And that would already be enough, but I'm gonna upgrade it all the way. Aside from this, this is useless. Maybe this is kind of useless as well. Rejuvenation, fancy rejuvenation. This is expensive, so I'm not gonna bother with it. Breach is in 10 minutes, and I bought a bunch of magic saplings for 200k each, so 
1 million per 3 run, but I want to make sure I get 99 farming because it is a zero time skill. So there is 78 farming. Okay, I have three minutes until the breach and I think I've planted all my trees. Maybe I get to 80 farming. The goal is 85, but eventually 99 as well. So let's see, maybe this tree is up and it is, there we go. Bang, that's a big 80. And let's get ready for the breach. Points at the start of the breach, 110,000. I'm hoping to go above 113,000. However, since the merge of the worlds, it is so hard to get points. First emblem. So much loot up here. Nobody can pick it up unless you have telegram. <laughs> Look at this. Opa, a little emblem. Oh, Kriara in the hill. And another emblem. Okay, pick air on me. Just don't give him a chance. There we go. Always work out your escapes. We still got four minutes left. Oh my God, that was insane loot in the looting bank. Points are up to 112k with 3 minutes to go. Bro, how sick would breaches be if the mobs instead of 500 health had like 5000 or 50,000 health? Like, I think that would be so sick. So you could like really take long time killing each mob. Did we reach it? Almost 113k. This one was so many people and uh, it is 4 a.m. so I didn't expect this many people to turn up but still all right we're still doing very good on the leaderboards if I check right now we are currently at rank 17. Okay so let's see Yeah, that seems like a, a lot better XP. And then I can do this. Can't right now, here, and then we can do more smithing. All right, we're up to 70 smithing, 43 room crafting. Still just chilling after the breach, probably gonna go sleep soon, but you know, these are actually profit and good XP. So that's what we're doing first. Good morning. Definitely did not have enough sleep, but the breach is in one minute, so have to wake up, do the breach, and then go back to sleep. That's basically RuneScape nowadays. Uh, yeah, this this breaches uh, definitely mess up with somebody's sleep pattern a bit, but that's okay. As always, gonna go with Mage, see how it goes. First emblem. Mm. We got a trinket. Mm. Another trinket, another emblem. Cool, cool, cool. Hey, emblem. Okay, pick air on us. Pick air off us, I think. I just got a Vesta Spear. Okay, well, that's crazy. Pick air on us, get Vesta Spear, and insta TP. Let's bank it, go again. Another emblem, another emblem, another emblem, another emblem, another one. I'm getting a lot. Another emblem. People are not really looting a lot in this world, so I'm getting an absolute feast out of the amount of herbs I'm collecting. Morrigans. Oh, I actually got Morrigan jabs from the global table. That's crazy. Nobody looted them. That's like 6 mil or something. Dude, this world has so much loot just laying around. So I'm just shoot, loot, shoot, looting. That's it. I'm gonna dip before I get hit. Let me just double check if I got the Morrigans. I did get the Morrigans, nice. That is actually really good. Uh, that was a pretty decent breach. We're up to 
thousand points. I think we started on 112, so it was probably around 3k. I don't think I checked exactly how many points I had, but we got a Vesa Spear and we got a Morrigan's, uh, whatever these are called. Uh, so these are pretty good and obviously Spear is uh, not bad at all. So uh, decent, I'm gonna go back to sleep and I'll be back a bit later. Actually, I think logical thing to do before going back to sleep is to do the farm run. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that first. And that's 85, which means the farming guild is all of a sudden quite safe because I can enter the northern part. So let's go ahead and uh, visit the farming guild as well. And now that we have level 85 farming, I'm also gonna start doing my daily Hesporis. Uh, one is already planted and probably fully grown, so I'm just gonna gear up, look at the tasks, and see if I can get a nice fast kill. Okay, let's go ahead if we can give this a shot. I'm going with Consistency Feral and Feral, hoping I get Perma Prox, and the task is to kill it in under 36 seconds, I believe. Okay, we got one task. I don't know if I'm fast enough for the fastest one, but I'll try to get a kill with Claws, which is another task. Uh, yeah, not fast enough, not nearly fast enough, so we'll have to do this again. But we should get really good XP here. 126,000, and we get a new seed and the mahogany seed as well, which is good. I'll come back, plant another one, and then I can finally... Oh, then I need to do the mahogany trees as well, and then I think I can finally chill. No, these are not grown yet. But I think I can log out here and just wait. 4 out of 9. They might actually not be grown yet. I'm still gonna log out here, get some rest, and then uh, we continue when I wake up. <laughs> okay, there's a pig head in the farming guild, that's weird. Just a little 93 herb, and I'm still multi-skilling, so uh, runecrafting is all the way to 50 right now. And we changed the altar, I don't know if I showcased the altar change, but let me show you what that means. So I think per essence, and once again I could be completely wrong, I do believe this altar might be the best. Boom, bam. 3.5k XP, it's really slow XP, but we get it up basically whilst doing other things. It is time for a farm run. Uh, I'm actually doing this quite often because every time I log out with Sigil of the Nature activated, and I'm pretty sure it works, there's 86. Le we're, we're farming, okay? It's fine. This is actually pretty decent money as well, so making sure I'm connect collecting this coconut because then if, when I do magic trees, I can use those to pay for, uh, for this to not die. Ayo, 87. Just running around doing my magic trees. Okay, bridge starting in now, basically. Uh, Lumbridge Swamp, okay, so what do we need for this one? Uh, water Talisman is nice, and we're just gonna use that as an escape. Oh my god, this guy just Darok bombed this guy, but died. This might be insta spawn. Holy shit, I got a lot, I think, because the guy Darok bombed a recoil, so stuff drops on the floor, so I just got his bank, look. I got his super restores, everything. <laughs> that is a movie. I didn't get his Daroks, because I think it just disappears. The fuck? Oh yeah, start is one, 116 points. I'm hoping to get at least a little bit of, I mean, 2k would be nice, but this is complete peak. It's gonna be so hard to get anything. We are basically going to get one hit per mob. There is no way we can get more. Which, again, I will reiterate this in every single bridge that I do. I think they are messing up big time by not just giving these mobs more HP. But I, I hope that a uh, little bit of a feedback, if somebody from Jagex watches the videos, or just maybe we'll leave the feedback in the Discord as well, just a little bit more health on these bosses and it would be great. Hey, emblem numero uno. Sigil of the something, well, it disappeared, unlucky. Yeah, just one hit per mob. Hey, we got a little emblem. Okay, we got another emblem. And then we got another one. I mean, all in all, pretty decent breach. Just emblem-wise. Hey, another emblem. Another one. Starting to reach the point where... I don't even know if emblems are worth picking up, because look at my inventory. Like, that is a scary inventory to tank with. Another emblem. Okay, another emblem. Now I need to think. I think I'd rather lose a brew than a combo food. That's gonna be it, right? Yeah, it's gone. Loot-wise, good breach. Point-wise, what was this? Like 2,000 and a bit? Uh, we'll take it. Not the best, not the worst. 
loot wise definitely good all in all cannot complain <laughs> someone's going crazy with the drop parties here man what the fuck's going on <laughs> dude i can't loot shit dude holy oh, he's going fucking mental <laughs> Uh, this guy is having, uh, he's having fun. I, I respect it, honestly. Hey, would you look at that? Next unlock in one point, which I do believe is then a hard tier. So I could just do something easy. Yo. Yo, what's up, boss? How we doing? You should see my gear. It's fucking crazy. Yo, what, what do you think about <laughs> You are free loot, man. <laughs> I, I'm fucking Elva, mate. Dude, you are free loot. Do you have MSB as well? No, I have this. Ah, shit. Now you look like yeah. a snack, man. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you, I might jump you accidentally. Like, there's no way, man. Oh, that's funny as fuck. Dude, we look like fucking snack out here. Holy shit! <laughs> like, <laughs> oi, oi, oi. Okay, so we 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 send this one first, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is this good points, by the way? Because if this is good points, like, let me tell you, we could sit in multi, see someone turn kill. Yeah, I'm just gonna check what it's weak to. Okay, it's same in every style. There we go, that's the Hoarder. So one is taking no damage, and one is 25 kills. So we could at least kill it 10 times, but maybe 20... Ah, 25 would be a lot though. We, I think if we just kill it normally, there's a chance I take zero damage. But uh, maybe we worry about tasks after, and we just go check Scorpia, we do like the other tasks. Yeah. That's probably the oh, best no, I was... No, I also was hitting like crazy. Let's just make sure you get one KC. I'll just stop here, okay? I'll let you... I got this case, I think, yeah. Okay, perfect. Do you wanna go Scorpia? Sure. This is a quick reminder to let you know that you should probably subscribe. I'm ready to freeze, let me tell you. Are we sending it? Anybody in? Yeah, there's a guy here. Kill it, kill it, kill it. Yeah, yeah, I'm on him. Okay, I sent Ice Blitz, so you can go melee if you want. Okay, I'm melee. This guy's a demon. I'm going out. Yeah, I hit the freeze. He's going... He's running. Come out, come out. I caught the freeze outside. I'm almost killing him. I'm step undering, so... Hey, let's yeah, get it, dude. Said... <laughs> noobs. noobs. That's the first one. Oh my god. Wait, that's a lot of loot. I got the charged trident black mask. What the fuck? Wait, why is this guy risking so much? I got like two bankies. Okay, we're tanking this one out, by the way. No, we're, sh we're sending one Scorpio kill. Yeah, yeah, yeah but like, I got so much loot, brother, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, I got 5 million in just full rune drops. This guy was not playing. Come loot the rest, by the way. I can't even loot everything this guy was risking. Yeah, but. Oh, oh they, no, this is team, team logging, team logging, team logging outside. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Run, 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 run. I saw at least four people. I saw at least four logging in. This guy has protectors. Really? Yes, I promise you. Or they were running oh. to do something else. Saw them but, on the uh, minimap. Where, where did you run? I just ran to singles. I'm gonna... Oh. Are they on you? Yeah, that's... No, that's probably this. But but how... Where I'm safe, I'm them? safe. They were south. They were south on the chaos elemental. At least three people. Probably maybe hitting multi or something. But yeah, I am sitting on a black mask and 5 million in the looting bag with Corrupted Shadow, Corrupted Void Waker and uh, actually a lot of stuff. This guy had like a full PK on him. He must have protectors. Like, there is no way we kill him and then instantly there's people outside, right? Yeah. There is no but way. He had he had a key though, so maybe he killed someone and they came to revenge, you know? Maybe. <laughs> That's actually funny though. <laughs> because if I die to someone and I know they are like doing Scorpia and I die to Scorpia or... PK me. I will gear up and I will bring my friends, you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny as fuck. I am uh, two minutes off. Okay, well, how, I'm gonna run to edge. Come, come, come. It's one minute left on the key. So we just run you, back here. We run all the way to edge. We go through ice. We go through the ice part, don't we? Okay, fine. I'll follow you. No, I meant like just to the web because it's one minute. But if we get jumped oh, now, oh, it's like. Oh, the, the edge. I thought you meant we go to edge, you know. <laughs> no, no, no. Like to the lever. Oh, yeah, okay. First keys of the deadman mode. Here we go. Four million. It's good really? though. Crush nest, snapdragons, three dragon holly, three thousand ref runes, fifty brews. It's actually not bad. It supplies. And then one mil of the guy he killed for a bunch of topaz, ranging pots, runes, expeditions yeah, not, bracelets. That's actually good loot. The fuck? Not not bad. Not bad. It's actually yeah, not I was, bad. Uh, like three man picking earlier, right? Right. And we teleport to um, to the corp cave. Oh shit. And I enter, 
I enter, I see five people stacked on top of each other. We are three people, okay? <laughs> okay. I run in, I say, they're all clumped, so I barrage them. And they're like, hell nah, and they all run. And like, both of my uh, my guys, they just run away, and I'm like, 1v5 there. And I just die for, like, serial stuff, so... Oh, shit. I'm There's like, no way they let you die, like, the, yeah, the they fuck? Just, they just up. run in. They, they just run in, and they say, hell nah, and they run back out. And oh, I am schooled, so I don't... I don't know where to go. Yeah, that's messed up. Okay, let's go, let's go. Tell me if someone's inside. What do you even pray on this boss? Range. Anyone in? No, this is free sand. Maybe we do the diary as well to kill like one Scorpia, one whatever. There we go. Oh, Scorpia damaged you, so we failed the task. That's unlucky, but whatever. For so every elite every elite task you do in achievement diary, you get 64 points. Wait, what? Yeah. That is... Wait, I should do all of those then. What the fuck? Yeah, you should do all achievement diaries. Because when you finish it, you get like... XP lamp as well, right? Yeah, but you see a bonus reward of half of the total points the tier is worth. So if the tier is worth like... If there's 10 elite tasks, you get Yeah, let me fuck this guy up real quick. I mean, I've done like 10 kills in a row of this guy. That's also a combat task. But it's so weird because you have achievement task, combat task, like... So many things. Oh, there's Picker here. Really? Yeah, yeah. Do you want to jump him? Yeah, but we are not in multi. Yeah, we, we, I kite to multi, like I'm running. He's gonna go for me, just... Uh... Yeah, but oh. the multi is... To it's the up right here, here, it's up here, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's fine, I'll bait him in. He probably doesn't have multi lines. Oh, he has Veng. Yeah. He has the staff as well. Maybe he has a team. Maybe we get fucked up. Nah, we send it to multi. There's nothing you can do. He's in multi now. Go. Oh, I. Uh, that's good. That's good. It's yeah. fine. It's fine. It's fine. Do you have uh, claws? Go, go, go. Go with claws. Yeah. Oh, he has team uh... though. Shit. Oh. Ooh. No. I'll be fine if you freeze. Yeah, I'm trying. They're both oh, with they're VLS. They're frozen, they're frozen. I'm dead, oh, I think. Fuck. Good luck. Try to freeze the guy on me if you can with single. I'll run it into singles here, I think. Wow, what a hit. Wow. 44 33. That's uh, crazy. Yeah, I'm, I'm dead now. <laughs> well, that didn't last very long, did it? Whoa, I just got... Oh, there's another one as well. This is there's... rough. Yeah, they are they are holding the fucking uh, KBD, by the way. This I think this is the same guy I tanked down to Narnia. Well, that was... That didn't work out, did it? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. It didn't. It's fine, I buy another void, we go again. Okay, well, <laughs> that uh, that didn't end very nicely, but it's okay, because look, guys, we can do... We, we can we can train some Herbler again. We love Herbler. Let's go, look, boom, potions, yes! Okay, so I just did a little bit of skilling, because if I were to die again, I don't want to lose the supplies that I deem important for skilling, right? So I don't want to lose my Snapdragons, for example. If I lose Bruise, fine, I have a million points. I lose Prayer Potions, fine, I have a million points. I lose 300, 300, 300k, don't care about it. Defense Potions, don't mind Super Restores. These are a bit a lot, so I'm probably gonna actually grab my Restores and make them tier 4 and actually sell them. Okay, now that is the key. I don't necessarily mind losing. Still, it will cost me back maybe a mil, maybe two, but all in all, chilling. I will be doing something that I actually did not know that I could do, and that is diaries. Oh my goodness, would you look at how many diaries we can complete? And I need to do as many as I possibly can because they give points. And I'm not gonna start with easies. I'm going straight for elite tasks because they give the most amount of points. Uh, but first, there's another thing that I haven't done and that is uh, do this and go here. Uh, because I have also, with all this bossing that we've been doing lately, uh, I also can claim another reward from Gomal. And I think this is going to be the hard tier with infinite amount of teleports to Trollheim. So that should now give me tier 3 rewards, which is perfect, with an XP lamp, which we can now use on... Rune crafting. I believe this is the slowest skill for me. 150,000 XP going from 52 straight to 60, which is huge. 
And now we begin the grind to do some diaries. Okay, so I figured since I am going to be going for a rusty sword, which is a part of some diaries that I plan on doing, I'm just gonna start with RD diaries and then work my way around. I wanted to start with the leads, but there's so much to do, so I might as well start at the beginning. Uh, but I figured, you know what, we might as well grab the relics, which allow me to stack the clues. So Fortune Farmer, Sigil of the Treasure Hunter, and then Bloodhound is not really needed, but I have it. And just go on and steal a bunch of stuff and see if I can stack up some clues. Oh, well, I found Rusty Sword of the Bat, so I'm not gonna be here for too long. Okay, let's start with the tasks. That's the first one. That's the silk sold to Silk Merchant. That is entering the combat camp. Okay, so give sword to this guy. That's a task. And now the question is, can I start this by myself? Yeah, one minute. Okay, so I can start this by myself. That's good. And that just does it automatically. And that was it. That's the last easy task. Let's see if we can finish the mediums as well. Okay, so that should be 481. So that should give points, no? Yeah, see how many points that was? That was ridiculous amount of points. Uh, so I'm just gonna do the high level ones because the lower ones I need to do a bunch of quests and I'm not in the mood to do quests right now. So I'm just gonna try to do elite tasks. So let me see if this works. So how many points is this? Five, four, five. I make a skill cap emote. Five, four, five. So it's like 60 points or something. Yeah, 64 points, which I think it's worth doing the easy ones, like the ones that are simple to do, 100%. Okay, so from here, I'm pretty sure I just need to, let me double check this, three magic, yeah. So I need 91 farming, which I have, I have 93. I can check this. Now I actually need to manually chop it down and then look for roots. Hope it works with a boost. And if it doesn't, we'll just do this again when in two more levels. So there we go, we chopped it. Let's take a look, will it work? So I got 15, but it did not count towards my diary. See, I think I think 15 is more than three, but I think the game cannot recognize the fact that they went directly to my bank. So we'll have to do this again without the sigils equipped, which uh, probably just a little oversight uh, from the developers. It is what it is. Okay, I've been procrastinating this for a while, but it is time to get at least 75 agility. So I can do a little lap on Releka agility course because that's points. And I want to get agility up to at least 90 this deadman mode anyways. So let's get jumping. So here it is. The 75 agility is now done. And now with the sigil of exaggeration, which I have equipped, I can now do Releka course and that's basically the diary. So always pray melee before exiting to not get double clawed and let's do one quick lap. Okay, so if I trade Grace, I should be able to buy Amile back and I could use this to make Staminas and Staminas are good money. So there we go, good XP, but most importantly, really, really good money. You can buy this for 1k and sell this for 10k. Welcome to Deadman mode, where we are DCing yet again. Similar time. That is pretty bad, like, that is very bad. Luckily, we were not in danger, but that's the second day in a row of just DCing at uh, evening. All right, we're sending a little late night Bando strip. Let's get it. So there's still two bosses we haven't done. One is Bandos, one is Ziliana. Well, I got a frozen piece of a minion. I didn't even know that was possible. Hey, we got a little kill. Nice, and a little achievement as well. Okay, so he got the achievement, I didn't. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Yeah, I got it, nice. Okay, so now only thing from Bandos is to get 100 KC. Oh, but so XD, bro. So I'm trading in the mole parts and I didn't realize how many seeds you get with this thing. What in the hell? Uh, guys, is this normal or? I only killed 100 mole. Oh, wait, mahogany is good. That's like 50k. 
Five mahoganies is pretty good. Hey, look at that, I'm selling willow seeds for really good money. Maple seeds apparently 100k, like what? Who's paying these prices? I'll take it. Acorn 7k. Okay, ladies, gentlemen, breach. This is a once again 4 a.m. breach, okay? So I'm not gonna be speaking loud to not wake people up. And it's starting in a minute and I need points and I need as many points as possible because when I go KBD, I die. I go DKs, I die. I try to do somewhere else, I die. Basically, the problem is everywhere you go, you end up dying uh, because clans take care of everything. Oh yeah, start of the points, 120,000 and a little bit because I already got some points. So let's just say we started at 120,000. I'm also praying melee permanently to not get double claw rushed. And I always brew up over 99 HP. It's the only real way to prevent getting one hit here. These days, it's uh, it's rough out here. That's the first emblem. We'll try our best to get as many of those as possible. Oh, Morrigan throwing eggs. That's so much money, by the way. That's one of the best drops you can get. That's almost equal to VLS in uh, in money situation. Huge. Okay, we got an emblem. I would love to get Kriara KC, but I don't know how to even get it. It's so hard. Because I have 12 left on the task. And it would get me to 99 Slayer. A An emblem. So I get XP for that. But I didn't even hit it. How does that make any sense? Another emblem going. Another emblem. We'll take one more. There's so much loot, but we are completely full. One, two, three. So I think we got 3000 points or close to, which I am happy with. That is what we have to take in singles. That's pretty solid. Now it's 4 a.m. Most people would go sleep, but this is unfortunately the only time where I can probably get some points. So we'll see if we die again. A hey, mud battle stuff. It sells for a bit, so we'll take it. Also, if you quickly take a look in the chat, 71 KC of Supreme, 68 of Rex, 52 of Prime. The goal is to get all of those above 100. And in an ideal world, we don't instantly get killed. But that is literally the only way uh, you can get somewhat decent points in this Deadman mode. Every single boss is camped by a clan. Every single boss is multi. So we'll see how long we survive here for. Hey, Archer's in. Nice. I think that's the worst one out of the three, but it still sells for like 2 million, 1 million. Ah, it's still 2 million, that's uh, pretty good. Every time we get a drop, we'll take it to safety. Oh, another archer's ring, nice. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. That's worth like 3 mil. Never mind, apparently it's 2 million now, but still, really nice drop. <laughs> Is that a third archer's ring, I think? That's crazy. Oh, oh, that's money. Sigil of Enhanced Harvest. That is definitely money. Let's dip. That is uh, really good. That's five times resources when harvesting. If you guys do not know, all the money we make through PVMing is going towards the final hour gear. So we still need to afford Mazori body, uh, Ring of Suffering, uh, DFS, stuff like that. Uh, this is probably the longest I've gone in multi without dying, and I'm almost at 100 KC. I probably just jinxed myself, but sometimes it's good to be grateful to be able to kill bosses in a 2007 version of an online game at 6 a.m. Dragon X on KC 99. There it is, we did it, 100 kill count. Now I just need the other two to catch up. The reason why this one is always higher than others is because when you enter the room, you always kill that guy first. Rex is very close by and Prime is just struggling behind. Happy to have one on 100 KC. The problem now is I'm not gonna get 10 points for him, I'm only gonna get five. Why are they directly under each other? I can't fucking see what to flick, man. Oh, yes. Nice. Sears ring is a lot of money right now. That's really good. Yes, Berserker ring. Nice. 8 million right now. 7 to 8. Let's get out of here. And we also got our Rex kill count over 100. So now just Prime. Uh, once I reach all three bosses to 100, we're going to move on to bigger and better things. But for now, we try to make as much money 
as possible before we leave this place forever. Boss. Oh no 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 oh, not again. There is no shot. I died to AC again, bro. Ah, this is so sad by the way. I literally cannot play the game. It's so depressing. It's so depressing because the way they made the points, you have to kill the bosses. And you cannot fucking kill the bosses because every boss that gives points is in multi. And everywhere you go, you just get hunted by the same fucking clan. It's the most annoying thing ever. Ah, oh, it's so fucking frustrating at this point. Like, I don't know, man. I don't even know why I bothered. Absolutely broke, so let's go ahead and open a couple of these trinkets and see if we get any money out of it. So we start off with the bow, moving on to AGS, which is trash. That's like 200k. Moving on to Scythe, which is the best pool. Moving on to the bow, which is eh. We got Void Waker. And lastly, we have another side. Okay then, time for a little rebuild. Did this clue scroll? Ooh. Ooh, it's actually not bad. Heraldic shield is good. Arma legs are really good. Sara legs are really good. Dude, I got like one, two, three, four, five uniques. That's pretty good clue. The first thing I'm gonna do is I will finish my Slayer task because we need to get points and the way we're gonna do this is through tasks that I can actually do, which might be Hydra and Abyssal Sire. That's what I'm thinking at the moment. I only have 10 to kill. I don't have many points though, but I'm gonna be taking Hydra afterwards. So we're gonna go deep wieldy and we're gonna finish these aviances in the wieldy Slayer dungeon. So I can assign myself Hydras. I don't have many points. There we go. That is a lot of hydras that we have to kill, but it's gonna be important that we take this task. Okay, so we're gonna start off by killing one regular hydra because we have to kill one regular hydra for a diary. And these are pretty high combat level actually. There we go. And pretty decent XP as well. So that's the diary done. And the runes I'm gonna go with is Precision Ninja and Last Recall. Uh, the reason for the last recall is super simple. If I were to die or if anything were to happen, I think I can just last recall here. However, I need to TP one more time out. So then I set my last recall to be that exact position. And that's basically the plan. When it comes to Hydra, there are many combat achievement tasks and all of these are, well, they give a lot of points, but also they are not that hard to do. Obviously you have your usual 75 and 150 KC tasks that we might not go for. But then you also have the ones where you basically just don't make mistakes. And then you have the ones where you need to kill about 15 in a row. And then you have timed ones as well. And then lastly, we also have a Darok one, which uh, we will also attempt to do on Deadman mode. Uh, but first, we're just going to go in, in usual range setup, uh, get re-familiar with Hydra. I haven't killed that boss in like three years. I know it's usually pretty simple. It's three hits mage, three hits range, and we'll see how it goes. Oh, I don't actually get Slayer XP for killing it. Oh my, okay. And yeah, we got, as you can see, a bunch of tasks already. So don't flame, unrequired anti-poison and so much more. So I'm probably just gonna start the stream because I haven't streamed in a long time. And I'm gonna stream this boss because it's one of the few things in Deadman mode that is actually safe. So let's get at it. But anyways, very quickly, because in an instance you don't get experience. So because of that, there it is, 99 Slayer in Deadman mode. Should have done, I mean, I have been 10k away from 99 Slayer for the longest of time. But anyways, somehow, some way, the game does not remember if I teleport from inside. So I guess I need to come all the way out here, then teleport, then the game will remember. Which is a bit scuffed, but uh, we'll be all right. There we go. Uh, I got an achievement for the lightning lure in this one, which should actually be decent points. Yeah, very good points. And I got sigil of mobility. Forgot that I can get sigils from here. So that's pretty good, we'll take that. I'm gonna attempt 15 kills in a row. 
And I'm also going to attempt a kill without taking damage, which is a 50-50 flip, especially because the first hit is unpredictable. I'm happy I have rigor for this. It probably makes things a lot better. So there we go, alchemical hydra and mixing it correctly. Uh, more tasks completed, which is perfect. And now we keep trying to go for 15 kill trip, basically. Did I do it? There we go, the flame skipper as well. Nice. I got a supply drop, I think. I did. White berries. Oh, and super restore. Nice. I actually need that. Bro, you actually get so much stuff. What the fuck do I do? Okay, yeah, so what? We did seven in a row right now. So halfway there. How insane loot Hydra is, by the way. It's stupid. Okay, so next one should be the achievement. And then we'll look what else is there to do. There it is. 15 kills without banking. Beautiful task completed. Points skyrocketing, which is also perfect. For a dragon longsword. Nice. Madam as well. I mean, damage-wise it's good, but I just need to get used to it. It'll be alright. Just need to get used to it. I don't know the max hit, so I, and I don't want... I mean, listen. <clears throat> I think this skill was great. Uh, I think this skill was really good, and um, I'm very happy I got that. That's pretty fucking nice. Wait. Eh? Don't tell me it's a melee. Oh my god, it's completely useless. It is dog shit, guys. Why did we get excited for this? It would be better if I got... Hear me out in this one. Dragon boots would be better. Ah, uh, this is shit, man. No, wait, it missed. That could be it, you know. I took one for the team. Easy the speed. 129. 9 seconds too slow still. Are we even close? We're gonna keep trying, of course. I think I can do it with the Tebow, but it's a rough one. If I hit here, it's maybe done. I think one... Uh, two hits too slow. Three hits too slow. Let's see. Would it be close? I think it was a good attempt. <laughs> it wasn't even close to being close. What the fuck? Hey, yo. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Hold on, what happened, man? Just hit here and it's done. This one right here. <gasps> no, that was it. I think I needed to hit that and it would be done. Let's see. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Did I. <laughs> it's really feeling like it's it's very closer than I think, man. Uh, yeah, we were almost there. Mm, yeah, we'll do a little bang here. We got a little Hydra's eye, first piece of the ring. Not that I will ever use it, but it's at least something. I'm gonna do the cool thing and probably die. Watch this. One, two, boom. No way I did it. No way I did it. I don't even know what I'm doing, but I did it. This one is for the boys right now. There is no way this is not gilded. Opa, little master situation. Please be good. Water Obelisk Island. That's pretty doable, I think, right? Boom! 90 farming. Watch the points go up. Wait. <laughs> points didn't go up, man. Hello? I'm sure we got like four points minimum for that. Oh! There it is. You guys see what I'm seeing? We got magic roots and we've completed an elite diary for a bunch of points. Huge. Is this another level, by the way? Little two in one action. We're now 91. This could be a solid, uh, solid option to get some good seeds here. Let's see. Palm tree, maple. Ooh, maple magic. Hey yo. Wait a second. Magic is phenomenal. We can go plant this. Willows. I got so many willows and maples. Those sell for a lot, by the way. Did I get a time? Ah, uh, I'm not sure. We got some times. And we got a farming level. We got a bunch of points from that, right? Yeah, 126. And let me see just a spore, eh? I think I just have a KC task of 5. Yeah, and a turbo speed one, which we will try to do the next time. Yo, let me tell you, man. I found this guy splashing on an RD night. And I'm gonna do a little bit of stealing. Because my thieving is low and I need it for diaries. And it's actually not bad points. And the breach is in like 50 minutes. So we're just going to do a bit of thieving. I don't know what we're going to get up to. But there's 57. Canifis. Oh, we do not like Canifis here. Oh yeah, we started on 126. Hey, 
first emblem. Oh, well, there's another one. So I always like keep an eye on the minimap to try to be like in the mass of people. Little emblem. If you're wondering why I'm praying melee is because the amount of times I have gotten claw, claw spec like twice with feral rush is just I can't afford not to pray it. I'm trying to pick up some herbs as well for the 99 herb because we're close. Mm, there we go, another emblem, another one. Yeah, I'm getting a lot though. Recording cutting trees again? Nah, we're chilling. We good. Don't scare me like that though. I actually am getting too much loot. Emblems are used for like potions and stuff like that. Potions, void, ice sacks. But we got another one. We're getting a lot of drops in this one. Not a good drops, but just emblems. Okay, well, I'm gonna reach a point where I'm leaving emblems on the floor as well. That is it. And we got out. Ooh, that was a good breach, I think. One, two, eight. Was that nearly 3,000? Beautiful amount of loot. So many dragon items we ended up snagging and a bunch of herbs, which might actually be enough to finish off close to 99 herb for us. So very good breach. I invested a lot of our money into Bando's boots, dragon two-handed and obsidian cape. So we now have everything to complete this step. I also should take ninja instead of titanium. Hold up. However, it is in a pretty sketchy location, but I guess we'll give it a shot. Wow, three step master. Three step master clue scroll on 75% chance. Like my goodness, can I just be a little bit lucky sometimes? If you guys do not know, right? Sigil of the Bloodhound, 75% chance the clue is a one stepper and I get a three step master. We have a breach in 10 minutes, so hopefully I can finish this one. Okay, we need to focus here. We have an XD. North of Warriors Guild or outside of... Okay, that's pretty easy. Okay, we can do both. That's good. Surely it can be a forced... Four step master! Okay, I had to work for this one. Please, just give me the reward. There we go. Oh my goodness. Anything could happen here. Samurai gloves and bend... Uh, bruh. I spent a million and five hundred K on this clue. Starting points, one to eight. Basically one to nine thousand. Basically. Almost there, right? First emblem of the breach. There, finally a second one. It's uh, a lot of people in this one. It's nine... Hey, we got a back to back. With a trinket as well. Yeah, it's usually hard to compete for a lot of drops on these peak breaches. But I think we're doing alright, to be honest. Okay, we're getting PK, Insta Brew. He might stop immediately, we'll see. Another emblem. Maybe he just lost me. Maybe I got lost in the sauce. I'm very healthy still here. Uh, the tank is just two freezes to the south through the door and uh, completely vibing, so... I'm not too worried about this place. VLS. Oh my, that was a global drop table VLS. That is so troll. So every single person could see this. That is funny. I don't drink it. Second one. I would prefer to get a PvP weapons, but... This stay in the bank, so when I die, I just open a bunch and uh, then it takes the new space in my bank if I were to die again. Another emblem to end it off. Wait, I got a VLS. VLS right at the end. No way I just pulled the VLS at the very end there. But we will absolutely take that. That's the best drop we could have gotten. And it just ended. We get out of here. Oh la la. Nice. As I said, peak time. Only got maybe two and a bit thousand points. All in all, I'd say a very nice breach. Don't think that was fast enough, unfortunately. That was 0 048. Close, but not close enough. We're gonna plant another one and do it again tomorrow. There we go, 93 farming. Always a little bit of an expensive sport, but I'm very committed to finish this one because it's fast, it's nice, but it's also time-gated. So if at some point I do decide I want to max Deadman mode, which at the moment I'm probably not gonna do it, but I don't fully know yet, uh, at least I'm not time-gated and I can't be like, oh, well, now I can't max because of farming, right? So just making sure this time stuff gets out of the way, gets to 99, gets maxed out, 
and then we'll worry about the rest when the right time comes. Okay, so we've done a bunch of contracts, got almost to 95 farming, but most importantly, this could make me some ridiculous money at the moment. I kid you not when I say this, willows sell for 40k each, just a willow seed, 40k each. It's like, it's absolutely crazy, the prices at the moment. So, we got a bunch of seeds, and a lot of stuff that we get, like these maple seeds, I should be selling. These yew seeds will sell like crazy, okay? So that's basically what we're looking for, and everything else is just a bonus. Like palm tree seed, great money. And I'm actually gonna be selling this after I finish 99 farming, just to make sure I don't need to use them myself. Oh, and I also bought a redwood seed for only 70k, which is really, really good. I'm gonna go plant this in spirit tree, and I'll just plant it in the farming guild. I don't know if there is anything else that... I should plant these. Okay, this is like super random, but I'm just doing all the farming stuff that is to do with any sort of diaries uh, just now before I'm 99, so I don't need to do it again in the future. Well, that's all the scarecrow diaries done. Okay, quick little diary that I forgot to claim. Put it in room crafting, 25,000 XP, one level. We have an RD cape, we can now teleport to monastery, and then we can check this, which is another task. Genius. There we go. And now I just need to plant Dwarf Wheat Seed on this one. There we go, that's a medium. How much is a medium? One to two? Oh, I don't know, it already gave it. No way this guy's picking at the fucking herb patch. The hell? All right, let's see. I've waited a few minutes. Surely he's no longer there, right? He's still there. He, what the fuck? This guy's in a full maximum turbo. What the fuck, man? For Maximus Prime over here in the farming guild department. What the fuck? Let me plant my trees, man. Okay, we're gonna do something a little bit out of the blue. Uh, but one of the tasks is to kill Obor. And I took special sigils, treasure hunter and fortune farmer. So I'm just gonna go ahead and kill a couple of giants for a bit. See how that goes. See if I can stack up some clues and see if I can get some... Well, just keys that we can then use to kill Obor, uh, which should be points. Okay, so there you go. You see, that's the first example of us getting a beginner clue scroll. I don't think it gives a lot of points. But I might as well stack them while I'm doing this. And I'm just hoping for a giant key. And then I can also do moss giants here as well. I got a sigil of the last recall from a fucking hill giant. Uh, I mean, I'll take it. That's uh, how much money is that? That is a pricey relic, a very useful one. Yeah, that's a mill. Nice. Okay, so I decided to quickly do the moss giants, and we got a first mossy key. Uh, I'm gonna need a couple of these to try to do all the combat tasks, and I hope these guys drop better clues than beginners. But still, this is gonna be what I'll do whilst uh, everybody else is online. Boys, boys, ain't no way I just got sigil of aggression from a hill giant. That is, at the moment, Sigil of Aggression goes for 8 million, almost 9, it's like getting a VLS drop. Oppa, there it is. Okay, we got a giant ski, we're gonna pick it up, and we're gonna see how many combat achievements I can do. I might do more, but for now I just wanna do one of each. Sigil of Aggression, Insta sold for 8.6, and then I have all these other ones that I kinda wanna see if I can sell. I know I will be able to sell Last Recall. And then this Enhanced Harvest that we also got should also sell. Might leave this in for a bit. There it is, Last Recall sold for a milli. Now we just wait for the last one to sell. I hope it's gonna work because of the first hit. But we should have, yeah, Ober Novice, Sleeping Giant, Squashing the Giant, Back to the Wall, Fight as intended. So that's one task, nice and easy. And this is poisoned now. So I just need to take my slow time to kill this thing. Oh, oh, trinket of the death of a little shit. <laughs> what the fuck? No, 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 no. How is that possible? And there we go, that's the poison kill as well. Alright, we're gonna try to do a couple of, uh, couple of Zolra kills. Okay, Zolra is super chill. Uh, we got just one KC. Nice try, guy. Nice try. I actually forgot how fun Zolra is to do. Toad flex. It's actually decent. Mm, Zora speed trial is 113. It's not 54 seconds that we need to get, uh, but it's a little bit of a slower one, but still good. Yeah, there's just so many pick airs here, huh? Maybe one hit too slow, two hits too slow. 
zero forty nine. Never mind. We got the fastest kill already. That's what we needed. This is gonna give us a ton of points, by the way. Yeah, this is really good. This is really, really good. Nice. I thought this was this would take me much longer, by the way, because I only have corrupted weapons. But maybe I just got really lucky. Yeah, see, I've done all the hard ones, basically. So now I need to look into doing a perfect Zolra. No damage from the following. No Snakelings, no Venom, no Clouds. But then there's also this one to kill three Snakelings simultaneously. Or this one to kill it with Vengeance. I'm gonna try this first, okay? So Venge kill is the first one we're gonna attempt. There we go. Three in one go. That's a task. Beautiful. Ah, it hit again. Damn it. Yeah, it's pretty hard. If a little snakeling hits you, it's uh, not perfect anymore. I think that's a perfect kill. It wasn't a perfect kill, but I swear I didn't take damage from... I need to recheck what I did wrong, because that I thought that was perfect. I'll get it. I mean, I have so many kills to do. We will get it eventually. And all in all, this is actually good points. Come on, this is the, this is the rotation. That is the best for perfect clear. No, I lost it. Look, I was one hit off. If that hits, I get it. That is the rotation that you need in order to get it. That was actually pretty fast as well, right? Yeah, 58 without any vengeance, trickery. Okay, looks like we're gonna be ending the session of Zolra right here on 19 kill count. Looks like we're gonna be doing a little bit of raids. All in all, good points, good boss. We still didn't get the perfect kill. A little bit of a pepega when it comes to that, but everything else we have more or less done. Now we just need to get 150 kill count in total. Nice. Okay, good. At least we got in. <laughs> now let's now let's not disconnect. Oh yeah, I got a hundred percenter. Let's go. Ah, oh wait, I can just throw it in the depot outside, right? I might wanna eat, I guess. I'm 30 HP. I mean, all I want is points. I don't know why can I not move. Oh, don't tell me I'm the fucking DC again, by the way. Yeah, it's, it's really insane, yeah. And we got achievement. Okay, I'll go back for a second. Ooh, perfect up, Macken. Nice. I go this one here, okay? So wait, here, let me just uh, set the one Ambrosia out real quick. What is this? Oh. I'm like my brain right now is like really running because like this is so new to me So like it's hard for me to communicate. Oh, where is it? Oh my Yeah, dude, I didn't see where it was in the inventory, but it's it's a lot. Okay. I'm trying <laughs> Fuck's sake, bro. I'm over here panicking, but you have a thousand runs of this. I have two, man oh, Okay <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. One percent chance. I guess four percent chance. Oh, 3,000, 3,000 points. You know how much I need to do for 3,000 points, bro? I need to go to Jagex headquarters and speak to like, I don't know, someone. That is so insane. Oh, thank you, by the way. <gasps> Purple as well. There is no shot. There is no shot. There is no way. Is it for you or how do you know? It's going to be shadow, right? For sure. Oh, that's great, no? Let's go, dude. So this is where I fairy ring when I do, uh... Yeah, that's sketchy. Wait, let's see if there's any escapes here. Hold on. There's this guy, the travel mountain guy. Well, I mean, where I will go, go up to? and okay. Mount Quillamorton and go up there. I don't have this guy, I'm... by the way. I no, I know, him. but I'm, I went there to scout to see if it's like clear. There's a guy in void. Oh, he went for me. Yeah, I'm fine though. Yeah, I think so too. Okay. Yeah. So what like, do I need to click in order to start? Which buttons? You, you, you need to enter chamber and you need to uh, accept some warning the first time you enter the raid. Okay, I'm gonna just send it towards the entrance, okay? Mm -hmm. Ah, now he's back. He's back? Shit. He's back, he's back. Yeah, just travel with the guy, travel. Yeah. Travel. Ah, oh, he's not here. Did we just send it in, bro. Just go. Oh, right. no, no, no. There's a... Uh... Maxer? I see it. Oh, there's... Just yeah. tap, 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 tap. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, now there's a lot of people. Yeah, there. we can't do cocks. Like. <laughs> oh, I think that guy was on his way down to us, maybe. Oh, maybe. Because he was on the path south there. <laughs> oh, you need two ropes, by the way. I have already oh. done it for my escape. I escaped from Kriara to here once against the team. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
That was fucking crazy. Dude, I got deep boots. What are your thoughts on that? Oh, well, you just made bank? Hell yeah. There's the key piece. I don't need any of that. Just teleport out. And now we can unlock the door. There we go. I mean... Wait, there's a whole clan here. I'm dead. Oh my... Why are they camping inside the door? Wait, there's someone camping there? Yeah, they... I I died. Wait, really? Yeah. No, I'm kidding, really? I'm kidding. I'm joking, okay. I'm joking. Uh, because that's a really weird place to camp. Yeah. I unlocked it. I'm safe. We have a little breach situation. It's 4 a.m. So we are quiet to not wake up people around me. Oh yeah, we started on 135,000. Let's see what we end on. First emblem. Second, another emblem. You guessed it. It's another emblem. Emblem. I started getting like none of them. And now I got like five back to back to back basically. Well, I got the trinket. That was the global drop right there. Emblem. Another emblem. Another emblem. Dude. Hello. Dude. I actually think I have like pit or something. Because there's so many people and I'm getting all the drops. Got another one. Another emblem. And it's gonna be it. No way I'm being PK'd right now. <laughs> I don't have much to tank with. We're just gonna dip. It's over now. I got a tab. I think that was a lot of points, boys. We're gonna be sleeping good tonight. So I'm going through. What am I killing here as I go through? The mages. Ah, uh, there's a PK logging Tele in here. He said teleport. Yeah, yeah, there, there was a PK. A little late night killing. 95 herb. Okay, we woke up, the bridge is starting in one minute. The starting points, 139.4. Okay, we got Trinket of the Bat. An Emblem of the Bat. I need to just do one hit per boss. Because otherwise my uh, damage gets nullified. Okay, another Emblem. Another Emblem. And another one. Another Emblem. Hmm, there's another emblem. Okay, and I have full inventory, full looting bag of stuff. So I can't loot my dragon stuff anymore. But at this point, I don't care about money. All I care about are points. And since this is the best time for us to get points, we're gonna leave some loot on the floor, which is which is okay. Uh, I only bank if I'm really forced to buy a PKer. If not, we are just pumping points, basically. Okay, another emblem. That is it, point-wise. From 139,000 to 141, so only about 2,000 in this one. Not the best, not the worst. Uh, loot has been phenomenal though, once again. A lot of emblems and on top of that, a lot of uh, a lot of good stuff, really. A lot of uh, alcables, a lot of money, we can't complain. This is a reminder, if you are doing tasks in Deadman mode, unattune your sigils before you collect the, let's say, roots from either you or a magic tree. Uh, because otherwise it won't work. So as you can see, I unattuned my sigils. Now if I clear this, now I get the hard Varrock uh, diary completed. So there it is, perfect. Now I can reattune my sigils, do the farm run, then go back to bed and then figure everything out. There is 95 farming, four more levels to go. I think this actually might be a task. So 673, 737, nice. And 96. Okay, so those two levels we got from one farm run, which is huge. But I'm kind of running low on seeds now, so we'll need to figure out, well, we'll need to buy a bunch more basically. Our first dragon fruit, this might be a task, I'm not sure. I guess not. Good morning, everybody. 96 herb, three more levels to go. And yeah, just doing herb farming really now, trying to finish these two. Because after that, I can really start to just sell all the extra supplies that I have and I don't need to worry about it. Uh, right now, mainly I train herb when I would lose 
the herbs if I were to die. So I feel like it's better I get the XP first and then I don't care if I die with actual finished potions. Uh, but I'm gonna do this for a bit longer, probably finish another farm run because it is the morning and then actually start gaming. So we'll see how it goes today. Overnight, we actually maintained rank 16. So I have like 10 to 12,000 points extra from rank 25, which is really good. Finally have a little bit of breathing room and uh, I still have the chambers to do, the sire to do, grotesque guardians. I have a lot of points I can get and I still have a week to go so I'm not gonna rush them or anything like that. This is uh, this is pretty nice. Hey yo, somehow got to 97. I'm definitely stopping here, right? Surely. Hey, there's 97 farming. Uh, I swear after this farm run we're actually doing some gaming. Uh, but uh, oh, a million, a million XP to the next one. We're almost done though, almost. This is actually depression. My willow died. Fuck, maybe I can cast a resurrect spell, hold up, I'll figure this out. I can't have the willow die, I need branches. Okay, survive. Ah, there it is. Okay, so here I have a task, just to make a Celastrus from scratch. Uh, that did it. Elite task, by the way, that's gonna be a lot of points. It already counted. Okay, that's, that's good. I'm happy to have that done. I'm gonna harvest the rest of it. This can be okay, fletching XP and money actually, depending on how many of these we get since we get 5x. I'm skipping the whole snape grass, poison ivy and potato cactus because yeah, I don't wanna like risk being there for too long. So dragon fruit to go and we actually almost got another full level. So that's huge. But I think I forgot to open all my seed packs and I think I, there's like a lot of money hiding in that. So we're gonna see if we get any good stuff. There's one mahogany and you, you sells for 300k like right now it's so crazy mahogany is 50k willows are 40k each like i'll leave this in because this is so much money that you can make from these and there's a magic seed as well that's like 200k easily celastra seed that's like pretty decent as well and another spirit seed which is huge as well so all in all very good to do this it is just a little bit sketchy being in the farming guild for so long okay you guys already know what time it is we are gonna try to do the hespori challenge right now i failed it yesterday but if we look at the tasks, I still have like six days to complete this anyways, but 36 seconds. I think it should be very doable. We just need to be smart with how and when we spec. So we're going to grab claws on top of what we're already running. Vengeance, undead, and we're going to go with formidable fighter, consistency and feral fighter, hoping for those feral fighter procs. That is basically the idea. Hopefully it works. We pop this. I don't know. We prevenge again. We do this. We start the fight. I hope this always hits tens. I think it does. Boom into boom. Good procs. One. Two. Bam. Bam. And Brock. That has to be it. That has to be it. Come on. It wasn't fast enough. Oi, oi, oi. Ice actually is pretty damn hard. I don't know. What could I do better? Maybe one hit in between. Maybe the claws were a bit slow. Uh, it's gonna be hard to reach this one. I'm gonna obviously try every day, but I'm trying to reach 036. So basically, one hit faster. Maybe two hits faster. Okay, well, we'll go again. Okay, so here I need to stop and try to kill it with Venge. Like this. That was easy. Okay, and the next kill I'll try to focus on is a perfect one, which I still haven't done. But I do believe if we were to look at the combat achievements and go on the Resolra, it should be kill count, kill count, kill count... Basically perfect Zolra and that's it. So we have 150 kills to get lucky on one kill to finish the perfect Zolra. I think we can do it. Hey, there is 25 kill count for one of the tasks. No, this one hits me. Bro, I was right there. No, I didn't know it was gonna spawn there. I didn't see it. That was the perfect kill that I just ruined, by the way. Ay, ay, ay. 
Ah, silly goose. Ah, but we get rewarded with a magic fang. First drop from Zoldra on 27 kill count. And it's a decent one. That's a blowpipe, I believe, right? I'm gonna quickly take a look how much that goes for, but very happy. Oh, actually, never mind. That is a attachment for the staff and it goes for 1.5 million. So, I mean, I can't complain. It's free 1.5 milli. I'll just commit and hope I hit. I don't know if it's a good idea, but if I hit, I win. If this hits, it's perfect. Come on. I didn't take damage. Yes, dude. Perfect Zoldra. Yes. Now I just have kill count. So now I can bank all the random shit in my inventory. Oh my goodness. Dude, yes. Okay, nice. That's huge. That's huge. That's a lot of points. <laughs> Ladies, gentlemen, Breachman mode starting in a minute. The world is absolutely packed. I could go to Australian, but honestly, with this many people, it's like, it is mess as it is. We're starting on 142.2, currently ranked 17, and we'll see how many points we get. Honestly, if we get like 2,000 points, I'm happy. We can maybe get some early hits. Oh my, look at the amount of demons. That is a lot of people. Entity hide it on and just try to get some hits before stuff happens, because the start is usually when you can get some free points because people come to the bridge a little bit late and we got one emblem already so this time i'm only gonna pick up herbs and dragon items is what i'm thinking sigil of potion master and trinket okay didn't get the sigil but did get the trinket hey emblem trinket finally an emblem emblem trinket got it hey emblem Oh, Trinket. Another one yoinked. That's global drop and I've gotten like two of those. Little heli yoink. Okay, my bag is full, so I'm just keeping this dragon stuff here now. The breach ends in two minutes, so let's keep pumping damage. That's it. Good breach. Uh, let's see points. Ended on 144, basically 145. I don't know how much I started on, but I think this was a good breach. If we were to look at the bag. Oh, that's a beauty. These are all worth a lot of money, obviously. I was really focusing on trying to pick up alcohols because I don't need herbs that much anymore. I basically have 99 banked in herb. So that has been a really good breach. Also, if I were to refresh right now, we would be rank 16, which is really good. And we are like 12,000 points ahead of the rank 25, which is solid, but it's sketchy, man. Oppa! Is that the best thing? I think that's a... Wait, Serb Visi, is that the helmet? Please tell me that's a helmet. That is so expensive. It is the helmet. Oh my god. Wait, 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 wait. I will be using that probably in the final hour. But Serb Visi right now is 16 million. Okay, that is a huge drop. That is crazy, actually. That's a streamer luck right there. All right, let's make sure we put that to safety straight away. But now I have a, one more item for the final hour. Because then I don't need to worry about Venom. I don't need to worry about anything. Elite Clue Scroll. Let's see if we can do it. Sherlock. Should I do this instantly or what's the play? I could do this instantly. I just need to unattune my last recall. And then it's going to be remembering this place. I'll go do it. See what See what's up. Catch a black... Warlock. I don't think it's worth my time, I'm gonna be honest. How hard is this to catch? It's only level 45. This can't be that hard, right? What's my level? 34. So now I can just place this one and this. Good. How much XP do I need? What did I need? 45. But I just need to get to 40. So if this just gives me two level in Hunter, we're good to go. Nice. I can just play Exaggeration and complete the clue scroll. Is it like here, right? Hmm, there we go. So that did it, and now I can just speak to him again. And now I get a bloodhound thingy and we're good. Oh, he gave me another clue, scammer. Hey, yo. I don't think I can get there, can I? You need to do my arm quest, let's see. My, yeah, I'm not doing that. All right, well, it was a pleasure knowing you. See ya, buddy. <laughs> Which one is this one? Magic Fang on 60. That's a 30 drop. I think this one's the worst. I think this one's one miller. Toxic stuff. Yeah, it's only a mill though. But we'll take it. Third drop. We got a little elite clue scroll situation right now. So it's time for a little break. And it is time to check. We can definitely go to net is not. So we just eat to full. Relog. Bank our uh, last recall. And we go do this. I'll let him hit me. Hello. 
He didn't hit me. Nice fits. Thank you. Please. Yes, one stepper. Let's go. All right, here we go. Little elite glue scroll. Huh? What? I got a ranger gloves into ranger tides, tides combo. What's the bonuses on these things? This this is pretty good, by the way. All right, there we go, 98 herb. We're gonna try to push as close to 99 as possible, obviously. I don't know how many supplies I have or if, or if I'm even close enough, but we'll give it a shot. We'll try our best. There it is, another 99 on the account, 99 herb lore. Now I don't need to worry about just losing supplies. My biggest fear before that was when I die losing like, I don't know, 400 and an was like, well, if I lose 400 player potions, do I care? Not really. It's like 300k, 400k. So yeah, this is much better feeling. Uh, but right now it's going to be time to get some easy points that I have been missing out on. Every single diary that comes with runecrafting, as long as you're wearing Sigil of the Abyss, which gives you 10 times as many runes as usual, should be very easy to complete. So that's basically what we're gonna do. We should be getting a ton of points. So we're starting on 145, 800, and we're currently ranked 16 and it's getting really competitive. The rank 25 is only like 5,000 points behind. But if I click this, that should be Elite Diary and Easy Diary. And look at this, boom, just like that, points. And I'm gonna do that for a bunch of things right now. Okay, Water Runes, again, boom, a bunch of points, just like that. I think that should work. Elite and hard tasks done. Beautiful. Okay, so that should also be a bunch of points. Nice, it's so fucking free. There's another elite task. This is so OP, by the way. 171235. Just, just doing every single runecrafting task there is without actually having the requirement. Here's a little extra for some cosmics. Boom. Yoink. There we go. That worked as well. Nice. Okay, so big little skyrocketing points to 146.3. And I've done more or less all aside from blood runes. So let's go ahead, gear up and go do blood runes as well. I believe with this, all the diaries revolving... Shit. Well, we'll do this later. Now that I'm 99 herb, I can also go ahead and try to complete all the herbler related achievement tasks. Which, you know, will give me more points. So... When I said easy points, I meant it. It's a lot I haven't done because I haven't done many diaries. They are just amazing points, especially the elite and the hard ones. So if I just go in here and I do this, that's an elite task, which gives, you know, 60 something points. And then if you complete the whole tier, you get even more. So it's really good. Boop. 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 Nice. Okay, so boom and bam. Nice. Oh, don't tell me. I need to do barbarian minigame to do this. Ah. Nice. Well, that was annoying making this basket, but it's done. Doing a little bit of skilling, the bridge is in an hour, and I tried to get my smithing up to 86 because then I can do all the elite diaries for points. I can max it in the future, sure, but for now the first goal is 86, then I can plus 5 boost it to 91. It's pretty chill and I'm multi-skilling runecrafting whilst I do this as well. Maybe this level seems a little bit random, but it really isn't. 83 smithing now allows me to train the method that I will use till 99, and that is Adamant Plate Bodies. There it is. This will be super fast, good money, so it's gonna be just about perfect. 4 a.m. breach starting in one minute. Starting points 146.4. Hopefully we get to above 149, so that would be ideal. 2.5k points would be great. I'll go for Goblin. Nobody ever goes for Goblin. Actually, Rex. Nice, that's for sure mine. Yes, sir. Trinket and emblem. Okay, let's go. So, in this breach, I'm only gonna try to pick alcables. Like this mystic rope top. And dragon items. Because I don't need herbs anymore. Opa! Morrigan jabs. Nice. Another emblem. Emblem. Another emblem. I don't even know what I'm dying to. Like, does anybody have any idea what's damaging me even? Because I don't know. I have no clue.
I have no idea what was damaging me, but this shit is crazy. I should have been dead. I just saw 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, another 40. I don't know, man. This game is pretty fun. We made it out though. Holy shit. Absolute demon in Turbo Maximus on me. Fuck me, bro. That was crazy. I regeared super fast and we're back in action, but holy, that guy was scary. I think those were axes, but like, holy shit, those hurt. Another emblem, by the way. <laughs> Dude, I don't know, but this 4am shit is not working well for me. Dude, if I wasn't pre brewed to like, insanely high, would be, I would be dead. There we go, the breach is over, fellas. And the points... 150,000! Wait, that was insanely good breach. What? Oh, I gained so many ranks like this. Very early in the night, but before going to sleep, I'm going to collect all my trees, and since I don't know if it's enough for 99, I'm not going to replant anything. I'm just gonna run around the game and click check health and see what it gets us. That's one. 98. Boom. Bam. Okay, we got it, we got it. I'll just get it. I could cheese it, wait till this is grown and then get a massive XP drop. Wait, this is also big XP drop. Let's just do this one. It's not the biggest, but there it is. 99 farming on the account completed. No more farm runs are needed. We are free. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We are one minute away from the breach. We are currently ranked 17 after the sleep, 150,000 points. And uh, hopefully we get up to 153. That would be a good goal. So I would get 2.7k. But maybe we get more. Maybe we get less. Let's see uh, how it goes. That's the first one. Okay, we got a little trinket. And an emblem. And another emblem. And another one. Opa! Zuriel staff. Let's go. Nice. Another Zuriel staff. Second one. What's going on? I gotta be careful, I'm risking two Z-Staffs. But I really just wanna farm points. I don't really care about loot, to be honest. I mean, it's great, but just let me pump more points. Nice, another emblem. Okay, I'm being via nest. I should be okay. Good, good escape, good tank, for VLSs, good combo hit, and it just ended. This is literally 15 over, so I'm, I don't even need to go back. Let's see the points. A little bit short of what I was hoping for, but... Two Zuriel staffs we will take, trinket on top of that. Yeah, we can't complain. Now that the bridge is over, it is time to finish our goal of 91 smithing, and after that, I think 91 fletching. So, if you're seeing my stats right now, you may be a bit confused as to what is going on. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to reach the minimal requirements to complete elite achievements. Uh, so yeah, that's one more smithing level, but I think I have resources for even more, so smithing is probably going to be an easy 99 to get. Actually, a little correction, for fletching I will need 95 fletching, and for smithing I will need 91. Those are the levels that I'll need. So basically 5 minus that, right? So I'll need 86 and I will need 90. And there it is, the 86 smithing coming right through. I kinda think I'll finish this 99 anyways, so I'm just gonna go ahead and utilize all my bars before I lose them on death. You will have to do some, like, don't show me this again kind of thing. Yeah. Wait, no way we got in this easily that right now. Yeah, we did. But the that raid is crazy. Should go. Like, if you want to... S no, we do it. We do it. We just, just, no matter how shit it is, we just do it. I don't think we risk it, honestly. Even if it takes, like, long. On th yeah, that's okay. what I'm thinking. There's no point risking it. Like actually. Yeah, yeah I, I'm fine with that. Like, it doesn't matter if the raid is 40 minutes. Like, if, yeah. if we scout for 10 minutes or we go out and there's a PK right now, then we yeah, lose then time fun. anyways. Exactly. We're in. Let's just fucking have fun now. All right. Okay. <sighs> what do we need? <laughs> We're going to uh, get a purple off the bat, let me tell you. So this is just standard raid, right? Is there an easy raid as well or no? This is the easy raid. Oh, like is, uh, yeah, the entry is... mode. Or... Yeah, there is no entry mode on chambers. Ah, okay, okay. 
So here you can uh, go straight to the storage and you can like bang your combo food, the bruise. Wait, we are... how is this already up? The fuck? Because uh, they like made it a tiny storage. It's only private. We can't put shared items in here. But... Okay, so, yeah, I, can so just I just, I just my... bang my combo food and five bruise, three restores, I guess, for my yeah. escape after. And then I have uh, three bruise and two restores for this room. Okay, yeah. No, you can just hit. You can see the bar at the top, like how low HP they can go. So that's that's it. I don't think I can do. Can I do lower? You can do sixty six more damage. Now we can kill everyone. Okay. Was that the guy major? Yeah. Or was that the guy major? I don't know the difference. Um, you can see the one throwing the rocks is a ranger. Oh, that guy yeah, Bob with melee. Okay, I got it. But yeah, I take this Xerix Aid and Twisted together will uh, fall. I got an yeah. achievement. Yeah. And you take this. And perfectly. Yeah, balanced. we killed we killed them all really fast. So. Nice. If you stand on this tile, he will try to melee and he will get corner stuck. What is he doing? What's Brock cooking? Oh, come, come, come here and then walk back to that tile. So like if I just keep going here. Now he's not going to reach me and he will, you know, just stand here AFK. So uh, just take take a seed. Which one? Noxifer? B Butcher. We just need like 20 juice and 5, 6 mushrooms. Going. I take the planks? You can if you want to. It's points, but then you need hammer also. I'm getting hammer. Wait, because dragon more hammer uh, works, but this one doesn't. Okay. Yeah, the statius one doesn't. Actually, if you get the lock pick, take one because we can use it for team. Yeah, yeah, there was one. There we go. I got one. <laughs> Surely we get it right. It can't take much longer. As long as there isn't like a task for fast points, uh, like for fast clear or something. There, there, there are points for fast clear. Oh shit. There are well, speedrunner tasks. Then we fucked it up already anyways. But, uh, but uh, that's for solo, trio and five man, not for duos. Why not for duos? That's fucked up. Okay, we need to get the trio going then. Wait, there's a hammer, there's a hammer. Okay. We found it. Let's go. It's, it's, it's real. <laughs> it exists. Yeah. I'll drop the hammer and you just try to take build. Build. Oh my god. I should have taken two more, man. Could have made the biggest one. Yeah, but it's it's whatever. Private. I'm putting hammer in my private chest. Is that I like... actually don't know how many grubs it is for duo. For solo, it's uh, 30. Oh, I have so lockpick, so like... that's why it's going so fast now. Yeah, I did 74 TVing just for this room. How much rage KC do you have? Uh, only two normal and one challenge mode. Okay, so now since we both deposited like a lot, I'm just gonna add one to see. Yeah, we're done. We did all. You can drop lockpick. What do I pray on this guy? Melee, I guess. Yeah, come, 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 come. If he hits you, like, there he's gonna stop. We want to pull him away from the anvil. Also, I'm just gonna run around because it's easier than explaining. You see, he's melting. Dude, this room is the and best room in the game, what? Yep. How fucking broken is that? The hammer is so good. So now just pick up one Ooh. overload and drop it. Anvil no more. I got, like, a bunch of stuff. More tasks. <laughs> We're gonna get Tebow first raid, by the way. You would hope for Dex, I think. No, Tebow working. is 200 mil. Is it? Yeah, because it's gonna go to world 45. Oh yeah, it is 200 mil now. It was 100 mil uh, like two days ago. Yeah. I like Dex how you told me to not put it where the ice fiend is and I put it exactly where the ice fiend is. <laughs> I'm such an NPC, but... And just go all the way to the wall in the in the little like right over here. there. I don't, I don't think he sees you there. So he'll just target me now. Bro, raids is so chill once you're inside, I like it. Yeah, so now we're done with all the rooms, now it's just prep and all. That was all the rooms? Okay. Yeah, take a spade from the thing and start picking herbs. Okay, because that's Because you, you have higher farming level, so yeah, you don't ruin the patch like I do. Good. I'll be harvesting then, and then I'll give it to you in the shared and you make all the potions. Yes. Sounds like a plan, right? Yeah, really good. I'm walking. Are you cleaning them as well? Yeah, of course. Gamer. Boom. Just drop one bruise so you can... Yeah. Did I spec this? I'm specking it. Yeah. And then we mage. So you just stand here with long range. Oh, just okay. stand on this tile. With long range. Long Are you gonna be like... doing the running? Yeah. Okay, got it. Now we melee. Now it's gonna start doing special attacks because I'm not special skipping, but... Move on tile, move on tile. Just so like we don't spread flame if it, if it happens. I'll stay. Or I'll come to yeah, you. Yeah. Nah, I was oh. gonna say stay because I can tick the fire. Oh. Like, <laughs> <laughs> My bad. So if you see the spikes, just insta move. 
Oh my, I'm such an NPC. But yeah, you're doing fine. That's one out of three faces, and you probably only used like one brew. Oh my, that's a 40, by the way. <laughs> yeah, but that's um. Yeah, I didn't see it. That's uh, AOE damage. Now we need to send some good DPS. And hope it doesn't go heal phase. Ah, we good. Yeah. And now just to bow it down, yeah? Yeah, now we just stand on each side. And whenever it looks like to one of us, we both go in the middle. Yeah, what are we thinking? Purple of the bat or what? Yeah, th this is purple. Yes! Oh my god. I don't god. know what I got. I got Arcane Prayer! Why did it yeah. pop up, man? Why did it pop up? I had the fucking question mark in the thingy. No way we got a purple straight away. Of oh course I get Oh my purple. god, I got 4,000 points on top of that. Oi, oi, oi. Let's go, man. Do you have Arcane Unlocked? Yeah, I do, I do. Yeah, then it's 75 million the G. 75 mil? Just like yeah. that? Are you kidding me? That is crazy. Yeah, just, just drop all your potions, the raid potions. Yeah. And I drop one super restore because four super restores is enough. I rather want the Bruce and Mantas. Makes Arumba. sense, yeah. Okay. Climb steps and spam the teleport. Is it okay? Yeah, no, there's a guy here. Can I go and TP? You can TP now, yeah. I'm frozen though, but you can... I'm safe, I'm safe. Pre book is safe, so are you out? Yeah, I'm out. Nice, dude. That's huge, Holy by the way. Shit. Good job. Yes, Holy man. shit. My, my pulse is so high. I know. He was it. constantly hitting 50s. That's that one. But bad. yeah, I, I got the teleport. Holy shit. Nice. Oh my god. You can't insta teleport, actually. He I, I spam teleport, he tagged me right away. Yeah, you can't, you can't. I know. Yeah. That's why you're going first, because I had a drop. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's actually crazy. In and out situation, 75 million obtained, 5,000 points obtained, and we just went... Right, that is so insane, because we just got so many ranks. Okay, uh, whilst we're waiting for, you know, being able to do a couple more raids, we can actually start working on achievement diaries again. Uh, first one on the list is to make some rune darts within Varrock. Make some dart tips, make some darts, and that's big points right there. I think I can make a plate body here. Adamant plate body. This is a quick reminder to let you know that you should probably subscribe. Okay, so that was a hard task uh, that I didn't know. Uh, but I think I can finish this with mangled bones, hopefully. Okay, so I think I need to catch barehanded something. Yeah. There we go. So that's all I needed, I guess. And the next one, I just need to catch something with these. I actually think I need to get chewed bones from Mithril Dragon. I don't think I can do this. I mean, I can try. No, don't tell me any Taibo 1 Io 3 are done. What? No, do I need to have this done? I don't want to have this done. Let's see. Yeah, I need to do another quest in order to do this part. So I'm just going to go ahead and skip it for now. Fuck it. We just managed to sell an arcane prayer scroll for 75 million. Obviously, minus the tax, we get 74 million. That's actually a big tax, but that is a lot of money. So we will be splitting this two ways. But still, this can be a ticket for us to obtain a DFS, which will be absolutely huge. That's stage three. And then you stock on runite limbs and see you or crossbow string on rune crossbow hey there it is rune crossbow made diary done dude i'm just running around the game doing like all sorts of weird tasks right now but this should be another one yep okay don't laugh at me but i'm about to spend 750 million dollars on a shield right half to complete a diary it's a bit of an expensive one, but my goal is to eventually complete all the diaries anyways. The ones that I can. I'm also going to be questing for it. I still have like five days to go. Uh, but this one is <laughs> this one's a bit of an expensive purchase, not going to lie. But if you think about it, it's like you just loot a couple dragon, Hal is on the breach and you're good to go. So uh, all I need is hammer, this thing and another shield left half and we should be good to go. And there it is. So a bit of an expensive one, but hard task in RD area is now done. So that is completed. We got a little situation going on right now. <laughs> a little Rod's Rizgar over here going crazy. Look at him, dude. The fuck? You can hit from there? 
I mean, I can TP before you get here, homie. Yeah, what we doing? Like, talk to me. What we doing, my guy? Well, I managed to get <laughs> managed to get one agility level before uh, crazy Turbo Maximus showed up on my agility course. So it is what it is. There we go. Ended up getting a few more agility level. We're up to 79 right now. The goal is to reach 85 agility at some point somehow. But we do have a breach coming up in 10 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, get ready for that. It is a peak time breach. So expectations are not too high. But hopefully I will be able to get maybe to like 158. That would be nice. We'll see. We'll see what kind of points we get to. I don't know if we're going to get any points today. Not going to lie. Everybody is max breach right now. There's only like five days left on the tournament. And so everybody's gonna be getting to these worlds and for some reason we only have three worlds which is so little we should definitely have more worlds at this point first emblem of the situation here there's another emblem i would love to get the trinket of the undead actually because i forgot my thralls yet again yo let me tell you i'm picking this morrigans up okay we're being pk'd right now well we just got frozen and we just got emblem. I'm gonna let it slide for now. Maybe it was just like a one-off hit situation. I think I can get lost here in the amount of people. We should be alright. Sometimes the best thing to do is to not even run. Just zigzag so you can't get clicked. And stay in the action. And we just got a trinket as well. And we just got another emblem. I think that's it i'm not gonna overstay my welcome here and let's see the points okay exactly what i expected so 2.2k points about right we said we wanted to reach at least 158 and guess what we reached at least 158 so for a peak time it wasn't too bad it wasn't too good it was just about right decent amount of loot in the looting bag so remember the hydra leather that we thought was completely useless and like only like a mill uh, I managed to sell it for 6.4 uh, insta sell, which is actually quite a good price. So, gonna happily take that. Dude, I'm laying back, chilling, relaxing, 83 agility, I'm just pumping these levels. Two more to go, it's taking a little bit of time, I'm not doing it very fast. But once I'm 85, I'm done and I have like 2 hours and 50 minutes to kill until the next breach. So I'm probably gonna finish all the way to 85, start with all the achievements that require me to have agility, and then maybe move on to something more exciting. We'll see. For now, just chilling. It's getting late out here, but there's 85 agility. We got an hour left until the breach, um, but I think we might send CMs right now, so a little bit of cox. We'll see if it comes through though. So at this point, it was about one hour before the breach, and me and Satisfy decided to send some challenge mode raids. If you guys do not know, we tried to do raids for the last three days, and there's always PKers outside trying to hit us, but today we noticed that the PKers were in combat, so we managed to sneak through them and actually get inside the raid. Once inside, the plan was really simple. Get as many achievements as possible and try to do the raid in as fast of a time as possible. However, that ended up not really working out because not only did I disconnect once, but I disconnected twice and then I ended up doing the entire raid on 400 ping on my phone. In the process, we got a bunch of achievements completed. We got playing with the lasers, redemption enthusiast, also dancing with the statues. And ultimately, the final boss was actually really simple with titanium relic, precision and ninja. And at the very end of the raid, we saw a nice purple light in the pop-up and we got ourselves a dexterous prayer scroll. Throughout this whole time, we're absolutely stressing because we are going to be late for the breach no matter what. So I ended up using the last 10 minutes that we had in order to quickly gear for the breach and ended up spending about 10 minutes at the breach trying to get as many points as possible. But I ended up being attacked a lot in this breach. In the end, we still pulled through with three emblems overall and we finished today's episode as a rank 15 and a lot of money in our pockets because both of the prayer scrolls sold for 75 million each. Good morning, a deck scroll actually ended up selling for 80 million slow sell. So this is going to be a massive 40 million split because it was a duo. What a, uh, what a day yesterday. What a day. Made 160 mil of two prayer scrolls just like that. So there you go. This is going to be huge for the account. And this is going to help us afford the last pieces of the biz gear for the final hour. Starting off with a nice little emblem. And we're starting on 163,000 points basically. 163 point almost nothing. So let's see what we get to. 
Okay, we got a little trinket. Okay, emblem number two. There's emblem number three. Trinket of fairies. Yoink. Emblem four. Emblem five. Six. Seven. Got a lot of back-to-back -back ones. Eight. Okay, we're pumping. Nice. Okay, let's take a look. From 63 to 66,000. So, honestly, good breach when it comes to singles. Nice amount of emblems and decent amount of loot as well. Okay, I've done enough AFK. Let's go ahead and get some points. Start off with a lot of agility tasks. First, we make a little lap on the RD course. There we go. That should be nice points. Ah, that's the one. Okay, nice. Okay, so I think this is the one. <laughs> Doing a bit of trolling. Okay, we're gonna try to do this clue scrum quickly. It's a bit in the sketchy area, but I think we'll be fine. Nice, instant casket. This is also the potential to be pretty good loot. Oh, master scroll book. That actually sells for a decent amount of uh, money. Everything else is kind of meh. I might actually just keep it, to be honest. Could put all my scrolls in this. This one's a little random, but we need to do a quick jump into the wilderness here. There we go. <laughs> this is all multi, but we need to do one lap as a monkey. There we go. Simple as that. Oh yeah, this is also one of the tasks. Forgot I planted this, but that's hard thing done. There we go. Nice and easy. Right after we do this jump, done, nice. Wait, that's it, I've completed Elite Diaries in Karamja just by doing that. These were really easy, but I need to do the previous tasks in order to get the bonus points, I believe. So I guess my goal will be to try and complete all the Karamja Diaries then? Oi, 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 I guess we have to do it then. I'll have to do some quests though, like Taibo Wanai Trio, but that seems like the only thing I really have to do. So I'll go grind out this entire diary and let's see how long it takes. Okay, well, we got caught a little bit. There we go, nice and easy. Nice and easy. Cool, calm and collected. Here's a little trick I always love showing. If you step on this tile and chop this tree, you can just bypass the whole jungle, just like that. Uh, and now I'm doing just, uh, I'm going from elite to hard towards easy because uh, the other side is a little bit camped by a few PKers. Okay, we need to kill one of these birds. A little bit annoying. It's even in multi-area. But there it is, all of this for that task. I'll let this guy do his thing. We just need to kill a metal dragon in here. Okay, so that should do it. I believe we just need to go up here as well. And we did everything in this place. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna need these for the quest. This is so sketchy, I have like no inventory space. Hey, there we go, Taibo 1i Trio completed, a bunch of fishing, cooking, attack and strength XP, and we can now complete Karamja tasks. I believe I need to speak to all of the brothers though real quick, and they give me extra rewards. So that's 50,000 fishing. Okay, so I think this guy teaches me how to cook Karam once. So let's go ahead and take a look, which is the task, which is why we did this whole quest. Hey, there it is. So that's uh, now a hard task done. And lastly, I can also speak to this dude, which gives me back my rune spear and a bunch of melee XP. I think I did all the quests, so let's get to safety. Okay, that's the lobster caught. Okay, that's grappling over this thing. Okay, jump over here. There we go. 
<clears throat> mine a little gold dot over here. There we go. Huh. I think that did it. Nice. Let's go back to Brimhaven. There we go, just like that. I think that's also done. So I can just take this seaweed a few times. There we go. Okay, that's an easy task. And I think that completes all my easy diaries. Thank you very much. Just pick one more just in case if I burn my umli. There we go. I think I can dip. Okay, if I wrap it. There we go. Wrapped umli. And now I think I just cook it. Umli wrap. Bam. Done. Oh, there we go. Is this just in Deadman mode? Is that how it works? So hearts are done. Everything is done, just mediums left. Oh, there's gonna be so much rewards once I do this. I think some mediums are a little bit annoying, but let's get it done. So that should do one part. Yep. Okay, that did it instantly. Perfect. There we go. We're going to Port Kazar. That's gonna be a nice little task. Perfect. Come on, buddy. There we go. Thank you. There we go. So that does it. Okay, so just to double check, I need one of these. And I'm just gonna chop one of these as well, even though I think I've already done it. So if I were to just make sure right now and check, I don't have many more tasks to do. This is easy. This is easy. 100% favor in this place. And then spider on a stick is with that. Oh, okay. And this is easy. So let's just start working on 100% favor over here. This will take a little bit of time. Okay, let's take a look if this works. So we get a spider carcass that I can then use on skewer sticks to create spider on a stick. And I believe I just cook it and that's uh, the task. So here's the fire, use spider on a stick, on a fire. And there it is, nice. So now I just need 100% type of one eye favor, which actually takes long time. So yeah, we'll see how this goes. No way I got a supply drop from a tribal guy. That's funny. Dude, I can't believe I'm doing this. I'm only 50% done and I've been at this for probably a little bit too long. Plus non-stop staring at the minimap if I see a red dot. Oh man, it's it's annoying this thing. But have to get it up to 100% and then hopefully all the XP we get out of it is going to be worth it. So I've done a little bit of thinking where I would put my XP in. I need to do blood runes. So I need 72 rune crafting. So I will put my XP into room crafting until I reach 72 and then the rest might actually just go I don't actually know where agility is pretty fast now that I can do RD thieving it's pretty fast I can just save zone the the RD night if I wanted to max so there's like a lot of options that I can do so maybe I'll just chuck everything into room crafting to be honest it would probably make sense because what other skills this is easy easy super easy giga easy Mining might not be that easy, but it's kind of easy if you know what I mean. Agility, easy. Thieving, easy. Crafting, maybe. Maybe. That's a big maybe here. Fletching, super easy. Hunted, kind of easy. Yeah, we'll figure it out when we get there, I guess. Oh my goodness, there it is. Medium task completed. Let me get out of here, man. Oi, oi, oi. Here we go, that does it. Little agility arena ticket, but most importantly, the task is done. And now, if I'm not mistaken, I just have two super simple ones. Hidden wall and to go to the Crandor. Boom. And one more thing. Oh my god, it took so long. It took so long, but I hope it's gonna be like really worth it. I don't know how many points I will get if I complete everything. Maybe I need to actually claim the rewards in order for me to get the points. That's it. That's everything done. I think I just got a bunch of points, didn't I? Like 400 plus. We're gonna get a bunch of XP. So let's get out of here. So that's the first lamp, we pop it on rune crafting for 10,000 XP. There's a second one, we chuck it on rune crafting, that is 50,000 XP. And that is more rune crafting for 100,000 XP. We want this to be 72, there's 66. And another achievement diary, there we go, the last gloves, rub this. I need level 70 to use it on a skill. You are Fucking joking, man. Maybe I'll do it on mining then or something. I don't know. I'll have to figure it out. That is a bit annoying. Uh, do I get any bonus points? I do not, just for the levels that we got. Okay, so there's a lot of tasks that give 
points when it comes to thieving and since thieving is pretty close to 70 I'm just gonna push to 70 use the lamp on thieving get a little bit of bonus XP there because this would take me too long and you can't actually bank this lamp so that's why I'm gonna do it and I also want to do some raids with the boys so we're gonna chuck it on to thieving which honestly it's not that bad okay it's it's not ideal but it's not too bad I mean what else could I chuck it on agility as I said it's really fast if I wanted to train it uh, and thieving I really just need level 80 thieving in order to do most of the actually pardon I need level 86 thieving so that's gonna take quite a while to get to uh, the more XP I have earlier the less I will fail on the nights the faster the XP will be so it's just gonna make sense there it is 70 thieving we can now use the lamp on the thieving and get 500 1000 XP and get all the way to level 75 which speeds it up by quite a long shot So now I'm gonna gear up for some uh, raids. It's gonna be fun I think solo mission is joining us and obviously Satisfy is probably gonna stay as well. So should be fun if we can get in. Hello oh, Hello. Yo, what's up dude? Hello Dude, how are you still alive, but holy I mean you already want to be honest I quit. Yeah. Yo, Solo, thoughts about my gear? Watch this. I'm going into complete shit gear, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> look at this, look at this. What are we thinking? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm Yeah, good. I mean, it's fine. There's a guy inside here. I mean, he's using R in staff. Rune crossbow. I'm gonna be outside to see if somebody else is coming, huh? Wait, why well, Solo's gonna cook him up, though? I'm so shit at this, man. Fuck. <laughs> You're a crocodile killer. Dude. <laughs> How do you guys do this, man? Can I hit crocodiles? Here, I'll fuck him up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you're supposed to kill him. Dude, say less, man. This is what I'll do. I'm half and two. <laughs> wow. <laughs> there is actually no way, by the way. Yeah, but the only way I do this is the 32 second one clicks. Mm -hmm. Or do I melee it? Fuck it, I'll just melee it. I mean, you probably end up dying doing that. Really? Does it hit hard? It chump, when it chumps you, it does chump you hard. I have Titan, though. I'm <laughs> chilling. I'm actually chilling. Okay. How many TOAs have you done, Miko? Like three? <laughs> okay, <laughs> and they were like all easy, you know? Like uh, like 100 in vacation and 150 <laughs> or whatever. Dude, when melee actually kind of hits, though. Yeah, melee is good. What rank are you now, Miko? Still like 25. 15 or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. I'm chilling, it's but it's so it's really hard when you can't do like multi bosses. Like, it's yeah, actually it's hard like to get the, 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 the multi breaches are so OP. But to be fair, my rank is mostly because I just did the multi breaches. Like, really? You think so? I think it's all the yeah. KBD kills, uh, no? No, 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 no. Because the KBD, I've only done like 2k KBD. That's like 20k. Yeah, but that's a lot of points. 20k points is. No, but then, like, honest, honestly, it is the breaches. Like, it's literally 7k of breach in multi. Oh, shit. I get, yeah, I get like 2 to 3k in singles. Now, you guys are leaving Shh. first, and then I'm tapping out, let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm calling Reese, bro. Not Reese, man. I was fucking. You know how long I was in that bank for? Just chugging <laughs> bruise? Nah, 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 nah. You don't wanna know. Like, I had no mage gear on me because I was, like, doing TOB first time. And my dumbass was like, yeah. okay, yeah, I don't need mage. Yeah. yeah, like, I, and, and I, I wanted to leave through the gate, right? And you need the quest yeah. to do it. So. Yeah, no, I know. Yeah. I was so fucked, man. <laughs> oh, curva. Oh, my God. <gasps> Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it, I'm bowling, man. <laughs> hey, thanks for the cheer, but the guys appreciate it. Let's go. <laughs> Wait, did you get something for that? Yeah, I did. I did perfect scabbers. <laughs> <laughs> Why are we holding on to it? What's going Dude, on? I don't know, man. <laughs> Oh fuck, I'm spited! <laughs> no, I'm not drinking it, I don't care. Can there be like a... <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Shut the fuck up! <laughs> I'm trying oh, my no, best, wait, man. You, you, didn't get, you didn't get murdered, for fuck's sake. No, I hope no. you got um, dunged, but you didn't. Don't, dude, come on, man. Also, I still have a broad pickaxe, for fuck's sake. <laughs> oh my god, what mining level are you? Dude, I'm level 70, let me tell you. Oh, I'm 56, so it's still probably better than me. So I've heard that you stand here and when it's green you click. That's all I know. Yep. Oh, oh, did you like that? Did you like that? That was crazy. <laughs> I've never done that in my life. <laughs> that was smooth, man. Dude, this is good gameplay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're just chilling. 
Just don't do whatever <laughs> Solo is doing. <laughs> <laughs> nice. This is fine. Oh my. Yeah, nice. yeah, yeah. Dude, there's, there's some gamers in this raid, holy shit. Do we place bets now? I bet like 50% I'm dying after the raid. <laughs> Get your guardian angel on. You're gonna be the, no, the no, victim no. shit. No, no, <laughs> no, no, I don't. up to the sky. <laughs> Back everything. It's fucking 23 mil, man. I can't afford that. Did you see, did you see Rake seated? That yeah, I did, 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 did. did. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Oh, I can't remember which one, which ones group up and which ones separate out. We split first and then we group after. Okay. Oh. Ah. Oh, he's see, you see the movement, like, come on now. He's learning. Yeah, just focus on the floor movement more than anything else. Yeah, as I said, if you guys want to help out by literally saying, okay, like, start on the right, start on the right okay, side. Okay, okay. Just need to get the read. Just need to get the read and done, bro. This is easy. Relax. Okay. Ah, fuck. <laughs> 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 Stop, 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 I just did- it's lag, man, I swear. Oh, shit. Fuck. Oh, no. I'm so That's bad. Okay. I, th I hope you guys- I'm so sorry, by the way, I'm really shit. Nah, we should- we should be fine. Yeah, don't worry. Dude, I feel so bad, I'm so shit at this, man. But I think they- they got this, they're really good. Okay, watch your one. Okay, a little purple now. <laughs> I can't wait what right. I'm Wait, are we splitting or are we- Oh, yeah, of course, of course. Yeah, we can split. Dude, okay. of course we're splitting, oh. otherwise I get nothing. <laughs> <laughs> of course Meek is splitting, he's in the cage, bro. <laughs> Dude, let me get something, oh, it's man. it's mine, bro. Dude, let's go. Wait, is it mine? Is it mine? <laughs> How do you even know whose it is? There's a, if, you, if you see the key, then it's not yours. Yeah. Oh, come on. I've actually been so lucky in Raid Uniques. Please. Please be something big. Oh my god, come on. Wow. Oh, nice. nice. Is that nice, good nice. or? No. It's... That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you're trolling or not, man. <laughs> what no, do you no, no, what, what, feed, what feed do you have? I have like three brews. Show me all your food. Show me all your food. <laughs> nah, I know you got more. I know you got more than that. <laughs> That's it. Oh shit, the manta race. That's crazy. <laughs> I know something funny. I had a trinket of the undead in that trade, and I don't think I used it once. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, whoops. This is a quick reminder to let you know that you should probably subscribe. Dude, how is this possible, by the way? When we were trying to do this, we got bolted like perma. Yeah, there was no way we could even enter. We this couldn't room. even start. Oh, really? Solo yeah. pulls through, we can do like, it's like we can just do them over <laughs> and over again. This is something is not right here, like I don't know what's going on. <laughs> no, it is Monday though. So what happens if we don't uh, kill the shadow in time here? Well then we all take damage. Okay, okay. My goal is to not completely choke on the final boss this time, like if I manage that it's good. It's just that I think when I did it first time it was slower, I think. Oh so, yeah, that's so my brain slower. is like uh, it's probably, it probably was like two ticks slower. Yeah, yeah, more. and so my brain is like used to that because I've only done like three raids before. Yeah. So and then it goes like fast, and my brain is just what the fuck. <laughs> oh my god, forty. I Wait, guess I... wait, how did you? What? I got fucking. Oh my god, that's so dumb. Oh my. Oh. God. Madero! <laughs> no kurva! Madero! Oh my god, bro! Oh, there's no way, man. I'm so sad. Uh... Dude, I accidentally clicked the boulder that was like three years behind me, man. We get a little purple and then we dip. What did I do? Oh, I'm stoned. <laughs> stop, 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 stop. I accidentally fucking tapped out, man. I swear I clicked my card game there. Oh. <laughs> stop, 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 I need to focus, man. I'm already struggling. So it starts right, yeah? Yeah, it starts right. Then left, then, you and have then to, mid. You, 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 yeah, you have to follow it when it does the special attack thing. Yeah. Dude, I have a new technique, just stand under solo mission. <laughs> it's a good strat. <laughs> just follow me. No, it's, fo it's working, though, look. <laughs> I don't know why I've got my pet here. Because <laughs> 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 it really helps. Just watch out, if, we're, if, if we get bolded now, we get double bolded. Yeah, I'll go back a bit, yeah, my bad. Yeah, just spam breeze. <laughs> wait, wait, what are you running to? 
I'm, you're, you're gonna end the share. No, balls, that is so sad. <laughs> I died right at the end, man. <laughs> he just sprints off oh, from his <laughs> Bro, I, that was so sad, though. I think I did great, okay? No, that was good, that was good. That was Holy good. shit. It, it's, it's super chaotic at the end, man. That so is hard. messy. I mean, I I was like, so like, so like I got another, one, another one. That's wow. crazy, man. Nice. Get the Mazzoni body real quick. Come on now. Quick stuff for the boys. Quick stuff for the boys. I can Let's go! Dude, that's kind of chill, man. That was really fun. I was yeah, it's, it. clear. It's, clear. it's clear. I just go out and tell you. Okay, nice. Sick. <laughs> I was so tempted to just attack you then. <laughs> nah, no way. You wait, you would never do that. You would never do wait, that. Like, wait, did you did you vote TP? Yeah. Yeah, I tell you that. I'm, oh, I'm gonna go for dinner. Yeah, I see. Nice. See. see you later. Thanks for the raid. Right, I see. I see. I have a good one. Yeah. Good see ya. Alright, bye bye. Oh my god, that was so fun. And we got decent amount of points. We're now up to rank 13, which is uh, really good, actually. Really, really good. Boys, this is a beautiful sight to see. Mazori body purchased for $75 million. Man, the benefits of Rigor and Augury are coming through. This is gonna be a beautiful piece. And as you guys know, I already have an armadillo body, which I can then use to fortify this Mazori body. So absolutely phenomenal piece of equipment this is, and uh, I'm excited to use it. After the nicely successful raids, I'm just gonna go ahead and chill a little bit with thieving some Knights of Ardi. The goal is to reach 91 thieving, so basically 86. So that's gonna be quite a process of left clicking, but every level we make it a little bit faster. I can do most of the tasks with just 84 thieving, so I'm just gonna get one more level and then I'll worry about the 91 thieving task later, I think. There it is. So that's an elite task, I believe. Now let's get one more level and then we do... Well, then we have the breach actually, but yeah, let's get it done fast. There we go. We now theoretically have 84 thieving, which is the requirement to steal from the rogue's chest in the wilderness, which I wasn't going to do anyway, so I don't know why I got that, but we have it. So let's do a couple of tasks. Little drive by to this door. And there we go. That's a little task. Quickly yoinking a gnome here for a hard task. Okay, more tasks after the breach. We have two minutes. Let's set it up. Uh, this is a beautiful amount of points to start the breach at. 171,000, exactly. That's gonna be emblem for sure. Never mind. <laughs> ah, well, apparently I got it from the other guy though. At least I don't think much people are gonna be finding me in this mess, hopefully. Little emblem, another emblem. Uh, this guy literally said another emblem in the chat, bro. I see me. Dude, pick is on every corner, man. Look. Pick air, pick air, pick air. And then all the boys chilling in the center. Oh, we're getting pick aid. Uh oh. Oopsie doopsie. Are we good? Is he off me? No, I think I'm being maged. Just brew up. Zoom it out. Don't see who's on me. We go again. Okay, well he's on someone else now. Maybe I can run back in without getting insta jumped. Think we're okay. Like the hardest thing is getting into the mass of people, I think. I probably lost a few hundred points with this quick bank, but what can I do? I would take this emblem. Ooh. Trinket and emblem. Hey, we take the emblem. <laughs> Another trinket with the emblem. GG's, how many points? 173.2, so I think that's 2.2k points, right? Nothing too crazy, but not too low either, so we'll take it for a singles breach in the peak time, 9pm. We'll take it and we had to tank a peak air, so... Not bad, not good, not great, mediocre, we'll take it. Still decent rank on the leaderboards, I think I'm ranked 13 at the moment, so... There it is, little doggo. That's what we gotta kill. There we go, that's Shadow Hunt defeated for a hard task. There we go, little Falador hard. We take those. I didn't even know that was a thing. Hey, that worked, I think. Yep. So as you can see, now that I've trained my thieving, I'm just going around and 
doing all the thieving tasks that I can think of that uh, give just a little bit of points, but it adds up. And passively, I'm also working on a bunch of diaries, which I don't really know which ones I will be able to complete yet. Uh, but once I complete like one skill, one skill, one skill at a time, I do a bunch of these tasks. Then eventually I will see which quests are worth completing in order for me to be able to complete another tier of diaries. So that's basically how I'm going about this. And so far it's been going pretty well. Like even stealing fish here, yoink, 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 stolen. Hmm. I don't actually know since when this is the safe zone, but I'm gonna do a little bit of pyramid plunder because it should be pretty decent XP. I just need to see if I can enter any banks here. There should be a bank down here, right? I don't know if this one is safe or not. Not safe. Okay. Wait, the whole pyramid plunder is multi. This could actually be pretty bad. If a team decided to just camp on the first floor, that could be really shit. That is sketchy. Well, let's hope there is no team, but there's something about the fact that it's multi that is when I just want to chill, I don't really want to do it because I don't know, man, it's just, it's just unsettling. So I'm just going to go and steal some regular knights because they do about the same job. Shout out to whoever bought my umli rep for 150k. <laughs> Dude, I just made two and threw one in and I guess it is made for diary and I guess you can just spend 150k on it. I guess it's not the worst idea, you know. All right, enough skilling for now. 83 thieving. Well, I say skilling. I mean clicking this thing. I'm gonna go AFK fish for a bit and just vibe until the next bridge is what I'm thinking. This is a little bit of a shame because I will not be getting XP for this redwood tree. But if I did, I would get 224,000. However, there is a task where I need to chop a tree down here, I believe. And there it is, an elite task. And wait a second. Enhanced remote storage. Resources gathered from mining, fishing, woodcutting and farming will be automatically sent to the bank. So why is this not being sent to the bank then? Next thing, I think I will try to do the Hespori speed task again. See if I can make that one work. I still haven't been able to, but we're gonna keep trying. Oh, but there's a PKer now, man. One, two, boom. That's gonna be it for sure. Yes, we got it for two seconds faster. Huge, nice. Two seconds. That's amazing. And we got five kills, right? Or, no, don't tell me that that didn't do it. Oh, I don't think that did it, by the way. No. No, it didn't do it. I think it's 34 I need to get. No, 36. I was... No. I was one second too slow. This is complete disaster. Well, we're gonna plant another one and go again tomorrow, but one second. I'm yeah, just doing a bit of crafting. This is a very expensive sport at the moment, but I'm trying to get this up to a decent level as well. The crafting level that I will need is going to be 79, so I can create a black dragon hide body with a plus five boost. These are the uncuts I have so far. I'm slowly buying them. It's taking a lot of time though. Here's 75 crafting. Oh yeah, we're starting on 173.8 points. First emblem. Second one. Okay, we're being attacked. Quickly, bro. Still gonna try to hit even though I'm being attacked. Most importantly is I keep bumping. Even was being hit while being frozen. Yeah, I'm still being hit. Still gonna shoot a bit. Get a TP out, bank, come back fast. Oh my god, I got a VLS, by the way. That is massive. I'm not gonna bank, though. It's, like, really good to have a VLS, but don't need to bank. Just gonna try to pump damage. But that's amazing. Mm, not gonna go for this. Did get another emblem, though. And another one, but I'm kind of scared. Oh, I don't need a spade, I guess. I'll pick it back up, though, because otherwise I will forget to buy another one for the next time. There's, like, Barrow's Bridge. And that's gonna be everything. Just wait for the loot. There we go. Points wise, I think it was pretty decent. Ooh, that was like 4k plus points. So that is extremely good. Definitely not a lot of people on today because it was 4 a.m. on a what? On a Tuesday or a Monday. Uh, so really good. And on top of that, we also got a VLS, which uh, goes for a lot right now. I think it goes over 10 million. So that's perfect. We are going to be ending today off as a rank 16 overall. I have about 20,000 points of room between the rank 25 and about... 
27,000 points room between rank 26. I will be spending the rest of the evening, well, basically going to sleep and waking up for the next bridge, but also doing a bit of skilling. Uh, 80 crafting is the first on the menu. Finishing up 72 room crafting is very close after that. And then the account is more or less done and we're gonna go back to just killing bosses and getting kill counts. be all the crafting levels we are going to need. I have a bit of extra and I might as well use it. All right, now we can do the crafting tasks first. Black dragon hide body in Canifis bank. Okay, this should work. There we go, much better. So I think I need to make this. Yeah, that's another... Ooh, I didn't know that. I've completed all elite tasks in Fremenic. I'll see if I can complete everything else as well, but that's... Because that could be really good. There we go. Nice and easy. There we go. Perfect amount of darts fletched for 90 fletching. Now with 95, I can finish the next task. I could go for 99, but it's pretty expensive. So I will see if I need to. Oh me, oh my. Good morning, fellas. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I am so dead today. Holy moly. This is going to be the most dead breach, uh, meaning there is the least amount of players on uh, this is very low amount of players. Usually it's always over 200, uh, but somehow, some way, not a lot of people online right now. So I'm looking forward to this. Hopefully it's a good run. Okay, let's see. The star today, 177.3. Sigil of the Ninja. <gasps> what? I missed it. I didn't have inventory space, did I? That was just Ninja just chilling on the floor. That's crazy. <laughs> Finally got an emblem. Took a little bit of time. Emblem number two. I'm being VLS. Interesting. I think I'm still good to stay. Here we got another emblem. Got another emblem. The food situation not looking too hot though. Got a trinket as well. That is it. Get out. Okay, points. 181,000. I think that's really good, no? I think it's 4,000, right? For a single bridge, that is actually really, really good. If I were to quickly relog, uh, we're gonna quickly check what kind of rank this would give us right now. At the moment, it looks like we would be rank 13, which uh, really, really solid. Not gonna lie. Before I forget, I'm just gonna do one of those. That's an elite diary, nice. Might as well do all of them. Ooh, first skill back, we got another Hydra Leather, which at the time when we first got it was pretty useless, but now it goes for like 7 to 8 million. Uh, so this is very good drop actually, so we will absolutely take that. Uh, I'm just getting re-familiar with Hydra a little bit, and then at some point I'm probably gonna send a low HP Darok kill as well. Uh, okay, we got a Alchemical Hydra Heads, which I don't think is very good, but it's a new collection thing, so we'll take it. Okay, let me try it. Okay. Oh, I choked it. Shit. Two magic. Three magic. I think. <sighs> oh my god, I'm lucky as fuck. I did it. No pressure. First try. Nice. Okay, now I can just focus on doing standard kills and I don't need to worry about it. Ooh, another unique. Very nice. Uh, yeah, I wasn't looking forward to this, but I did it in the first try. So very nice. And now I can just uh, go back to my range and do chill kills. And eventually we're then also we're hoping to get the speed task as well, but it's kind of hard. But maybe if I had a proper Tebow, I could do it. But as you can see, what's remaining is 75 and 150 kill count. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish this entire task. And we're probably going to get some good loot in the process as well. All right, this is now a pretty damn good trade. Sh uh, Shadow is 200 mil, Tebow is 200 mil. And we're doing this trade because I'm trying to get a speed Hydra done. So I will be risking this 200 mil whilst doing it. And this shadow was actually given to me by a viewer, which uh, hopefully I can find the clip and showcase it here. Dude, this is actually so insane. So Mr. Kite over here is uh, has a little real Tumican shadow 
And I got a really nice DM from him. And we're gonna try to utilize this shadow to get more points than we otherwise would. It is a scary item to have because it is worth like 200 mil and I don't want to risk it. But... That is actually kind of crazy, so that's really, I don't know, I, I don't know, that's kind of insane, not gonna lie. We're gonna try to use this at the breaches, probably die for it. Ooh, we'll see how it goes, man. But this is gonna be pretty helpful, I'm not gonna use it for too long, I'm just gonna use it until I get a task, and then I'm gonna go back to standard Twisted Bow. But there it is, it looks absolutely gorgeous, let's see how the kills translate when it comes to speed. Oh, we got a 128 kill just then. New PB, but not fast enough yet. Yes! 119, one second faster. Okay, that's huge, we did it. Oh my god. Now I can just do standard relaxing kills without needing to worry about venging, dropping to like no HP, doing all these crazy shenanigans. I can just chill and kill the boss, which is so good, man. So good. I'm gonna go for 150 kill count. Uh, because then I will complete every single combat achievement when it comes to Hydra. This is a quick reminder to let you know that you should probably subscribe. Oh, brimstone key. Nice. I really should make it so this is shining, by the way. Oppa, another Hydra tail. I don't think that's very useful, though. But, I mean, we'll take it. Also, I'm pretty safe when I do this boss, so I think I'm gonna turn the stream on. I'll just go out here and turn it on real quick. Opa, veteran alchemical hydra for a little bit of points, we take those. Thank you very much, game. Now we just need 75 more kills and we're done with this boss completely. Final is probably gonna be very laggy and I expect a lot of clans to avoid each other. It's just gonna be a multi-fight, which I think is a shame, man. I really, I really enjoyed the 1v1s, but that's also part of the reason why I really decided to play for points in this tournament is because, I mean, 1v1 is not gonna be a thing, so I don't know, I can't really get points that way like I used to, just like hard practice for 1v1s and then try to do the best that I can there. Th this one is literally just a PVM tournament, basically, and then the multi-fight is, you can just go either way. There's not much you can control there. Ah, there it is, the beautiful... 100 kill count for some mystic robes. Uh, I will be going for 150 because I will be getting bonus points for combat achievements. But right now I'm just gonna do it for maybe like 15 minutes more and then we're gonna get ready for a breach. But yeah, now we start getting less and less points for every Hydra kill count. Hydra's Fang, is that the second part of the ring for us? And the full ring is actually worth decent money by the way. So this is pretty solid actually. Yeah, Brimstone Ring is 10 million. You know, that's not bad actually. 9 p.m. breach is starting in a couple of minutes and if you look at the amount of people 360 we're probably not gonna get a lot of points uh, we're starting basically at 18 if i get 2k points i'll be happy first emblem obtained oh this is so many people on this bridge by the way look at the mess okay we're having a pk on us immediately but criara might be able to stop him so if i just Maybe I'll run. Okay, I'm just gonna stay here. I still have a lot of supplies. If I just keep running in the mass, I think unless they're using Entity Hider, I should be okay. Yeah, VLS, I can tank it. We'll TP out of this one. Ah, finally, a little emblem. Morning guns. Oh, I got it. Nice. That's a lot of money right now. Little emblem. That's it, right? Let's just dip. No looting needed, point-wise. I don't fully remember where we started, but I think it is around 2k points we, we just got, which is, we'll take it. For the amount of people on the server, we will take it. Did 85 to 88 thieving over here in safe zones, just pickpocketing Knights of RD. The goal is to get to 91, because then I can complete all the achievement diaries and you cannot boost for it. So I might thieve a little bit more, or maybe I'll go back to Hydra for a bit. Oh, that's actually a pretty good drop, Onyx Vault E. It's like 500k. Uh, I'm up to 114 kill count, just trying to get to 150, and then we'll be done with the Hydra. Oh, another Onyx Vault drops. So I have basically a million in my bag right now. Way, no way. This is really good. This completes our ring. And ring is actually really good money right now. That is easily like 12 mil at the moment. Obviously, three pieces of the Hydra create a brimstone ring. And Brimstone Ring is a really nice ring, so yeah, very happy to have this done, actually. Oh my, we just got a jar of chemicals. There is actually no shot. I'm pretty sure if we get a lens, we've gotten every single drop, but how how sick is this jar? We can put this in the house, 
make our house look really sick. We'll take it. It's a pretty useless drop otherwise, but I like how it looks. So I'm pretty happy with it personally. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, these trips are going kinda crazy. We're getting dragon items, hydra bones, full inventory of loot. I mean, this is pretty solid. Now, if we combine hydra's eye, heart, and fang, we can create a brimstone ring. And if I quickly take a look at the site of how much this costs right now, uh, it actually costs 12 million at the moment. So I might chuck it in the market for like a bit more than that because I don't think there's many in the game. And I think this is generally a very good ring to have. I think only one ring is better and that is ring of suffering for the last hour. So very good. Whoppa, Sigil of Precision from Hydra. That is a very good drop. I don't know how much this goes for at the moment. We're gonna check after the trip. Oppa, another brimstone key. Uh, I guess we'll open these when I'm completely done with Slayer. I probably have about five of them. I don't know if there's any tasks revolving these, but I know you can get some decent loot through them. Okay, so looks like we're ending on 141 KC right now because apparently we have a five men hard mode TOB going on. So I can't really miss that and we'll just have to come back here later. So I'll gear up for that and we'll see how it goes. Just doing a little bit of a Hydra sale right now and the Brimi ring sold for 12 million, uh, actually 13 million, which I will absolutely take, that is huge. Well, top was unsuccessful, we couldn't get in because of PK air, so we are back on Hydra and I'm actually gonna finish my 150kc, get my points and then probably move on to Zolra. That is an interesting drop. Three dragon fruit seeds, which go for a ridiculous price on Deadman mode. So that's probably, I don't know, like 600k drop just like that. Okay, so this should be pretty interesting because I have exactly 184 100 points. And this is the kill count 150. So let's see exactly how much we get. That's the task completion that green logs the combat achievements. And now if I refresh, 700 points. That was definitely worth my time. That is really, really good. This is it. This is going to be the end of Hydra for now. Uh, obviously, since I have 12 left, I'm going to finish the task on the small ones. If I get Abyssal Demons, I can do the Sire and do a bunch of Sire tasks. So if we quickly were to check, Abyssal Sire, there's a bunch of tasks we can do alongside getting the KC, which is a lot of points. If we get Grotesque Guardians, that is a lot of points that we can get that I don't have. So that would be really, really good. If we get Hellhounds, I can also go back to Cerberus. Uh, because I did not kill it 150 times yet so that would also be nice amount of bonus points so there is quite a lot of good chances we have and uh, we'll just kind of see what we get I cannot I mean I will not have enough points to pick a task unless if I did go and complete a quest first which maybe would be a smart play but we will see I think I will just grab a task and see what do we get Let's take a look. We're gonna just take a Duradel task and we will just hope. Blood welds. I mean, I'll do it. I will get no XP for it, but I will do it. Okay, a little casket for the boys before we do our blood welds. Heraldic shield and Iorwerf then. Okay, this is pretty bad loot. Unlucky. Oh, this is one thing I didn't consider. Uh, insatiable blood weld. I can get superiors. So, you know, a little little hard situation could be pretty good. And yeah, with Expeditious Bracelets, I don't think this task will take too long. It's just weird because I'm getting no XP and no points. So basically, I'm just kind of wasting time. Uh, but let's take a look. We get a clue scroll at least. Nothing else is good. Another superior, another chance for a heart, which actually goes for like ridiculous amount of money right now. I'm gonna drop this clue just to see if I get another one. And again, we didn't get anything good. Okay, we got another hard clue scroll over here. Let's take a look. Oof. Ancient Dehyde body is great. Rune Defender Ornament Kit not very good, but Master Clue Scroll could actually be really good. All right then, here we are. So I have a Slaughter activated, just double check, yup. Uh, NPC contact to Duradel, and we are gonna be taking Abyssal Sire, so Abyssal Demons. Here we go, 137. Let's take a look how many points we can do from doing Abyssal Sire. Okay, so let's see how this goes. Also, I wanna see my points. So there's a task to reflect the damage here with Venge. Oh, that's it. Okay. I'm very rusty, but I'll get used to it. I got this. Oh yeah, and we also got a lot of points for the first kill of the boss. We're gonna look to kill 50. Well, I didn't record it, but I got an achievement for reflecting damage with my Vengeance for a demonic rebound. Okay, we will try one kill where I only stun him once. There we go, Respiratory Runner. Another achievement done. Beautiful. I'm just doing one achievement at a time until I finally reach the point where I can only get a kill count. 
Did I do it? Perfect, sire, I did it. Let's go, man. Okay, huge. That is really important one to get out of the way because now that I have this one out of the way, I think the rest of the tasks should be easy. Oh my God, I got an unsired. There is no way. Oh, what? Okay, I'll go cash it in and then recall here and then come back. That could actually be a pet as well. I don't even know what I need to do in order to cash this in. This is like so good. First piece of a bludgeon. Okay. Okay, let's go back up there, set up the recall. One out of three for bludgeon. I don't know how good bludgeon is, I'll be honest. But there it is, the first piece. I think I did it. Ah, yes. That was so risky. I risked it on like no HP then. Oh, let's go. Okay, so I don't know why I'm stressing. But nearly died, which would be rough because breach is in 11 minutes. However, sometimes you have to risk it for the biscuit and this time it worked. So if we were to look at this, bosses, sire, only thing left is 20 kills and 50 kills. And we will do this right after the breach. Did you know when it's 4 a.m. and you're just chilling at the GE and all you see is people making fun of you, man, for fuck's sake. The starting points are 185.7. What are we hoping to get? If I get 188, I think I'll be happy. That would be 2.3k points. A little trinket to start it off. Okay, first emblem. Okay, little emblem. Emblem three. Ooh, Zuriel staff. Nice. If you guys do not know, Zuriel staff has gone up in price a lot because the tournament is super close to the end and Zuriel staff is best in slot main hand uh, staff. So when it used to be 2 mil, now it's a lot, a lot more. Another emblem, but I'm having a bit of a struggle with the inventory right now. Another emblem, another trinket. Trinkets are gonna be very useless in two days because you basically just lose them. Oh, I'm being attacked right now, which is not a good timing. I'm just gonna tab, it's one minute till the end. This is where we're gonna call it. I didn't bring freezes and I got more than 188K and I'm very happy about that. <laughs> I got a supply drop from a little guy. Interesting. Hey, there is 25 KC and all we need is 25 more. Just kidding, I'm sleep deprived, that's 20 KC. We need 30 more. Okay, 30 kill count, another unsired. It's getting super late. I had a six hour log, so if somebody were to scout me what I'm doing, they would know I'm doing unsired right now. I mean, I'm doing sire. Thing is, we need to kill 20 more, and I'm not going to sleep until I do, and this could be absolutely huge. Well, actually, can it be huge? I don't even know. But I could get a pet out of this. <laughs> I got a whip. All right, we'll take it. I don't know how much this is right now, but a little whip. I'm getting really smooth at this, I feel like. But let's take a look. Maybe we snag ourselves a pet. Maybe another bludgeon piece. Oh my goodness, abyssal head. By far the worst thing I can get because I already have it. <laughs> it's a disaster. Oh my, what was that hit? That was huge. And we have only one more kill to go. We got this. There it is, so many points. Nice, get me out of here. <laughs> Actually, it wasn't even that many points, I think. I'm pretty sure I've done everything. Let me just double check. Combat tasks, bosses, scroll all the way up. Abyssal Sire, fully green logged, beautiful. I will not be returning here. Let me tell you, this boss is so slow, but super happy to have it done. Of course there's rot in here. Oh, I don't think I'll be able to get a kill in here. Fuck. I can try hopping, but feel like it's a bit of a recipe for disaster here. Okay, for the first time ever I'm going in Australian world. Wait, was it was it him? I think Okay, it appears that uh the guy we saw is actually Maz, and uh, we should be alright, we should be alright. This might actually be decent, you know. Ok, 
Okay, and now I just need to venge and not pray. Wow. <laughs> this guy took my venge. Okay, well, now we just need to wait a bit. There it is, venge kill. I didn't get the Verax skill? Okay, we need to do one more. I thought I would get a Verax skill as well, but fair enough. Okay, I'm in full Verax and I'm not gonna use Venge or Thralls. I feel like that was probably the problem. That should work now. <clears throat> I used nothing but Verax. There we go. Okay, that should also be the last task when it comes to KQ, because I use Statue Warhammer to lower the defense. So there it is. And now I just need 50 kill count, but I don't know if I'll do all 50. Okay, we're up to 10 KC, so one fifth of the way done. I guess if I don't see people, I might as well kill this boss. It's 20 points per kill. It is not the fastest. It's in multi, it's dangerous, but we're trying our best. Hey, there's 25 KC in a row. Nice. So I guess I can do 25 more then. I just got a pet, I think. Wait, 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 wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. There's no way, right? Where is it even? This pet is so sick, by the way, but like, what? Oh my god, I actually got it. I can't believe this. That is 30 kill count, Calified Princess. That's like one of the coolest pets in this game. Wow, this is not increased drop rate, by the way. That is crazy. I'm gonna finish the rest of 20, but oh my goodness. <laughs> Dude, there's no way, man. I'm so fucking tired that I gotta... Pet, man. What? I think while I'm doing Calfight Queen, I should probably pick the pet up and like hide it. Because <laughs> otherwise people can kind of guess what I'm doing. That's actually the first decent-ish drop. Two magic seeds. I can sell that for almost 600k on DMM. But yeah, look at my inventory like I'm giga risking here. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. But it's so early in the morning that I feel like... Maybe I feel too safe. I don't really know. Okay, we got more magic seeds. Oh my goodness, we actually did it and we somehow survived. There is 50 kill count and we managed to green the full of Calfight Queen in combat achievements. So let me get out of here real quick. I did not expect to do this and in the process we got a bunch of points, like 2000 plus I'd say. Yep, Calfight Queen, fully green. Beautiful, very nice. Oh yeah, I've never done this, but that Serp Helm that we had, I think I just used a chisel on it, right? Yeah, now we have a Serp Helm, we'll worry about this later. The reason for that is I'm going back to Zolra right now, because if we very quickly take a look at the Zolra over here, you'll quickly see that if I kill 150 and if I kill 75, I will green log the entire CA of Zolra, which will also give me a bunch of points. And on top of that, if we were to look at the amount of points I get for Zolra, it's fairly safe and I get 12 points, so not too bad at all. Maybe? Yeah, we got it. Yes, dude. Nice. And yet another boss, Hespori, is now green log or green completed. I don't know how to say it, but very happy to have this done. I don't need to even worry about looting it or anything like that, as I already am 99 farming. So now I think it is time for me to chill a bit. The breach is in one hour and 30 minutes, so I do want to relax a bit beforehand. It is time to multi-skill a bit, so here's 81 crafting. I'm trying to get to 85 so I can fortify my Mazori body. And whilst I'm doing that, I'm also doing this, which is a bit sketchy, but it works. And I need to get to 70 rune crafting, preferably. 82, three more to go. There's 84, just one more to go. Ladies, gentlemen, breach is starting in one minute minute we're gonna start on 192.4 points what is the goal the goal is 195 if i can get above 195 i'll be happy so that's 2.6k points first emblem another emblem sigil of preservation oh wait well it's gone emblem number three we'll take it emblem four number five another emblem another emblem okay i'm getting so many emblems this run <laughs> this guy's writing another emblem in the chat why is everyone doing that man Mm, one more to finish it off, I guess. Mm, being attacked right now. 
Kriara is popping, so that usually takes pick airs off. I just got frozen, but then no more damage came through afterwards. Oh, now we're being still attacked. I mean, the bridge is literally over right now, and I got a free teleport out. So, as before, I'll take it. And I got 195. I think this is exactly what I wanted to have, right? So, it didn't go better, but it was exactly at the point where I expected it. With a bunch of emblems and, I guess, okay amount of loot. So, uh, we cannot complain. Uh, I'm gonna quickly relog and see what rank I am at the moment before going to bed. This is a quick reminder to let you know that you should probably subscribe. Yeah, with this relog... I am ranked 12 with 195,000 points, but obviously some of the other people can also relog and then I'm probably maybe like rank 15 or something, but rank 25 has 175,000 points, so I have 20,000 point gap, and 26 has 173, so 22,000 point gap, so that's pretty solid. I'm gonna have a small rest and then uh, when I wake up, we'll see how close we are to the competition, but so far so good. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Couple of uncuts bought and it is just enough to finish the goal. So now we need to see if I'll be able to do this with a boost or if I need to actually train my crafting all the way to 90. But there is a crafting level 85. We now get to do amethyst arrow tips. Doesn't really matter. Most importantly, we can now fortify our Mazori body. Let's take a look at how this actually works. Okay, so apparently if I use a chisel on an arma stuff, I can break it into an armadillion plate and I do believe in order to Fortify a Missouri body, I need four of these. There's an armadillion plate, so how does this work? You need a hammer, okay. I know I need four, I'm just seeing the... You need four? Okay, let's take a look. This is so weird. This reminds me of... Um, there's a skill in RuneScape 3, which basically forces you to destroy stuff, so it's like a good money sink in a way. But there we go, we got four of them. Can I fortify my body now? Oh, it's doing it. 33,000 XP, Mazori body fortified. Uh, but also I got this a lot cheaper. Like if this goes, let's imagine it, 130 mil on, G on GE. I bought Arma Helms for 7 mil and then I bought the body for like 70 something mil. So I got like 20 mil cheaper for this body. So that is absolutely phenomenal. Which now means we have this Arma chest plate that is completely useless in our safety deposit box. Which means I now have extra 60 million probably to work work with because Arma Chestplate goes for a lot of money. Safety deposit box looking very very good for the final hour so looking forward to it. Okay the goal right now is to finish 150 Zolra. That way we're gonna green log the CAs and also get decent amount of points. And that is the Zolra veteran, 75 kill count completed, so all we need is 75 more. Alright, we got a little breachman mode situation happening in about a second. We're dancing with the homies. Let's hope for a good breach. Obviously, it's gonna be rough. There's 400 players online, so part of me might wanna actually just go multi. We'll see. <laughs> uh... <laughs> uh. Oh my god, what's going on here, man? This one's gonna be hard to get points. We're starting on 195. That's the first emblem. Emblem number two. I don't even care about trinkets anymore. They disappear tomorrow anyways. Emblem number three. Another emblem, as uh, Javelin says. <laughs> okay, we have a PK on us. I got another emblem, but... Maybe I can just stay. Maybe he just uh, lets me, lets me go. Looks like I just caught a freeze and then I got left alone. No, I caught another freeze. I'm still not gonna run. I'm gonna be a bit greedy here. Okay, now I'm gonna have to start considering running. Uh, maybe I don't run yet. I mean, there's five minutes left and... Okay, he's still on me. I might need to consider running now. Okay, TP out. I'll go back in. It's so hard, man. 197,000 points. Just getting non-stop attacked. But we re-gear, we go again. There's five minutes left. 
There's another emblem on the floor that I will most likely oink. There's another emblem on the floor, getting a bunch of them right now. Keep dealing as much damage as possible. Maybe I can get to 198. Big maybe, but we can try. Another emblem. Yeah, we got one minute left on the breach. Hopefully I get close to one, uh, 198 points. Decent-ish breach, we're on 197.7. .7. I think we're still really good. We got okay loot as well, so let's uh, try getting some more points now. All right, I'll do something that I should have done a while ago, but I'll do it now instead. I don't really know this place very well, but I think I can just kill Abyssal Demons here, and obviously I'm not gonna do Sire, uh, but I have 87 more, and I'm gonna use Expeditious Bracelets to speed this process up a bit. Uh, I have uh, anti-PK gear on so we should be okay. Hoppa, a little whip situation going on here. Very nice. We only have 42 left to go. I like this area because I don't think many people know where it is. Uh, but whips still go for 1.6 mil, obviously, even when the server gets ported to world 45. The whip's still always gonna hold somewhat of a value, so it's a, it's a good weapon, man. It's nice. There's the Abyssal Demon task completed, and as you can see, we have 37 points, which means we can grab another task, and that is perfectly in line with my plan, and it will all make sense in just a moment. However, we got a clue scroll, it's a pretty dangerous one, but I want to complete it, so let's go ahead and do it. Alright, we got a little two-stamp casket situation, let's see what do we get. Black Dragon Mask, I believe this is a part for an elite clue scroll, but you need to do that elite clue scroll in a DK's layer, so probably not very good, but we got purple sweets as well, which I will actually use in the final hour, so that's actually a good drop. So here we are yet again in front of the master plan. We got slaughter, we got versatility, we got points, let's pick a task. So NPC contact, speak to the homie Duradel, and here's the kicker. Okay, we are going to be taking Gargoyles, okay? You might be wondering why would you spend your last points on Gargoyles, and here is why, okay? If we go enter the character summary combat tasks, we will quickly see that if I go under the bosses, which actually looks really good, like a lot of this is very green, which is good to see. Serb is one thing I also want to get one more task of to complete, uh, because at the beginning I didn't really pay much attention to this, and Kraken is another thing that I want to complete. But but if we keep on scrolling here, yeah, we keep on scrolling. Aha, there it is. Grotesque guardians for some reason have 15. Not one, not two, not five, 15 combat achievement tasks. And this is something I want to try to complete all of it because this is all points. Uh, so that's what I'm going to be up to. I don't know what's best sigil combination for it, but I'm going to get, uh, get cracking and try to do as many of these tasks as possible. <laughs> Okay, couple of pointers. Thibaut is really shit, uh, but as you can see, I got a lot of stuff from doing that. A lot of points of the bat, like don't look at the eclipse, prison break, granite footwork, staty wear and it's done before dusk. Just a bunch of tasks that I don't even know how you get. And that just boosted my points up by like a thousand. Uh, not quite, but a lot of points. Okay, so we're gonna need to get 25 KC more. We're gonna kill her before she receives healing, which this one might actually be kinda hard. 50 kill count, doing everything perfectly, which is actually kinda hard. Then we have some speed kills, which should be easy. 10 times without leaving the instance, we'll get ready for that one. Ooh, 5 perfect kills, that's a bit of a rough one. Another speed kill, 20 times without leaving the instance, and another speed kill. So first I'm gonna work on the speed kills, and then I'm gonna work on the long kills, is what I'm thinking. Oh, I got a granite ring on KC number two. Uh, we'll take it, I guess. Okay, let's do a few more adaptations. Scythe hits like a truck, but range is really struggling. So I'm gonna go range boots and archer ring and see how that does. Okay, so this is the part where earlier I couldn't quite get enough damage in to skip the healing phase. Now I took archer ring and dehyde boots. And let's see if we do any better. Okay, we skipped it, so that should be another achievement. That's really good. Is that a perfect kill? It might be a perfect kill as well. Yeah, we got a few more perfect grotesque, speed trialist, and obviously not getting healed. So now I can try to do five perfect kills in a row, as that is also one of the tasks. But that's also a bunch of points that we just got from just tasks alone. Hey, now we have the quick start option after five kill count. So we can just go here, boom, and instantly begin the fight. No more cuts in needed. Oh, we got granite gloves as well. Nice. Don't know how good these are, but... Okay, so for the next trip, I definitely see I took way too little amount of restores. 132. I was pretty slow in the end there. I'm not getting any restores, so we're gonna reset here. Okay, I'm gonna go into this one with a little bit more restores. 
and see if I can maybe get 20 kills. If not, I can always take a titanium and then just take a bunch of brews and restores for the future run. But right now I think I can just do it. And we're slowly accumulating points up as well. So it's not, this is actually not the worst. It's pretty safe and okay-ish points. Oh, we got a Gmail. Okay. 126, so five seconds too slow for the record, uh, but we're getting there. I'm definitely improving. Nice, we like the brew drops because I am trying to kill 20 in a row. So all the supply drops are good. Right now we are seven kills in. 119, is that the speed? Yeah, let's go. Perfect grotesque guardians, two. So I think I did five perfect ones in a row from dusk, so 10 kills in a row. And the speedrunner task. Okay, that is really good. I didn't know that was six perfect ones in a row. But that is amazing because that was the one that I was worried about the most. Because I always make mistakes. That's just what I do. So what is left is we have 25 kill count. Easy. 50 kill count. Easy. And 20 in a row and we are completed. Wow. And I've killed 10 in a row already. So if I can somehow manage to maintain this inventory and do 10 more kills, we are in the money. That's phenomenal. Oh, yes, we got supplies. Okay, that's pretty good. Come on, supplies, supplies, supplies. Okay, we got some supplies. Player potions are rough though. I need to get six more kills somehow, some way. Okay, I got, what was that, 25 kill count? Nice. Do I get another ranging pot, another combat pot, which is okay. How many more kills do I need? Five more kills with this inventory. It's the restores that are, I'm struggling, I'm flicking everything I can. There we go, no more restores, so I cannot use bruise. Good luck us. 60 player points for three kills. Okay. But give me supplies. I have two more kills with two potatoes. That's all we got. Okay. One more kill. No food. And no supplies, of course. I think I can do it, though. Let's go. And if my calculations were correct, we actually managed to do it here. 20 kills in a row. No supplies. No restores. Nothing left. And we've done that as well. That's actually kind of crazy. I thought I wouldn't be able to do it in this trip. Because we didn't get any supply drops. But we managed to do it somehow, some way. So now all we have left on Grotesque Guardians is just a little bit of kill count. Which should be very, very easy to get. So there it is. This one's the last one. 50 points. We got a ton of points with this. So yeah, let's finish this off. Ooh, we got another Granite Ring, number two. With a D-Long. I ran out of darts, so I'm quickly making some Dragon Darts here. And then we'll just use Dragon Darts, I guess. And here is 92 Fletching. Very cool. Oh my goodness, we also got a Black Tourmaline Core. Which, uh, I don't know how good this is. This could actually be pretty decent. It basically makes, I think, the Bandos Boots even tankier. So there's definitely use for it. I just don't know how good it is. Yeah, you can make Guardian Boots. Uh, and Guardian Boots have very high defensive stats, but just not for magic. So, yeah, it's hard to say, really. It's hard to say, but it could be useful. I'm going to quickly check the prices. I don't think many of these are sold because I don't think anybody is really doing what I'm doing right now. But they apparently go for 6 million, the last sell. So that is not a bad price. Oh my god, that was beautiful. <laughs> I got a PB without even trying. 118. Okay, so Black Tourmalinian Core Insta sold. I put it in for 6 mil. Let's see how much we get. I guess we Insta sold it for exactly 6 million. Uh, we'll take it. That's uh, good money. Hmm, you can get Dragon Arrow Tips from here. I didn't know that. Two more kills and we've done all the CAs when it comes to Grotesques. Okay, let's take a look. We are on 199.2. Let's see how many points we get. There we go, Grotesque Guardians Veteran. And now if I refresh it, 199.2, 199.7, so 500 points, which in at this point in the tournament is absolutely huge. Now, I don't know if I should at least go to 100 KC because you do get 16 per room. Yeah, I guess I have to decide a little bit. It's not only 8 points like I thought. Each one gives you 8 points, so you actually do get 16 per kill. So I could do that until 100 KC. Well, I'll, let me finish this trip and then I'll figure it out. All right, here's skill count number 70. And I've decided I will do a 100 kill count because we're so late into the tournament. Points are so hard to get. So anything that's instanced and safe, it just kind of makes sense to do. Oh, we got the uh, granite gloves again. 
I don't think they will sell, but it's a unique, so might as well show it. I will pick another Granite Gloves. We are now over 200,000 points, which is really good. It is nice and I'm happy that I pushed to almost 100 KC. We are currently on KC 85, so 15 more to go. Let's get it. There it is. Big 100. We're gonna eat up and finish the task slowly. But there it is, 100 KC. Got all the way to 200,000 plus points. Currently rank 12, which is a really good push. Okay, let's take a look. What do we got in this one? Oi! That's a lot of stuff. Ancient Dehyde Boots are amazing. Purple Sweets are amazing. Bandos Page is meh. Dickside TP is really good. It's like 60k each. Uh, so that's a, that's a 600k right here. And then Master Clue Scroll. Let's see if we can do this one. I mean, I don't want to go through all this effort for 30 points, I'm not gonna lie. I have to do like the Curse of the Something quest and uh, f for this part here to speak to Vigora. So I just kind of see BA, I'm gonna be honest. Everything else would be doable. Breach is in 30 minutes and I kind of just want to chill, I'm gonna be honest. So I'm gonna grab Sigil of Exaggeration and just do a little bit of thieving because I do want to get to 91 thieving. I'm gonna start on 200,180 points and... All I'm hoping for is 2.5k points. If I get that, it's good. And uh, obviously there is a ton of people on this world right now. Everybody is max bracket. The tournament ends in a day and 11 hours. So we are looking at five more breaches or four. I'm not sure, four or five more breaches. If I just participate in every breach, get about 2k points, I should almost cement my rank as a top 25 in this deadman mode. However, I'm still gonna try to do as much damage as possible in this breach and obviously not to die. Bro, look how many people there are. So much. Yeah, these breaches are just gonna get worse and worse, so... I mean, don't think there's gonna be much room for points anymore. Oh my... I got Morrigans. And an emblem. Nice. That is so much money right now. Oh my god, I still have exaggeration. Oh wait, there's PK on me right now. Okay, uh, which sigil am I missing? Ninja Titanium Precision. We go again. Hoppa, we got a Zuriel staff. That is like 15 mil right now. Maybe like 13 mil, but that's gonna go more up and up and up because for the final hour, that's best in slot main hand. That is a big drop. That's a second PvP drop on this breach, which is amazing. Okay, we'll take an emblem. Oh, and PK air on us, so we're gonna brew up. Brew up again, keep damaging. Don't know if he's still on me or not, but I'm not running, let me tell you. Don't care if I die, all I want is points. Sigil of finality, don't know what it does. All right, how much did we get? If I got, nice, basically 3000 points. N that is that is good, boys, that is good. I have a smile on my face. We got two PVP drops, Sigil of finality, which 100% accuracy on the next special attack, interesting. I don't know how good that is, but I have it. There's 91 thieving. Long time coming, but now I can finish an elite diary, which I don't know why I'm doing this, but I'm doing it anyways. All, right. All of that training for this. Boop. There it is. An elite task is now completed. I don't really care about training more thieving right now. So I'm just gonna dip. Yesterday I said I wouldn't do it, but I'm gonna go ahead and kill 177 aviances because I wanna do the Serb task and I wanna do the Kraken task. I'm not gonna do Kuriara because it's just a recipe to die, even though it would be some solid points. I'm just gonna go in the wilderness and kill the ones there. Maybe if I get ecumenical keys, I might send a little Kriara trip, but I'm not gonna get my hopes up right now. Well, at least I got another ecumenical key. Maybe at some point I send the God Wars run, but I don't think I will. We have 20 left and then uh, we can either take Serb or Crack and we'll see. And that's a third ecumenical key. So ready for three trips at some point if I feel like it. It appears that the task is done. So I now get to decide what I want to do next. And I believe the plan of action is to take Cerberus and do Cerberus. Why? Because Serb actually gives really good points. If we take a look over here, 25 points, which is honestly a lot, but since I have over 100 KC already, I will be getting 12.5 points, which also is not too bad, judging by the fact that I can, on top of that, get drops worth of 10 to 15 
million. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then after that, if I really feel like it, I'll finish off the Kraken as well. All right, let's take a look. We got Slaughter available, NPC contact, Duradel. I need another assignment. I'm willing to spend 30 points to select it. And there it is, Hellhounds right over here. I got a lot of them. I'm not gonna do this many, I don't think, or maybe I will, who knows? Okay, we're starting on 118 Serp kill count. Let's get that 150 fast. I'm running Last Recall, Feral Fighter and Consistency. So stuff like this happens as often as possible. See how much I'm proccing? It's absolutely beautiful. Hmm. Don't think that was a pick here, but better tab and be safe than uh, get hit unexpectedly. And there it is, the Cerberus Master from 203.5 to 203.8, so 300 points for that. And I can just keep doing this boss if I want to for like 12 points a kill. But with that, we now green CA'd yet another boss, which is really cool. I've greened so many bosses, I'll show you right after this kill. It is actually really beautiful. Sire, Hydra, Barrows done, Callisto, Serp done. Look at this, all the DKs completed. Dude, it's so much green actually. I feel really nice about it. I feel like I've completed a lot of uh, nice stuff on the account. Verion, Venenatis, like a lot of cool stuff is done. Zolra, I am still planning on finishing up the 150 kills at some point, most likely, which is the last thing remaining. Wow. <laughs> okay, I got Trinket of the Vengeance, which uh, is probably very useless nowadays because the tournament ends in one day and five hours and this gets removed all right we got a little breach situation going on right now with 200 people 204,000 points uh, we're hoping for 207 by the end of it we'll see yeah i'm kiting this thing straight out here start your sword hammer yoink hey from soul for lizard let's go that's actually pretty good and we got a little emblem oh my god i just got a vls as well there is no shot and an emblem. Oh my god, it's a lucky bridge. Ah, <laughs> no way, I got jumped. Oh, that's funny. Got another emblem. Gonna have a little tank test ahead of us here. And we can just teleport because Kriara gets a hidden. That's the cool part about being in a... How should we call it? Cool part of being hit by Kriara, I guess. And we have a little emblem waiting for us on the floor. Let's go. And we take another one. That's another emblem. We're gonna gladly oink. Oh my god, I got Morgan Javs as well. Statues, Warhammer, VLS and Morgan Javs. Three PvP drops in one breach and there's still five minutes left. And the best part is all these items are going up in price now because it's right before the final. We are literally a day and two hours away from the servers closing. So all these drops are pretty valuable. We end on... 206 i don't really recall what i said i would be happy with but what i do know is we got a lot of drops so we made a lot of money and i don't think we are under pressure to lose points yeah if i were to log out i'm actually ranked 10 right now which is uh, pretty impressive so i'm just gonna quickly do that and then the first contester that could like get to me currently has 188,000 points and in one day for that person and everybody else to also surpass me, they would need to do some serious gaming. So I'll obviously keep close track on the leaderboards, still play qu quite heavily myself to make sure I ensure the top 25. But right now I am uh, looking at this and it's looking like we will make it. So that is pretty damn nice. I've been doing some last day trading on the Grand Exchange and we got ourselves a Virtus Rope top for 110 mil, probably a little bit overpriced. And we sold our chest plate for 50 mil because we now have Mazori body fortified now i probably will only go with a one-way switch the way multi works is you don't really want to clump your inventory with switches you really just want food and potions so because of that one way switch to magic and then one way switch to a tank body so let's grab ourselves the verdus top let's grab ourselves the 50 million we got from the acp and some extra money otherwise we are once again rich we now have 19 hours 
left on the tournament and obviously I will not be going to sleep for the next 20 hours. I'll just be trying my best to grind points. I still have about 10,000 point gap and I'm still rank 14, but every single person has points so close to each other. We just have to not give up, basically. Uh, I think we're already fine. Like, even if I stopped playing right now, I think I'd be okay. I hate how I cannot have my follower out and use the last recall. That does not add up at all. This is a quick reminder to let you know that you should probably subscribe. Okay, we have a little pick air situation. Managed to get a tab out. Oh, this might be rough today because there's so many people. Oh my goodness, we got a smoldering stone. Wait, that's the worst. <laughs> no, fuck. I thought that was pre- Never mind. This is the worst one. We stay here. Uh, the bridge is in 25 minutes. Uh, I'm just pumping points right now over here in Serb. It's uh, not very safe, but it's uh, it's something. The bank. 318, starting. 324. Oh, ho, ho. I was watching Ma's video. And uh, look at this little barrage on me. But I got out fast fingers today. Nice. Uh, the bridge is in 15 minutes. I don't think I'll risk going back. I think I'll just change my sigils, gear up for the breach, and get ready. Uh, I did get a bunch of points though. Almost on 2.207 almost. So very good. So I guess the goal for this breach would be to reach 210,000 points. But there's so many people here that if I get like 209, I'm honestly happy with it. Okay, we got a trinket, which is worth absolutely no money right now because it gets deleted in 10 hours. Okay, somebody just chuck a bolt into me. Is he still on me? Yeah, he's still on me, okay. I think I'm just being rag bolted and that's it. <laughs> it's this guy's in it. Okay, well, we'll bank and come again. We got another trinket, of course. Another emblem. Okay, we got another emblem and the breach is almost over. Let's get out of here. Okay, so all in all, despite being attacked, 209,000.5. Did I say I was going to be happy with this? I think so. I said if I get over 2.209, we should be all right. So probably going back to Serb now to keep farming points. We are currently 17 hours away till the end of the tournament. And the gap between me and rank 26 is only 10,000 points. So it is getting very scary. So we got to make sure we keep grinding till the very end. No sleep will be allowed today. It's just going to be farming points for the next 17 hours. Hey, we're up to 200 kill count right now. Oh my god, I actually got it. I got a primordial. Oh, what? 223 kill count points, basically 210,000. And we actually got it. Nice. Well, looks like we now have a primordial boots. There it is. Okay, we have a little pick air situation. Nice. No matter how many times I tank pick airs, it always gets scary when you don't get immediate teleport off. And it always gets the heart pumping. I don't know what it is, man, but it, it's crazy. It's just a deadman mode thing. The final piece of the puzzle, the Virtus Robo Bottom, is now purchased for $107 million. This is gonna be huge. We're gonna be probably run this in the final hour. Uh, we'll see. And uh, yeah, that is a beautiful piece of item. Also, if you were wondering why I always decide to run through the flames and then teleport, there is a mechanic when it comes to Cerberus where you can get attacked whilst Cerberus still attacks you. So as soon as you see a person, your first immediate reaction should be to run through the flames, even though on the other encounters, you might want to stay in combat. Just thought I would explain this because uh, if I get frozen whilst in combat with the Cerberus and then Cerberus drops special attacks on me, I get my prayer drained, I get my 10, 10, 10, 10 damage taken. And at that point, you're basically in a complete disaster. Oh. I didn't make it again. Oh, 
he got the TP on me though. I have to fight it out. Do not have bolts. How can I? Oh. Thirty seconds. Got out, holy fuck. Oof, that was hard. That was a hard tank. I definitely got caught uh, off guard then, but we made it out yet again. I'm not gonna go back to Serb. It's a complete suicide mission at the moment. I get attacked every 10 minutes. We're gonna send some Zolra instead. My god, was that hard. I didn't expect to be TB'd. Without TB, I get out there in a few seconds, but with TB, I have to tank 2.5 minutes and then I can get out, but uh, GG, well played to the guys. Let me turn this off and uh, we go do a little bit of Zolra right now, boys, let me tell you. Okay, went back to Zolra, starting KC 96, we're going for 150. Also, no more messing around, it is 13 hours left on the tournament. It is time to pull out the real shadow from the safety deposit box, because speed is everything right now. Let's get it done. There it is, charge it up. Tumac and Shadow, it's beautiful. All right, well, since I'm already risking a lot, I'm also gonna pull up my Ring of Suffering uh, and just put my recalls in. And if I take a scroll of imbuing, I should also be able to imbue it. I just hope that I can charge it up and uncharge it willingly. So let me just test it with one recoil so far because I don't know how it actually works. If I use one recoil on it, this card charges. Okay, no, so I need to be smart how many I actually use. So let's go ahead and just use 20 because I'm pretty sure I cannot deposit this now. See, so when I want to deposit it, when I'm done, I need to discharge it. So let's take a look. So if I discard it, now it's gone and now I can deposit it again. Okay, I was just testing that to make sure. Same thing if I imbue it, if I uncharge it, I can then also put it back in. All right, it's pretty good. Uh, so let's go ahead and imbue it and let's put, I don't know, like 30 recalls in. 20, 20. I don't know how long is all that I'll do, but make sure I have enough of it in there. And now I don't need to worry about it. I can just have that available. I might die. I actually might die if that goes through. Oh my god, that is crazy. If I didn't, dude, thank fuck the damage nullifies. I could have just died for the lot, suffering, tumac and everything. Holy shit. I cannot be this, like, I need to focus. I almost died for everything. Okay, well, now we know the damage nullifies. But dear god, I'm banking this shadow, I'm not using it. Oh my god. Oh yeah, because you didn't want to log out after that happened, so you TP. Yeah, he's, he's still staying there, this guy. Yeah. Oi, oi, oi. <laughs> we are on 145 KC, so five more kill count needed. The bridge is in 19 minutes and we are currently rank 12. So we're doing good. Not much left on the tournament. We're just gonna keep grinding until the timer here says zero. All right, we need one more kill of Zolra and we are done. And we have 10 minutes to go until the bridge. So I think I can comfortably do this. There it is, 150, boom, 500 points bonus. That is perfect right now, I need this. Gives me two extra ranks, currently rank 11. And this is where it goes down. This is where it goes down. If this breach we get giga ragged, it can be a problem because if a lot of people under me do multi breaches whilst protected and then end up doing something like a Scorpia for the entirety of 11 hours. And if there is many people doing that, I could still, even though I'm ranked 13 right now, I could still be in trouble. First emblem. We will have to utilize all the emblems before the servers merge because they do not transfer over to world 45 deadman. Another emblem. I'm not gonna rush it. I don't really... 
worry about money right now. It's all about points. Okay, emblem number three. I think we're getting good damage in though. I have a feeling a lot of people sent multi this breach because it's one of the last breaches. And that's another emblem, number four. Cut another emblem and another one. Okay, like what's going on? Yeah, I'll have to start leaving some on the floor until I utilize my restores. And another one. Oh, that was a Debo spec, by the way. That was a Debo spec, so that could have killed me. At least I can pick my emblems now. Oh, somebody was going for some funny moments. Another emblem. I'm gonna do a professional business decision and bank here. And we are already on 2 1 2 points, which is pretty decent. I'm being rag bolted again. I can hear it. So I'm gonna do a little bit of technique. It's called hit and dig. I'll go to the other side. The pick air is still on me. Yeah, they're like giga ragging me. There must be somebody that's trying to catch up, but I can be sneaky about it. Oh my goodness. Bro, somebody has to chill. I don't even know. Maybe that was the boss, but I don't think I'd get hit at 60 with titanium. So it must have been a player. I'm being bolted again. Yeah, bolted again. They're really going for me. Like, it's such a fanboy, by the way. He's using Entity Hider to only snipe me. But that's okay. Because we only care about points. <laughs> He's still bolting me. He's been bolting me for the last five minutes. But too bad I'm still dealing damage. <laughs> He's just ballistaing me. Ah, there we go. He's doing it again. Okay, we'll need to bank quickly. How many points are we on? I've already exceeded the points I wanted, so it's fine. Even if he keeps bolting me. But I'll go back for a little bit more damage. <laughs> They're still on me, that's fucking funny. Well, they tried their best, but I don't think they managed to stop me enough. So we'll do a quick professional relog right now. And I believe we're rank 11 um, after this bridge. So decent, could be better, could be worse. Hey, there we go. The walk is done. Okay, we got Vorkaf Speed Chaser. Not the fastest, but that's some points that we really need. It's getting scary. Rank 25 right now has 206,000 points. That is really scary. That could be it. Come on, come on, come on. Vorkaf Speedrunner, huge. Nice, good points, good points. Let's go. This was one I didn't think I would be able to get. Yes, okay. I've done five perfect kills, which I thought I wouldn't be able to do it. Now I just need kill count and ten in a row. So five more kills. Oh my god, there it is. Extended encounter. Also done. I'm so proud that I did this. There it is. There's the hundred kill count. And if I click refresh, that is huge, by the way, guys. That is what, seven, eight hundred extra? It is, uh, it is uh, spicy, man. But look at the inventory. Every single one of these bones sells for 40,000 right now. So I also made bank doing Vorka. Okay, we just got Eternal Crystal. Nice. I'm just doing this for points. I don't care about loot. But we will take this. This is pretty good money, actually. Oh, I have a PK situation here. I think I'm already out, yeah. Okay, that gets the heart pumping a little bit. It was alone, I expected two people, um, but I guess not. I job, this makes me very happy. Okay. Oh wait, that's bad timing.
So if you just wait for his hit, you can just get out like that. But this guy keeps hitting me. I only have 16 left. <laughs> we got pegs. I think that's the last drop we haven't had yet. Apparently it's still worth 2 million, so I mean, that's not too bad. I actually managed to finish the task and I have good points. Nice. Okay, first thing we're gonna do, we have a few clues. Let's see if I can at least complete the elite and hard. All right, so the whole idea why I'm doing this, obviously loot is fine and all, but a little bit of points and I'm hoping for a master. This is so bad. What is this? 30k. At least we got 23 points. Oh my god, that's, that was not worth my time. Okay, quick caskets, we start with medium. Nothing special, easy. Nothing special. Purple sweets though, I'll keep these for the final hour. <laughs> okay, we got some cabbage. Zami bracers, not the best, not the worst. Oh, we got a little insatiable blood belt. And we have only three left, so after this I'm gonna be taking Kraken and uh, the leaderboards are rough. 7,000 points is the difference between me and rank 25, so it's absolutely crazy. But as long as I consistently gain points, I don't think I can be caught in the next five hours. Okay, so the last task I have here on the Kraken is to actually kill it after I kill all the tentacles. And looking at how fast this is dropping, I might actually just do more Kraken. Let's see how many points. 770? Well, I got like almost no points for that. Anyways, we now get to just kill this on cooldown as fast as we possibly can. I know what it probably is. Kraken has very small amount of CAs. Like only like five and none of them are like hard. Probably why I got so small amount. Oh, I got Sigil of the Light better. Too bad this gets removed in three hours. I think I found a secret gem of what I can actually do to get some points. This was decent. 90 kills an hour and I get about 8 points. Well, 7.5. 1, 7, 1, 8. And it adds up and it's fast kills. So not only that, but you see the drop that I just got. The same few serums right here go for absolutely a ridiculous price. Let me demonstrate it to you. I believe they're about 400 to 500k. And you may be wondering why would that be the case? Why would someone pay that much for a potion? There is no way you can get this in the game aside from a few bosses which is Termi and Kraken so let's take a look we're just gonna send sell one for let's just sell it for 50k just one 360k I kid you not we are in the money boys oi 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 there is no way I just insta sold eternal boots for 26 million by the way that is crazy okay 10 minutes until the breach this might be the most important breach of the tournament let's get out of here let's get prepared we are on 217 almost thousand points we are currently rank 11 however many people have not logged out for six hours so this is gonna be very stressful we're probably gonna hit get hit all the time but the plan is to somehow some way try to get 2.2k points i will not be picking any more emblems i need all the food i can have we cannot afford any inventory spot loss not today not on the last breach the only thing that matters is pumping points. However, for the last time, another emblem. I think there is so many people here. Yeah. Oh, I'm being PK'd straight away. Kriara. Might spam TP here. No, oh, still getting hit. Okay, I'm gonna send it down, I think. I don't have much food here. I think I might die here. Best to ever do it, let me tell you. Oh, let's go again. Not bad. Need to get in the mass and just deal damage. Did I just get instantly tagged again? Okay, there's still 10 minutes. Just hide for a bit and we're okay. 
I think I'm attacked already. Yeah, big air on me instant. That is hard. That is hard. They're not letting me do the breach at all. Come on, just deal some damage and we're good. Another emblem. This is the most stressful breach I've ever done. I just want to keep dealing damage for a bit longer. Okay, maybe I can stay. What is even taking so much damage? Okay, I'm going back. Maybe I can hide up here. It's gonna be hard, but maybe. I'm gonna leave the anti hider like this for now. I have never gotten ragged this hard. Yeah, he's on me again, by the way. Yeah, they're not letting me do the breach. Yeah, they're just hitting everyone. That's why this is such a free breach. They're just bolting everybody until they run. There is five minutes left. We have only gotten like 1k points, maybe. To be honest, it's smart what they're doing. It is very smart, but I think I'll still be okay. See how long until I get hit. Yeah, there is a big air on me. Okay. There's two minutes on the breach. I'm just gonna... Thank it for a bit more. I think he's just off me here. Yeah, they're just ragging people off. Maybe one of their guys is trying to get like a lot of points or something. I mean, I'm being bolted right now. I can hear it. But as long as it's just bolts, I think I can tank it. It's one minute left. That's it. That was rough. Let's see the points. Okay, we saved it in the end. It hasn't been quite perfect, but with the amount of times we've gotten hit, we have to take it. As you can see, the update is in 45 minutes. That's when the servers close. We have 218,000 points. We're currently rank 11. So here it is, one last goodbye. We got, uh, this is what we're gonna go into the multi in. There is absolutely no reason to go in Vertes Mazori. It is just, you just get sniped if you go. So the meta is to go with like uh, Suffering, Brimi Boots, Big Love, Scape, DFS, Zuriel, Karil Switch, Serp Helm, Arim switch, Morrigan Javs, VLS, I might bang this and just go mage only. We'll see, I might need more Morrigan Javs or I might just take VLS and no Morrigan Javs uh, and we'll have to see how much food and whatnot I'll take, I'm not yet sure. Might as well use the last few minutes to train a little bit of fire making, I guess. Hey, every point matters. If I can get a few more points, this is how I'll do it. I can't believe I have this many resources. 100 million left 8 minutes. Bro, there is no way there's 7 minutes. How the fuck am I gonna spend all my points, man? Ladies, gentlemen, this is how we're gonna go. Our key is gonna be meh. We're gonna lose a few things, but I do not care. We're going with the pet. We're going in basically somewhat of a ragged gear. Uh, we have a mage switch, barage. We have a uh, javs, vls. Might be banking this for extra bruise, we'll see. We have a minute left to go. I'm absolutely nervous. I don't know if these amount of points are enough to be as a top 25. So we're gonna see it together. There is gonna be a live reaction of a refresh. Uh, we did everything we possibly could. It's been an amazing ride. Man, it's such a weird feeling because I've played three weeks non-stop to get to this point and uh, it's all ending in three, two, one, goodbye. Deadman mode. And now for the moment I've been the most afraid for RuneScape high scores. Tournament, DMM Mika, search. I did it. Yes. I think this is it. So gangsta barely got in. DMM made it. Wait, let me refresh again. Please tell me this is the final score. So that is so crazy. Look how close everything is. Obviously Mazar went absolutely crazy. Solo mission did phenomenally but then stopped going for points. Robert did really good as well, but oh my god, who didn't make it? Rotman72 didn't make it. Oh man, that is a shame. Look at it, these people here are... I would hate to be Rotman72. 212, he missed it by only 500 points. So gangsta, clutched it. DMMA, he was like rank 
28 or something and got through Blowbang, same thing. I think this guy pushed uh, Scorpia in the very end. Dude, it's been, it's been a wild ride. I'm happy I made it. And uh, yeah, it's been fun to actually compete for the leaderboards for once. Usually in Deadman modes, I wouldn't compete for leaderboards, but this time the incentive was there. So we went for it and I had uh, an amazing fun doing it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed and I will see you tomorrow for the final. Have a good one and thank you for all of your support. Oh my, look at the amount of demons. so bad like look people are just standing by the way and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna blood barrage and try to <laughs> I had a good fight I guess like, it was a good run fellas why is the whole rot in the middle by the way yeah, like, it, it's, it, we got completely stopped, by the way, what is this? It's a complete joke, by the way. Yeah, that's, that's why multi-fights are just ass. I, I am not a fan of it.